I'm ready. PKA 644 with our guest slush puppy and friend, Taylor. This episode of PKA brought to you by realdbg.com, lock and load, and Blue Chew. A few wonderful sponsors. We'll hear more about all of them later. Slush, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me again. How are we? Of course. Oh, we're doing great. Hockey playoffs started, which means we can talk about it the whole entire episode. Mm-hmm. Canes can't. Well, we no, get that no, out of the way. About it. No, I purposely didn't talk about it for seven <laughs> months. We got that out of the way right before the show. We all agreed that Lemieux was the greatest of all time and that um, Gretzky's brother would have been better than him if he'd had the same <laughs> opportunities. <laughs> there, there was, he was adopted. Wild. He was black. He was by. He, he was and <laughs> and uh, it was the bigotry. They just like um, it's like little kid Wayne. They're like, "Go Wayne, go!" And then it shows like the parent like slowly plot off through the snow into the home, into a dog food bucket, walking into the basement and feeding Brent Gretzky his his meal. The ultimate. I always wonder if hockey, dog food. Yeah. Uh, is oh you gotta go. No, no, go ahead, Slush. Uh, is is hockey like the only sport in America that isn't just uh, completely dominated by black people? Uh, baseball is mostly like like it's South Americans. It's a, love it's a good baseball. mix. There's like, lots. I, of, yeah. I, that's Jack, my get us the demographics of, of Major League Baseball because I would guess you've got a healthy uh, percentage of whites there. I'm going to say sixty percent white. Twenty eight, high twenties to standing low thirties. Yeah, right. Baseball's not a sport. Huh. Well, definitely a sport. Well, then I mean, a game, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> An activity, <laughs> fucking, fucking pussy winkles, whatever. Like, yeah, I will not be oh, it's so baseball. Oh. There are some really fat white guys playing first base. <laughs> There's some really fat white guys fighting for the world championship every night. Yeah, it's uh, you know, fat doesn't mean anything. All right, so a lot of athletes need that power. That's fuel, God damn it! <laughs> oh, are you going yeah. to war with, with an empty tank, Woody? <laughs> what if the game goes into twelve overtimes? The fat people will rule. Yeah, yeah if it's fact, fat, nature say <laughs> your fuel is on E, Woody. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, I mean, if they could pack a lunch and put it in their pants, like they they might be okay, like the skinny blokes. Baseball, well, you don't have to it. resist eating because, like, yeah. a lot of the time you're like they're snacking on like nuts and seeds and and stuff. Yeah, they the game bring anyway. food to the they eat hot dogs during the what game. Kind of fucking sport yeah. is this? All right, so like, like just to be clear, like like what Good actually luck. happens as far as food, and it's probably all sports. Although I've only seen football this year when Georgia won the championship so convincingly, they were eating hot wings in the third quarter of the game. They were on the bench. The stars <laughs> were eating hot wings. Like. Yeah, it's pretty fun, huh? Yeah, it's just soaking all that voice. It was soaking all that voice. He's here for a lifetime. How did the ninth best team make it to the final game? I don't know. Yeah. At the, <laughs> at the last Braves game I was at, I had, I don't know, the best seats that money can buy without, like, knowing somebody. And uh, you could see the players' wives and shit, like, right in front of me. Because, you know, you can't buy their seat. You've got to suck dick for sure. it. And I noticed Step that, like, game, Kyle. they're going right down into a little private tunnel. And it's not... It's not ballpark food. It's catering. There's t- there's tiramisu. <laughs> They're coming out with little glass plates and and little doilies with with cupcakes on them and shit, forks and stuff. I wish I was an athlete's wife, right? Oh, it's gonna be not. Sure to suck more dick. I'll take any of them. I mean, you the amount of dick, dick is okay, too. Taylor. But you needed to step it up to become an athlete's wife. No, I'd have to be blonde. Have you not seen? Mm. Yeah, they it's are. Huge, they're all blonde. I have no yeah. chance. Maybe Kyle. They're Maybe not real blondes. Kyle. They're not natural blondes. You could do it. No, I take it back. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah, no. Really that, huh? well, most of them have that uh, that uh, superstition where they can't fuck before a game because they uh, don't want to. They don't want to like lose the testosterone, so <laughs> they think it's bad luck. I don't think it'd be that hard. Like most of the season, they'd want to win, so you can just sort of lay around, do whatever you want. I, yeah, I really like, hope there aren't a lot of people different. who subscribe to that notion of of, of not like coming or fucking um, for some reason to improve athletic performance. Ronda Rousey didn't talk about it, but it was the inverse. She said there was mm-hmm. a release of testosterone, so she'd try to fuck before a big fight. That may be true for women. Um, yeah. But, like, you know, they're, everything's backwards for them. But um, it, everything's backwards. That brains a lot. Yeah. 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 Putting their inverted but I, I could be totally convinced either way. <laughs> it's good one, Slush. Like, <laughs> fucking yeah, I went yeah. under the radar, but I like it. <laughs> oh, I got it. <laughs> Like if if it's, you told me that like fucking beforehand is like it increases focus, I'd be like, okay, I believe you a little bit. No. And if someone was like, no, it loses testosterone, I'd be like, that makes sense. Come is is something to do with that. It's yeah. way more. <laughs> if I'm hyped up to go play ball today and I have sex, there's a non-zero chance I'll be like, 
What's I thinking? I don't want to play ball. <laughs> <laughs> I want to yeah. go take a fucking nap. <laughs> like, yeah, like, so, like, so maybe uh, in that regard. I, I I watched someone talk about a uh, a wrestler that used to like just watch a fuckload of porn before he went out, like not not uh, jerk it, but he just sit there and just watch like hardcore porn as like he's instead of like an amp up song, like this dude's yeah. not listening to Anti Sandman, like he's just sitting there watching like he's got a fat hardcore anal yeah, fucking hardcore. Yeah, I think his sole motivation was just to look good in little wrestling trunks. Yeah, yeah, yeah just get out, out of there. He was All getting right. out of a sticky situation. What are you doing? Getting ready for the fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, whenever, I always wonder about that because some of those wrestlers, man, they're, they're little like uniforms they would wear, especially back in the day with WWF. They didn't cover a lot. Like I can see your dick mm. root, bro. And I, mm-hmm. I, I know for me personally, maybe I'm the only one here, but when I get into athletic competition of any kind, any sort of like serious thing, my dick shrinks. It's like, oh, we're going into fight mode. Mine's down to like All right, seven. Let me reel the, the it, rest of your. It like reels <laughs> itself <laughs> in. The rest of your body's like, we need all blood reserves for fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so. I could just. Imagine I don't want it hanging out because if I get yeah, into a like fight, someone's gonna die. I don't want to lose yeah. the end of it. No, <laughs> exactly. You don't. Yeah, you don't want it flopping. That's Dude, tradition here. I'd be down ever, to six. <laughs> you ever seen Future Promises, where Vigo Mortensen, Aragorn himself, fights off two or three uh, Russian mafiosos in a sauna, butt ass naked? All right, hanging dong. He is hanging hey. dong. And these Russians come in. I would have been like, "Can I put my underwear on before we start?" And I feel like they'd have said yes. But he goes right to action. He just starts fighting, mm-hmm. and and the whole time, all I'm thinking is, "Dude, I hope nobody like pinches your balls or something." Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're fighting happen. to the death. Hypothetical, yeah. Kyle. You yeah. say, "Can I put my underwear on before the fight?" Yeah. Do you think they fully let you and then start a fair fight, or do they wait until you're like, I don't know, ankles are it tied depends. together? I'll say, I'll say this: If it were me on the other end, and we're coming to jump some guy, like a ba- let's say he's a bad guy, he's the villain, and he's naked, and we're coming there to like do justice. In, in our minds, that's probably what those Russian gangsters are thinking. And he's like, "Hey, comrade, I don't want to hang." brain while we fucking do this thing in the sauna i don't want to die with my dick out I, i'll tell you what when i if you hurt me i might pee on you a little you never know or if i hurt you i enjoy that i might come on you a little i'd be like whoa bro you s- say less put your, put your <laughs> you know what put your pants on <laughs> the russian guy's like oh is that the threat or a promise like, <laughs> there was an MMA fight in Pride. Now, this is the early days before people really knew what fighting was. Well, before people really knew what fighting was most effective. So this Brazilian jiu-jitsu guy who always trained in his karate pajamas, it's called a gi. Mm. Uh, he goes out there and, and a gi is a weapon to him, right? He's like with this belt, with this jacket, with whatever. Half of my chokes involve like grabbing my own clothes and stuff like that. So he wears the gi. Well, and this story is going to be like 80% right into the fight. He realizes that this gi is a weapon that goes both ways. He not only is it handles for him that he's accustomed to having, but his opponent can easily just like grab him by the deltoids and control him or do whatever. There's handles all over me and none on you. Mm -hmm. So mid fight, he's like, wait a second. And he starts to take his gi off (laughs) and the other guy fucks him up while he like, at all uh, it's not sporting great. and that's what i it said but not. everyone else i was training at the time was like of course he did it's fighting you don't there's no timeouts in fighting that's a very they're literally essential are. thing i mean <laughs> I, there literally are timeouts in fighting. you can't a, asking for a timeout in fighting is very bad form it's like worse than third man in like you you can't do it no, there's no it, way it's worse than they do it every, man in. Almost every fight does it though. With they'll claim eye poke, low blow. So UFC has made some rule changes unofficially. I've just noticed in the results and what happens. It the, the second foul, you get a point taken away every single time, just about now. Mm-hmm. And, and so it it's very advantageous for for me if I'm in there. If anything is close, if you kick me and it's close to my dick at all, I'm gonna fake it. I'm gonna mm-hmm. fake. I'm oh, oh, he got me, and they're gonna go ah. Foul number one. One more foul like that, taking a whole point. A point means the round is lost. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah. I could. I, there are scenarios where, where because of that point, even though I lose two out of three of these rounds because one judge is a little squirrely, we get like a split draw or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like this is good for me. 
Yeah. So everybody does that now. It's, it, eyes get near my face. Oh, my, you poked me right in the eye. Oh, oh, foul number one. They need some embellishment. Oh, my glove makes sure yes. let you know. You know, um, they're yeah. trying to get the like first foul. Um, you know, they should do what hockey soccer. does. Mm-hmm. Like if you embellish or if you're just a mm. dick in general, bring an enforcer in. You 2v1 him. Dude, and oh. at the end of every season, they just the NHL Damn. just released the list this year. They release a list at the end of every season fully showing everyone who embellished and how many times they embellished throughout the year. And like, so if someone, if you see a name that's like, but that guy embellished three times this year, that's absurd. That guy's absurd. Yeah. Dude, like a flagrant embellishment three times, like pretending to be hurt and like jumping when you're tripped. Like it's often European. Is this one of those scenarios where like speeding, you get caught every 400th time. And if you're three speeding tickets this year, that means you're pretty insane. No, like these, like these people are like serial. Like if some guy, if uh, you know, I don't like. Did, did the question well, make sense? Because doing it three times over eighty-two games doesn't sound outrageous to me. It is to have it called on you three times. That That's was the question. Have it, so, oh, I'm, I'm to sorry, have I'm it called it. three times means he did it three hundred times. C- correct. Yes. Yes. Okay. So like like PK Subban, like he established such a reputation for it that like he just stopped getting calls. That's eventually how it goes. And so they need to bring shaming like that to the UFC. Post a list of everyone who embellishes and find them for it. And then they stop mostly. I There's agree less with embellishment you. and more intentional fouls. Like it, like by ratio, <laughs> it, it, there's way more, there's way more intentionally fouling someone than there is people intentionally embellishing things. Uh, that, that is way more common. They changed the gloves also quietly recently. Uh, it's, it's, it's we interesting how they're it. just, they're just evolving the sport quietly. I, they heavier. did do that quietly because they now. asked about gloves, and Dana White said the only change is the color. So everybody was pointing out the material me? between the thumb and the okay. finger. That and maybe I got fucking hoodwinked, but no, I, I don't I read know. a whole I, thing. I just know <clears throat> tweet or something. I, I saw some fighters Instagram. They were like new UFC gloves. I remember when they had the like the twenty five or thirty year. I think it's twenty five year uh, anniversary, maybe thirty. But so they got the number on the glove, the thirty on the glove. And then the, the first night they did it, dude fucking hits a guy so hard, he knocks the 30 off his glove. <laughs> oh. That's amazing. You know, it would be like, awesome if yeah. the 30 gets stuck on the other guy. <laughs> on his face. Oh. Yeah. That's what it's I want. It's the best ever. <sighs> I'm going to give you like, something what? you can't take off. We went mm-hmm. to the... You, I, I, I finally joined a Kyle versus Taylor gaming night on, on, the, mm-hmm. on the PK yeah. Hangout. What does it take to be in that Hangout? Is it like a fifty dollar thing? It's all fifty. You, you can't do it with like five or something to get. You'd be that a Discord. friend of mine. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's how I did it. Yeah. Not, I don't have any friends well, that don't pay me fifty dollars. <laughs> well, like Finn's in that. Finster's in there. Uh, he pops in every now and then and and yeah. keeps around with. I don't. I don't charge him. <laughs> <laughs> Not with money. Uh, no, yeah, no, I saw the game. It. There were some highlights for me. It wasn't even the gameplay. Kyle was explaining. How everyone in the you have to see understand this is a battlefield. It's four people playing at once. They play free for all and domination two v two. And Taylor, how many people are on your team? Would you say this is NPC fifteen hundred? Fifteen hundred. Sure. Yeah. Kyle's explaining they all have a backstory. He's like, you can zoom into this guy. He there's a guy running <laughs> for his life. He's not doing. He's not obeying Kyle's commands anymore. He's just running into the woods. And Kyle's explaining, like, well, he has like a wife and kids at home. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they await his return in Lorien Forest. Yeah, he can't <laughs> die in this battle. He, he must return to, get... to the calls of Kurak from whence he came. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Warhammer three what, what, is what we're talking about. Slash, uh, yeah, I can't Total War oh, Warhammer sorry, three, yeah, the like RTS fantasy, top down. Fantasy been, Warhammer uh, RTS. It's really cool for cool it's people. A cool guy. It's a cool game. I get so much pussy. It genuinely is fucking sick. It's a sweet game. I, yeah. I'm a massive fan of Warhammer. I used to collect that shit like uh, like really? fuckloads when I was younger. I dare you to uh, produce any kind of Warhammer Warhammer physical item. I, doll, I, I would. Plaque. All of my stuff is out in the uh, in the lounge room, and I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I'll take your word for it then. Just wait a little at- bit, then go get yeah. your stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, 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 I sold most of it back in the day. I have, uh, I have like one set left of uh, Chaos Space Marines, and they're not. Oh, painted. cool. That is I was good. like, I'm, I'm gonna leave. I, I was like, I'm gonna paint those, but I, I got rid of a lot of it back in the day. But uh, yeah, I used to love it, and uh, I've heard the books are really good. I've been the book, needing to get. I've into heard that. good stuff about the book. I've read a couple, two or three or four of the 40k books. Um, 
the game we play is based in the fantasy um, Warhammer universe, yeah. which is has a lot of similarities. The gods are the same, mm-hmm. but yeah. um, it's uh, you know it's 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 fantasy. There's, it's 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 as like, opposed it's, to the sci-fi. realism one. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, one's a space, one's like galactic spaceship, and the other is more like. You know, the empire is just a bunch of people. It's the emperor of man, you know, and it's just a bunch of guys on horses. I was like, is there, as a- if not fantasy, like a factual Warhammer universe? <laughs> yeah. that actually- they do that too. Or Rome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. Rome. they do historical games as well. Um, we're playing more of the, you know, the, the one they branded with Warhammer, but they make uh, historical games with just the so French versus... Do. But how many times do you do the French versus the Saxons before you're just like, you know what? I hate crossbows. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I used to love that uh, Total War Rome. The uh, yeah. the, Back in the day, I used to play that with my brother. And we'd, we would sit there for like 15 hours on a game. And we'd start off as like two different nations. And we'd get to the point where it's just like both of us have like half of the world each. And then we're just constantly fighting each other. And then we just have like a massive argument. And either we'd punch each other out or one of us would just like quit the game <laughs> so yeah, like, war is no. yeah. Yeah, yeah, you said she hard. appreciated the narration you were giving kyle and explaining what was going on and oh very uh, that's 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 nice yeah. to say I, I meant to say it was nice uh hearing her voice i hadn't uh heard from her in a long time yeah it's um, been a while yeah that was cool you guys popped in and watched us play for a <laughs> yeah, little while fun. At last, we played again last night, and I had a fucking meltdown. <laughs> oh, I wish we were there for that. That's I had fun. a fucking yeah, I had it's a meltdown. meltdown every show. Cool. Mode. Like, let me, let me. Yeah, I, want, I want full blue boy Woody mode. Um, nice. I, I. Uh, so part of it is this: if, if I have a nap and I get woken up from it, sort of unexpectedly, I get like nap blue balls, where I'm, I'm, I can't control how grouchy I am. I'm just in this <laughs> very sour mood. I feel mean. When I like, 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 I feel like I want to hurt somebody. Like, like, okay. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll be malicious. I'll hurt feelings and say cruel, cruel things that normally I would just let float through because it's that's not funny. It's just mean. Don't say that. But um, you know that happened yesterday, and uh, and Who and I can't. And I told them, I, I, everybody, everybody, <laughs> I, 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 everybody. The problem Taylor, did was you catch a stray? A little. Not really. Not really. I, I, uh, I almost texted Taylor, hey, if any of that was directed toward you rudely, I'm sorry. It was just meant for <laughs> everyone. <laughs> oh, I started typing it. I mean, I, I was kind of laughing at it, just like, this is kind of hilarious. Because <laughs> like, he was what, saying the whole time, like, you- I'm in a bad mood. I'm going to blow up. And I'm like, I think he's kind of goosing up the humor a little bit. And he was not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I you kept telling not him. Carrying I'm like, his load? Oh, it wasn't that at all. What, what okay. happened was... Taylor wants to get everybody involved and have to have a big war 2v2. But the problem is that game suffers from a few things. It's not a super popular game, so not a lot of people play the multiplayer specifically. You have to have a very good PC hardware-wise, thousands of dollars. You have to have very good bandwidth so you can connect. We're all clicking this RTS. Microseconds are happening. And and if there's and the, the whole thing slows down and starts lagging if anybody has bad bandwidth. And mm. I, I'll sit there. Taylor will be like, hey, yeah, you want to play with us? Do you have this game? To all these people that I know either are just bad at all games, bought the game just to be kind, have never played it and never will. People who have like really shitty computers, people who have awful laggy internet. And I'll sit there because I'm being polite normally. And I'll just, and hours of my time will be wasted <laughs> while we try to have a game with these people. I'm sitting in lobbies for an hour and a half, playing for 15 minutes only to find that they're going to drop because their system can't handle the game, then spending another 20 minutes like getting everybody back in the lobby only to find that that what you know what I mean? Like, after, can I pause you? Yeah. Is there, there a way for them to test without you to see if no. they're capable of playing this game? No. Okay. Not exactly. We all need to connect all four of us there. It really puts a stress on things. Yeah. So okay. I just had enough. I'm like, no, no, I don't want to play with you. I don't play with any of you. No, you, you, no, Taylor, it won't work. And I just see Taylor, you specifically, he doesn't and, want to play with just, you. Yeah, he just, <laughs> like, Look at that. No, Taylor, <laughs> it won't work. It's like, I just want to play. If me and Taylor get in the lobby and just play, we can play a game and then another and then another and then another. But mm-hmm. when we involve all these people who can't play, don't know how to play, don't have the, the system to play, or don't have the bandwidth to play, it's just a fucking nightmare. <laughs> it, was, it was like after the, the blow up and everything, like we decided, like, Kyle was like, I'm doing one v one with Taylor. I'm doing one v one to Taylor tonight. We're running games. We're practicing. And then someone came in like comically soon after that and was like, Hey, are you guys playing? You know, you need someone else to jump in. And Kyle was just like, I am running one v ones with Taylor tonight. It will not work out. 
<laughs> if we try this, I am telling you, it will not pan out. Yeah. We're one v winning. If you would like to watch, you can watch. <laughs> yeah, like, okay. if, if they want to get in the group and play with me, get up, do what I do. Do what I do because I get on an hour and a half, two hours early before y'all do, and I make sure shit works. I'm there for hours before you. I, <laughs> I show up to this show to 15. I'm here, but sometimes and Zach isn't here. You know, get there <laughs> early and we'll get your and y'all get in a room together and make your own game that works and then invite me. But I'm not going to be your overseer and your fucking myth buster and the guy who tinkers on your goddamn hardware. Well, maybe an SSD will help. Of course, it'll fucking help. <laughs> they're free they're free now it's the 21st century get an ass anywho yeah and i don't know if like kind of like hammered this part home enough like it's not just trying to get into a game like multiplayer in this game is rife with errors and glitches and it will sometimes for no reason tell you you can't start a game everything's set up correctly everything and then you back out do it again now it will work like i don't know what i'm talking about but i did watch it for one night and it seems like preparing yourself to start a game is at least as time consuming as Tarkov. It like it, people spend 15 minutes making decisions prior mm -hmm. to the game and the wrong people could spend 30 or 40. Yeah. And that's yeah. not that big of a deal. Cause it's like, if it's everyone's like in the Tarkov lobby and you're picking your way. military and it gets to be like 10 minutes, you can be like, Hey, is everybody readied up? And usually someone will be like, Oh, I didn't even realize I was taking a while. We're all like, smoking too. So yeah. like, Oh, uh, that might and calm you down. Cause I'm in Tarkov, I don't like that. that. You take 10 yeah. minutes and then I'm like, no, back to the drawing board. And then it's like <laughs> <laughs> in uh in Tarkov, I play Tarkov solo for that reason. I'm not gonna wait on y'all anymore. I had a little blow up in Tarkov. I was like, look, man, I'm just man, I love so playing with you guys. Times, duos and trios. Locked. Duos and trios are my time. favorite. But mm -hmm. I would rather play 10 solo matches than two fucking duos or trios. And that's just what's gonna happen if I have to drag y'all around and wait on you to get out and then, oh i need to clean my stash i got on an hour early out of respect for you and i cleaned up my stash why couldn't you do that for me mm -hmm. you know yeah. um so yeah. i play I, I like to play most of those games solo but this is a, a game where i want to compete with somebody i need yeah. uh, what are they what's the saying about steel sharpening steel or something iron, <laughs> sharpens sharpens iron. Iron. iron sharpens iron yeah mm -hmm. uh, you know yeah. like like i i need taylor there to taylor's very smart he studies during the day and improves every night and it shows Good. and so Who's we taylor we, Hmm? Yeah, that's, that's why I connect with the other glasses. Can't you tell? I was confused yeah. for a Look second. How thick Never mind. These are. <laughs> yeah, it, it's such yeah. a fun game. I'm having a blast with it. Uh, Slush, I want to know have you ever had a, a big time gaming blow up moment Ooh. where you lost your shit on someone? Oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've had a, I've had a few mouse chucks on stream before. Mm, I nice. most of them are so ninety nine percent of them have been Tarkov, um, and then just Tarkov related bullshittery. Like a grenade will land directly next to me and make no fucking sound or some bullshit like that, and then I just lose it. I, I'm like the main thing that fucks with me is the um like when a game bugs and I mm -hmm. die. Because of that reason, like I don't care about yeah. getting our class. Like I know I'm not the best in the world, and I'm gonna die. But if I die to bugs, and it just keeps happening, and it's a mm -hmm. bug that's been Are in the game, you a two-time world ages. champion. Uh no, we only won rivals once. I did. Okay. Test one time world champion. Times. A one time yeah. world champion. I just wanted to, yeah. wanted to throw that out there because he's like, you know, yeah. I know I'm not that good. It's too in my heart. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's uh, yeah, it's it's just infuriating when it's like a bug that's been in the game for like ever. I I will say sometimes when uh when I'm playing something and I'm playing with someone that has no idea what they're doing and I'm like trying to I'm trying to like move forward in the game like especially like a like I was playing this game called Barotrauma a while back and uh it's about like operating a submarine and everyone has like specific jobs that they have to Ooh. do and. So, oh, this would be great to play with the community if you want to lose your shit because it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> you <laughs> you know, like, more like that bomb defusing yeah. game? Yeah, uh, I, it's, that's what I it's thought. It's called, yeah, Barrow Trauma, it's called. And uh, you're, you're, so you, you're, you're fucking accent, brother. Barrow? Uh, hang on, I'll just type it in here. This, is, barrel. Barrel. <laughs> this barrel. is Barrel Trauma? Do you, do you just barrel. wear a barrel in public? <laughs> barrow Trauma. There we go. Barrow? Oh, in like, oh yeah. B A R O trauma. I don't know what barrow. I heard is. it right. It's just a word that doesn't exist, so I, I didn't recognize. Yeah, it. so it's it's. Uh, I think it's meant to be like uh, pressure underwater 
kills you or some shit. I don't even know if it's a real <laughs> word. But the, oh, um, like parametric yeah. trauma. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's, yeah, you have, like, a, a submarine, and it's, like, this sort of, like, Lovecraftian horror thing. Like, you're on a, a different planet, and there's all these, like, fucking monsters that, like, attack your sub. And everyone has, like, specific jobs. Like, I was the captain, so I'm trying to order everyone around. Right but I'm playing time. with a bunch of friends, and all of us are fucking drunk as fuck or high. No one's listening to what the fuck's <laughs> happening. We're just crashing the submarine into bullshit and dying over and over again. So, yeah, and then I'm, now I'm losing my fucking mind. Like, I'm yelling at people. <laughs> and then, of course, I've got people that are just, like, I think that they just don't understand in reality. They're just being fuckheads and riling me up deliberately. So I've got one one teammate running around shooting me with fucking radioactive darts so i think that the reactor is fucking leaking because i keep getting <laughs> irradiated and shit like that <laughs> so you control the fuck out of each other there's even like a um that sounds like fun. uh imposter kind of mode where it's like one person's mission to like sink the sink the fucking submarine, submarine. and kill everyone oh. so, well, that's that's the way to play it seems yeah if you Everyone's... look at the graphics you'll be like what the fuck is this but it is actually quite fun and and in depth but yeah is yeah, it you scary lose your it's shit. A survival yeah. horror submarine simulator i wouldn't say scary it, okay. i mean it's because it's stressful like, maybe it's definitely stressful like yeah. trying to keep mm. the the second I... you get attacked by something it's like holy fuck what the fuck is happening because there's just like water coming in every orifice and you're just like fucked what are you playing nowadays, Slush? I just random stuff, really. I've uh, I've been playing Snow Runner. Just, uh, Snow Runner. I don't even know what that is. I hope that's a bobsled game. No, I wish. Um, mm. that, it's like a uh, it's like a full driving game. So you have uh, you, you have like a, a map, and it's like uh, fucked roads and stuff, and you have to like full drive your way through it to do like certain missions, like. Like uh, get to a point to unlock like a uh, a watchtower, and then that'll show you all the missions on the map. And then you have like big trucks, and you have to ship like they like fucking oil rig machinery through these like fucked Alaskan ice truck roads. And it's okay. uh it's quite fun. The you, the uh the physics on it are fantastic. Like the the mud all like deforms and shit like that, and it it, it looks amazing. Uh, I it's like one of those normally, job simulator games. Exactly. Yeah. I, I normally love that hate shit. the very idea of those games because it's yeah. like, man, maybe you just like become a UPS driver and live yeah. stream that, like yeah. double up on this income thing. But uh, I was watching it. Of course you can. People do it. I, I, there was a short the other day where this guy was, I don't know what game specifically, but he was like long haul trucker simulator. And he was on some make believe road, I'm sure, because it was just like a one lane thing that was a cliff on either side. And he, he was like, oh, going to have to turn around. And he does a fucking crazy U-turn maneuver with like a lane and a half where the whole time he's hanging off. Like, 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 like he's, he's, he rocks the truck at one point. Like, like it's like going to fall off the cliff. No, it's not. Back up. And <laughs> he turned that bitch around. I couldn't have turned a fucking sedan around. On that road. <laughs> And he turned that semi with the trailer and everything. And of course, it translates. it's a video game and everything. But it was really fun to watch him do it because they throw the green scheme, screen behind him that makes them look like they're in a big rig. Yeah. <laughs> they'll put a hat on. They'll fucking pull a fucking fake horn. I love uh, when they do that. Making shit. more money than any real trucker. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I had one, 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 day, uh, one, one stream where a, a game called Lawn Mowing Simulator came out. And uh, so I watched you play that. Yeah, so I got I got lawn mowing simulator out, and then uh, I had uh, the guy that I paid at the time to mow my lawns, mowing my lawn on camera <laughs> while I was simulating mowing lawns, and I was like, "This is it. This is the height of Western society." <laughs> so this is pretending to do a chore yeah. that you could very well just do. Yeah, but, but it's I, like no, but I was paying, listen to this idea. And I'm, 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 I'm out, out here there. like earning like thirty times what this motherfucker's yeah. doing to mow my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, out there in a perfect <laughs> in a perfect world. You have a, a technology where you can scan a customer's yard, throw it into the game as a map, and then live stream your video game character mowing the virtual lawn. But you're simultaneously controlling a mobot that is actually there yeah. in the in the real world mowing it. And they're like, like, all that. right. Here's the virtual job. 
let's see what the real one looked like. And then you just see yeah. a cat mangled. In the fucking <laughs> There's a child crying. The police are shooting the child. There's something wrong love- with the lawnmower. It's got a bunch of little shoes in it. Like- <laughs> <laughs> clock with toddler shoes again, Mike. Yeah. Shoes. We, we were talking about this Full the other day, meat. like... Uh, a game where you set up uh, like trucking Lousy sim, like Euro truck shoes. sim, except you like scan all the roads and then you have these people driving the trucks, except they're actually driving like real trucks in real life. And we're, and we're like, yeah, you, you could totally do that. Like some, some Ender's game level bullshit where you've just got like 16 yeah. year olds. It's, I, I, it's kids you love You know that's Minecraft. what's happening in Ukraine right now, right? What's that? Lawn there's, a, there's a game where guys are actually controlling characters fighting that war. They don't realize it. Let me see. That's that's oh, all I can imagine is happening from the videos that I'm seeing over there. <laughs> that's a Gerard. Dude, I watched movie, a video yesterday it? or the day before. I linked you guys on WhatsApp. It's 11 minutes and 20 seconds long, so I don't blame you if you didn't watch it. I watched it spellbound, wishing there was three hours of it. <laughs> this fucking Russian, no Ukrainian motherfucker. He's he's. I think his call name is Quiet, which probably sounds sicker in Ukrainian. Yeah. Um, he's got like a suppressed AR-15. or well, like the, type, the chick with the huge weapon. tits out of Metal Gear Solid 5. Yes. I didn't know about her. Yeah. I need to, I need to well, yeah. is, it, is it what's It's the other one, the Russian game with those like fembots. Uh, don't let me get distracted. Hang on. Oh. This, guy, this guy's got his GoPro on, and it's fucking first person. Good audio and great video. Like GoPros now are so goddamn good. It, it's not that fish lens like, oh, come on, dude. Lick your thumb. and, and No, it's like a I'm in a movie. It's it's good POV. And he goes down into a hole, which is a bunker where his comrades are down into. And he's like, ah, it's, it's like fucking Gregor dead. And he's like, yes, he paid ultimate price, comrade. And he, dude's dead over there with a jacket laid on him. Everybody's in there kind of scared, dirty, wounded-ish, got their guns and stuff. And uh, he's kind of like getting them organized. And then he go, he looks back out the hole, the entrance to the hole, and a grenade comes in and blows up. Boom. And everybody goes, ah, it hurt. He runs out. He's like, fuck this. He goes out the hole, and there a Russian is. He goes, pop, 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 shoots the Russian. The Russian flick turns and throws his another hand grenade at us. You see the grenade coming through the air. It lands right here and blows up. He goes, boom. He's like, fuck that. He, he doesn't go back in. He's like, come on, get out of the hole. He runs out and around and up on top of the thing they're all un- under. And there the Russians are. There's three of them right fucking there. He's He just starts destroying them. One of them's crawling, trying to get away. And he's going, it's just like we would, because we're not army men. He shoots one a little, and then he's like, oh, that one moved. And he shoots the other one a little, and then he goes back. He's like, <laughs> he, he's, he wounds them all terribly, and then he <laughs> kills them all one by one. And the whole time he's on the radio with command, yeah, we've lost the left trench. 11 o'clock. We've lost 11 o'clock. Get out of the hole. Take 11 o'clock. And his guys are coming out there shooting. And he's like, all right, we've, we've taken 11 o'clock. Friendly's in, it. Friendly's in that trench now. And somebody's like, the orcs jump in the trench at 1 o'clock. Dude turns over here, and there they are. And they're like 40 yards away, and they don't see him. He's just killing them all. Bizarre to be that six close. Guys. He kills six That's guys crazy. in four minutes, maybe. With his Something silenced, like that. What, what is the weapon? Like an M4 here? type. It's He's, uh-huh. he's semi automatic it, so just call it a, a, now, uh, an M4. Or after an all of our other grenade discussion... It made me yeah. think that like you can't survive two grenades going off right next to you. Depends on the grenade and like l- these must luck. be terrible grenades. Like, how do you? Yeah, that seems for really two? unlikely. Did they not I, go off? I hear you. The other thing is, um, I, I've so I've watched a lot of grenade footage. Sometimes it lands in just the wrong spot. Like if there's even a if it lands in a one foot hole, then it's hey. kind of in neutralized. Tarkov. It can go in that bucket. <laughs> it can go <laughs> in that bucket in the hallway. That. I've a, in shoreline, I've been laying down and I have one land on the other side of a cardboard box and blow up and it didn't kill yep. me. I'm like, yep. Or uh, people throw them into a uh, a bedroom and you jump up on top of the bed and it goes under the bed and then it doesn't kill you. That's uh, just like real life. Yeah, I yeah, do exactly. not understand grenade damage. Like I, I've watched footage where like people seemingly are okay, seeming seem to be okay. And then the comments explain like, no, that guy's toast. He's got six bullet holes yeah. in him. It's like, you don't understand. A million chunks of metal fly out. And then the other one was like, blows up there, blows up there. It's like, you don't understand. Total crap shoot. Like, <laughs> it's like, what, what is it? The one because thing I you're just, right about is I don't understand. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. There seems to be a huge um, gap between good and bad it's funny, grenades. 
<laughs> the guy that's closer to the mouth of the 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 cave who like eats the grenade more or less. But our cameraman is like, "Fucking Vasily, are you still alive?" And dude kind of looks over his own body and goes, <laughs> "It was like, fuck, we got to get out of this hole, boys." And yeah, that's it's like how no Final Destination really cool starts. Video. As you were telling the story, it's like, dude, the temptation is to go deeper in the hole. That's not going to win you any fights. You got to get out and fight. It's the yeah, situation's not going to improve unless you. I'll improve. say this: I I know in World War One, um, they would do this thing where both sides would miss on purpose because mm -hmm. if you hit somebody, they'll just replace them. They will be replaced. Um, so just just miss, just keep missing, and the the number of men on the line will remain the same, and nobody will die. So they would just do that. If the Russians are being forced forward or something, or they want it because they're coming, they're coming. And so, waves of men running through the forest with rifles, just they're coming. I, I watch a lot of Ukraine footage and I've heard more that both the things you said. So on the World War One thing, like they were intentionally missing each other. There was a, there's a famous thing where I guess they played soccer against each other on Christmas, Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. And the people the the guy making the video was explaining like yeah 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 everyone knows about the soccer not everyone knows that they kind of sort of stopped fighting like weeks leading into that they were intentionally shooting in the air and as soon as one side got a kill the other side would get a kill and everyone would be like whoa 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 this is getting kind of warish yeah. dial it back <laughs> <laughs> you know? so, so they just wanted to hang out in the shit transfers forever part of how <laughs> world war one ended and how no one was ever making progress was the people in the trenches figured out that it wasn't to their <laughs> best interests to shoot each other mm -hmm, so they yeah. would just miss and, and drag it on and survive and then um kyle had a second point uh oh oh yeah so the russians it's not in their best interest to do what they're being commanded to do which is like rush these things right they'll be like what do you take them from the front kyle you come from the flank and i quickly figure out you know what would work well for me what if I attack the front really slowly and let Kyle soften them up and let Kyle attack them and then I'll just fucking chill. Uh, when Kyle's 90% finished, I'll jump in and be like, yeah, sorry, traffic or whatever. Um, and then it's Kyle's incentive to do the same thing. So these Russians are not fighting hard like they should and they're letting each other down when they have a, a manpower advantage. So manpower now they're putting the advantage. They're giving they're up the tackle advantage, sort of an L attack. Mm -hmm. where you're attacking from one flank and then head on and both parties have to fully engage for that to be effective if you if you do anything else then it's just like a game yeah. we play then these guys with the defensive positions will kill you as you run <laughs> into the machine guns that are mounted mm -hmm. okay. and pointed yeah. where you're coming from so uh now they put these russians in these positions where it's like take this and you have to either take the position or die if one of those things didn't happen, then I know you didn't do your job and we shoot you in the back. And hmm. that is the kind of stuff that's happening on the Russian side right now. It is. I suppose you don't need motivation as a Ukrainian because you're like, I'm defending the home turf. Like, I, th I think that's probably why it's so hard to invade a country, though, because like if people are like, this is rightfully ours, they have mm -hmm. all the motivation in the world. And these other yeah. people, they're, like, they're just kids that are just fucking it's doing what they're told. Yeah, Very I, uh, drafted in Afghanistan. Yeah, I linked you guys. Well, that you Russian... see, Af Afghanistan, you have like the whole like anti terrorist thing. Like, that was a massive motivation. So they're just like, all right, that's enough motivation for us to go to this country and do whatever the fuck we want. Oh, so, for the U.S. government, yeah, I was saying yeah, like yeah. the the failure of the U.S. military to like yeah. win Afghanistan like yeah. bolsters your point. But, uh, like, yeah, you, but, uh, people defending uh, where their home yeah. is like are going to. But after a while, like more. that should have ran out of steam. Like it, it's, it was like 2001. You had like a good like five six years where it's like yeah, yeah, fuck those towheads, and then uh, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden they're just like they're just like ah, uh, we're sort of getting over this now. So it was never gonna happen. Like yeah. they're never like yeah. that shit had you to know, be. I think we like, killed all the ones we were originally mad at, Jim. Yeah, yeah that, that <laughs> that's how we want to be over. Everybody like, says we lost fucking... those wars, and I, I get that. Like mm -hmm. we didn't go out there and clean them out like John Wayne would have. And we didn't yeah. ride in there and take their whole government down and, and prop up a new one. We didn't do a Japan, Germany. But Jesus, I think we literally did kill all the ones we were originally mad at. Like it was their sons we were fighting by the end of the war. But, I mean, yeah. the same day. How did we allow them to the reproduce? US, <laughs> yeah, the same day the US left. Should have sterilized them. <laughs> like the Taliban was like following them out, like. Like the front of their shoes on the back of their boots. Like you leaving, huh? Ha ha ha! Like, yeah. <laughs> and we're in charge again. 
<laughs> yeah, you can't you can't really say it was a win. I don't think. Not but, at all. But at the same time, it was a huge L. It's a huge L. It's the American huge L. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the, we're, we've tied every war since two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there's a lot of people over there. We're like a like... we're like a UFC fighter who's fought like seven years too long, <laughs> and, like, and we've yeah. ruined our initial good record with a bunch of ties. Do you think? <laughs> We I tied Vietnam. You... That guy's career sucks. God damn. That's like, <laughs> that'd be a, Korea. That'd be America that'd be just needs to start fighting influencers for money. You know? Ah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. We fight yeah. epic mealtime men and uh, and Sam yeah. Hyde. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, ideally. Yeah. Dude, I loved Harley's fight. And I, I look at it through a different... If people didn't see Harley's fight, I, I he goes in there and Harley's against this WWE wrestler whose nickname is the mayor of slam town. I'll be calling him the mayor going forward. Mm -hmm. So Har Harley goes in there and he and the mayor meet sort of center ring. Harley's a much taller man, but the other guy's you know, like kind of like a professional athlete, right? He's a professional wrestler. He's, he's really athletic. Big guy. He, he gets on the inside and he starts landing punches on Harley. And uh, I thought looking at highlights that it was the end of the fight when the guy knocked Harley down with a punch and Harley rolled out from under the ropes into the crowd. And we did a sort of round table before the fight. And what was your biggest fear, right? I think one of us didn't want to take our shirt off in public. Another mm -hmm. one was worried they'd get hurt. Mine was coming up short on courage. Like that's my big fear. I can lose a fight. That's fine. And, and I think I could manage to look good enough for my age and in, in, with a shirt off. But, but, my fear is that I go in there and I don't have the courage that I expect from myself. Well, Harley gets hit hard. He gets knocked down to the point where he's like out of the ropes. And like, what does he do? Like he, he's walking around the side of the ring to the adjacent side. He's, he's going 90 degrees around this ring. And then he gets back in. He had an out. He was hit. Everyone would have understood that he was hit. He was hurt. He was knocked down and the fight could have ended, but not Harley. Harley is like... I didn't hear no bell, right? And he goes back in there and he tries again. It's because it he ruptured your eardrum, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> Harley was just thinking. <laughs> it doesn't go a lot better in the, the the second half of the fight. Again, the mayor manages to close the distance. He hits Harley. This time when Harley goes down, the ref immediately pulls one of those like time to stop sort of deals. And that ends the fight. And look at that. <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> if like you're thinking experience. that what you look from a fight like i love fights i've talked about this all the time it doesn't matter if it's a, a, a freaking ufc championship fight or two middle school kids on the playground i love to watch fights and i judge them by courage and heart and if, and if you could pull that picture up again it is the epitome of courage and heart harley didn't win the fight on the scorecards but like I, i'm proud of his performance so yeah yeah, he I would not have stepped in the, the ring people. like when he told us when he was on last the name of the guy again that he was fighting and we looked it up. I was just like, Good picture. oh, no, like this. This guy's a real deal athlete. Like you couldn't pay me to Some get nice controllers embarrassed by this guy. I, in another way, actually, it's way less embarrassing to lose a fight to that guy than like another food challenge youtuber you know like oh, no no, you no one is gonna no one is i don't think anyone out there is like harley what a pussy did you see him get beat up by that enormous professional athlete it's like yeah right. no shit like harley knew what was coming going into it as well more that. Than not. <laughs> what's um, the thing like having, yeah. having the balls to step into the ring with someone sure. that you know is probably gonna beat the piss out of you it's like yeah that's that's pretty tough <laughs> yeah. yeah i don't yeah. think you did I would it all do for free can you believe yeah. it I would, I, I would only fight my no. blind, blind children. Like no, something I'm, I'm, that I win. I thought that went really well for Harley, honestly. Um, he didn't get like hurt or bloodied. He got knocked around a little. But I, I think we could all take that kind of beating and, 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 and go to sleep that night. It's not that scary beating. To mm -hmm. me, I, I, don't wanna, I don't want my nose broken again. Like Man, even now, my allergies, I'm like, I'm over here with suck. like fucking sinus shit and, and my black people Vaseline. Uh, just just to try to keep my nose from falling <laughs> off. So so if somebody broke my fucking nose again, that would just ruin my goddamn year. Yeah. I, I didn't order the black people Vaseline on purpose, um, but it's what what came. Um, it says equitable skin care for all. And then it's got two black ladies and um, a silhouette of a third. No, there's a silhouette of like a whole slew of them. It, like it's it's lousy with black <laughs> people on the me? cover of this thing. <laughs> what, yeah. Um, how it, is it? Are you sure it's special Vaseline and not just like 
of different brands. Or... But no, no, no. It's special Vaseline. Um, it's, Why does it's fucking everything have that art style now? That like boring, bad shade, bland art. No, we got all like the browns Google in doodles here, Taylor. Do We've recovered Very everyone. Ugly. Um, every every shade of taupe brown and and <laughs> and fucking mauve. Uh, but anyway, I mean your nose looks came, great, so it's working. It's it's been great for keeping my my raw raw fucking nose. Um, I've been sick for maybe I don't know. You think maybe doctor time soon? It's a almost I don't go a to month. Doctors. I've got to go get my fucking blood work. Uh, oh god, I don't want to do that blood work. I'm gonna pass Let someone this. else do it. No, <laughs> I'm no gonna like you give them your blood. blood don't work. be ridiculous. Have him. I'll, this is you well, need to find like a fitness chick. Yeah, I have you like, yourself all the time. You can Kyle, take your own blood. I have blood a bucket. Works fine, but you're a little pregnant. A blood yeah, bucket. I have a blood bucket. I could just use that. <laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> just just take him a. Gross. I hate giving that blood work. I they he emailed me the other day. He's like, hey, just checking in. You know, you need to. Get, and I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I'll get right on it. And that My was last blood's week. Fine. Monday, I'm going Monday. Monday, I'm going. I, I I'm psyching myself up. I'm going to get my blood work. Slush, I've got to do this fucking blood work. They take like eight goddamn vials of my blood intravenously, and I'm a pussy a, about that stuff. I pass out. I get lightheaded. Um, okay. I can feel it squirting out of me. It makes a noise when the, my blood is coming out with such force, and it hits the vial. You can hear it go. <laughs> it makes that's like crazy. this gross noise, and I'm and all that's in my head. Blood pressure is yeah. like two twenty over one eighty. <laughs> yeah. He's so stressed my, out. He's my so blood is purple. <laughs> My blood is so goddamn dark. It's it looks it, it is dark purple. Yeah. It, it it is it is so dark. Just 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 so many red blood cells in there. Um, me and Lance Armstrong. Just just yeah. Same. <laughs> it, it's it's thick like gravy. That's the problem. <laughs> thick like gravy. But I mean, think of all the free that calories you, have you get. Is that because like it? No, um, it's because it's that? a six-time Tour de France champions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Actually, he's not six-time. That I took think, away I his uh, part of his rewards. They did. Six I times I, in my heart. I think part of the testosterone or something else uh, makes you create more red blood cells. So I do have to give blood on a like, I do it often, every three months or so. And I usually pass out doing that um, because I've just got too many red blood cells. It's too many. My Does it feel thick. bad to pass out? Or is it like, it's not a pleasant, like you're high, like you're a little, dizzy, <laughs> a little woozy. Yeah. So here's the thing. I haven't been slick. Like, I've yeah. I've done enough drugs and been like overly high so many times that I've kind of mastered that fearfulness that comes along with being completely out of control of your body. Um, and it's a safe place to be where you're giving blood. You're lying down on a table. Um, mm -hmm. At least the place I go to, I, you, you lie down on a fucking like church gym where the Red Cross sets up. <laughs> I, I give to the Red Cross. Um, and, uh, and so I don't mind passing out there. I just got, I let her know. I'm like, just gonna let you know, 80% chance I'm getting woozy. 50% chance I black out unconscious, like sleeping and snoring. I have to like, because so they won't understand. I might pass that. Oh, sure. You will. She thinks I'm gonna get lightheaded and be like, mm -hmm. Oh my, no, I'm going down, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I'm going down. <laughs> you gotta uh, stop going, going to the red cross. That's not where you get blood, bro. No, tell me where mm -hmm. blood mm -hmm. connection. Red Cross is a charity. After you give blood, they say thank you. Blood Connection is a business. They're making money off your fucking blood. After you give blood, they're like, hey, you want some like free movie tickets, Amazon gift cards? Here's a towel. Can I interest you in a free t-shirt? Actually, like, yeah. I lied. I, I've been selling my blood to X Jaws uh, for years. <laughs> <laughs> He's got this van that goes from college to college, and uh, it's I called the Vamp that. Squad. Um, they all dress up like with capes like... Dude, this is a great business idea. Write this down, Taylor. Mm -hmm. You uh, you do the yes. whole thing vampire themed. Um, the doctors are wearing idea. capes, <laughs> and you you buy blood at, and you only do it at night because they're drinking. Yes, I like it. Yes. But, hey, you okay. need fifty dollars to hit the bar? Come over it's here. Not, it's not good for a market. People don't like to give blood at night. People like to drink oh, at night, and they need bar money. We're yeah, getting yeah, like, and and added like. He, yeah, how about this? Take, start taking blood Dude. off twenty-one-year-olds that are already pissed, though. They're probably just going to end up dying. Go this way. <laughs> Do it at the start of the night. Be like, "Hey, you know, only take six drinks to get smashed. It'll take you three if you give blood first, and mm -hmm. I'll pay save for some your drinks. Money. Now you're saving money, and we yeah. price our blood collection slightly less than whatever three drinks is at the closest bar. And our Look customers get the added money. benefit of getting a little tipsy when they get their transfusion. Yes, mm -hmm. I don't know about the vampire angle I, like I, am, I, I am i am i i'm trying to backwards work out a way so that blood brothers can be the name of the the company i want nurses with fangs and like 
1950s nurses outfits big tits yes Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. like like, like i want them to look like the brides of dracula from um you know when you know when Keanu was getting, they were all like ju- jumping all over him in the bed. One of them was played by Monica Bellucci, like top three women of all time that I'd like to fuck. Monica Bellucci, huge <laughs> fan. Uh, but she's like crawling all up between Keanu's legs with her vampire teeth, about to suck the blood out of his cock. It's a it's a good scene. And then two oh, more like whores that. come out of nowhere, and then Dracula shows up and he's like, he's mine. And they all like, ah, and he's about to like pimp slap him, and they and they back down. They're like, sorry, daddy, and he's like. It's all right, hoes. And he produces a human baby, an infant, which he then tosses to them and they rip apart and devour. Now, that's, of course, her in her late 40s or so. Monica Bellucci is top all time. Still, huh? but still yeah. 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 Still I looks mean, tremendous. I mean, prime Monica Bellucci, you know. <laughs> right, right. I can. Bellucci prime. I Googled her. I saw some pictures. She, she mm. was super hot. I'm just a little surprised. That's the bullseye. I'll, I'll tell you who it actually is. It's fucking um... Selma Hayek. I like Selma Hike a lot, but it's 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 not her. Uh, I I gotta Google it because I'm spaced out on her name. It's the chick from. Um... Say a movie, I can guess it. <laughs> <laughs> not Dead Till Dawn, which is where I thought you were gonna go. All right, everybody, name movies. Uh, Titanic, um, Harry Potter, uh, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Gladiator. <laughs> Just take movies at random. Uh, <laughs> Jennifer Connelly. It's Jennifer Connelly. Jennifer Connelly. Oh, Jennifer Connelly. Um, oh, like, like, from like, uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Show Am us right OG it? Jennifer Connelly. Um, that because I think Is I think she the her, suit scene in that she I... has a completely nude beach scene where she's mm. like she shows a little back burger and she shows uh full full boobs. Um, big fan of Jennifer Connelly. Um, she's still attractive. She's on that Snow Piercer TV show, which I am um wa- awaiting the this is like pedo uh, Jennifer Connelly. She's a little too young yeah. here, honestly. Like, like mm. I she could be 14 there for all I know. I think she's one of those chicks who is like. Way too attractive, way too early. Oh, no, it's like in the 90s, they had like 45 year olds playing high school kids, though. <laughs> yeah. You never know how old they are. You have to no, guess. her, and then um, from the movie, uh, yeah, this is her like not too long ago. And then um, from Princess Bride, uh, it's where she's her most beautiful, but um, you know, she's the, the wife from uh, House of Cards. Her name's escaping me right now, but but that's also uh, yes. like. Uh, an all-time great. Pretty. I don't know lady. her name. But you're wow. talking about the short-haired wife. The <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Looks I think very classy. classy. Yeah, the first like, lady. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but show me her from um, um, Princess Bride. That's when she's like 22. I oh, bet. I, right. pretty, I bet she had like. Seen, um, although this is a uh, testament to how beautiful she was. She's like 50s now. In, in, a, in yeah. Florida, right. Yeah. Have you said Requiem for a Dream? Of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that, I, I recognize their face, and I'm like, where do I know her from? And then in my ass head, to I, started, ass. Yeah, yeah, I started chanting ass to ass. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, that's where I'm at. Yeah. Anyway, She's a good pick. Um, what were we talking about before this? Oh, yeah, well, man, that's like the worst picture from the whole guy. This is when she's a peasant in the very in the in the beginning of in the first five <laughs> minutes. She becomes a princess like she's 10 minutes still in. pretty. She's yeah. gorgeous, she's so fucking hot. You can't hide that. <laughs> Big fan. Oh, I yeah, feel like the are. first picture right. more than that one. Carrie Yules might be prettier than her, though, right? I think so. That's a good-looking man. He, I, I really have always liked his mustache. I think he's I've, he's a higher tier of side. man than than she is a of woman. Even I don't know. They're both top top tier. They should have bred. <laughs> they should. <laughs> they should have bred to make even perfect even the actors. I think Look they do in the movie. If you were going to draw teeth, you wouldn't draw them as perfectly as hers are. Yeah, well, she's an actress. I'm sure they're veneers. Oh, they look the yeah. same in the fucking eighties. Yeah, that's why, that's, how, 80s. that's what you asked for. Yeah, <laughs> here's a picture of me forty years ago. I want oh, you to yeah. make it glaring. I want everyone I to think... go look at those new teeth. Like <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, she's no Steve Buscemi. She's got like perfect uh, aesthetic going on there. True, and Steve Buscemi is only like ugly compared to attractive actor people. Bullshit. Steve like Buscemi is a ghoul. Not, like if you saw him out at Walmart ghoul. or out You'd be and frightened. About, I don't think. I mean, so. I'd get his autograph no. and kiss his ass and beg him to just uh, acknowledge me. I wouldn't dare take a picture of him, though. <laughs> I, know <laughs> he's I know he's uncomfortable with it. He doesn't want a, his photo taken. How could he? You don't really he's say he's like you're not, super you're not ugly taking a photo like that anymore. You're not taking you know, a photo meanly of him. I'm just, like you would take. He's a photo never been a... attractive. Do you remember how they he was how he was described in the 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 script the screenplay of Fargo? She's like, I don't know. He's funny looking. What do you mean funny looking? I don't know. Just funny looking. Funny looking how it's like she can't even put her finger on how weird mm-hmm. he is and, and like what it is about him because it's like eyes stick out too far. He's all bug eyed. 
He's, yeah. he's got those those crazy teeth. He's got a real angular like one of my favorite diamond shaped face, got a great like a voice. triangle face. I, I maintain odd that, fellow. Like if you're thin, you're pretty handsome. Like that typically happens. You get a lot of definition in your face. A lot of good shit happens. Steve yeah. Buscemi breaks the mold. He is thin and ugly. There's that is but incredibly talented and one, of, the, and one of my favorite character out anymore. People just go and get it fixed, you know. Good they, just, I, I got lost. It, being that ugly, like it, 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 it's like back in the let's say like in the twenties, like you could walk mm-hmm. down the street and you'd see some some motherfucker, and it's like that dude looks like it, all he does every day is just get punched in the face, <laughs> and and that now that you don't see people like that nowadays, like there's just no there's no people I think that just you don't like see that. people like that. It's perhaps it's, uh, it's it's possible. Come that you to rub America. elbows with a finer class of individual than we do. Mm. Oh, no, 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 not that. It doesn't it's just, sound right. You don't see like insanely <laughs> fucked up people. They- When's the last time you went to a Walmart or a DMV or the state of West Virginia? <laughs> okay. I got that. Or the city poll. of Boston. No, the DMV is, a, DMV is an even better pull than than Walmart. Like the DMV is, you feel. Hey. Like a guilt by association in there, almost where it's like, don't I'm go early either. Go when the people showed up, like at noon to the DMV. The one, the early okay. morning, those are go getters. I got shit to do today. Yeah. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> go to the people who showed up at noon. <laughs> go see those people. The procrastinators. Oh, that's that's me. I'm hanging out do. there. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, there's a couple different groups that those folk are cut from, but by and large, it's a shit show there. And you'll always see my local DMV to to give it credit. Man, it's 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 kind of like an airport vibe, like really high ceilings, lots of AC and TVs playing the news, and then the same seats you see in airports. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's really big, so they they go at a decent speed. But I, when I was getting my motorcycle license done a, a year or two ago, there was a shouting match while I was there. Like, like, like <laughs> the guy in front of me was shouting, and that I was is like, so a yield sign. Like my sample yeah. size is pretty small, but like, dude, I've been here ten minutes and somebody's already screamed and stormed out. So, Dude, but the, the, before I did streaming, I used to work for um, the it's called Department of Human Services in Australia. So we hand out like the the social security benefits and stuff like mm-hmm. that uh, in Australia. And so I I went to like I I had worked in some of the offices and uh, and seen some I've seen some some pretty fucking wild shit like DM, mm. DMV level shit. These are like people that are. They're coming in like they're at the worst time of their life, and they they come in. I, I worked in this this office once, and this motherfucker came in, and it was like like fucking thirty degrees uh, outside, higher than that, like thirty five. So we're talking like one hundred and ten. It's fucking mm-hmm. cooking, and uh, it's oh, one hundred and ten Fahrenheit. And this motherfucker comes in and drops his pants and just shits in the floor in the middle of this fucking like this office thing. Like this is. Like this is the kind of shit that you're dealing with. <laughs> like, mm, literal shit. Places. Literal <laughs> shit. And did you help you, him you, out? Did you get him going with his new license? No, nah, man. I just left. I'm like, fuck this way out. <laughs> <laughs> have you all ever seen someone shit in public? Me and Woody have. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> no, thank God. I don't want to see that. We did that thing where you go back to back in a Denny's parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a race to see who finishes first and stands up and the other one falls in the shit. It's a real <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, we crab walked out of there like yeah, the exit. We, <laughs> <laughs> we were like laterally. Like, um, like when back. it actually was, and Woody cocked his head so maybe he wasn't either there or doesn't recall, but we were in yeah. LA for E3 maybe or maybe um like some award show or something but oh, we LA, saw a black homeless it. lady shit against the wall of our hotel like not exactly our hotel but like the hotel had this wall that extended down the street attached to the hotel and she was shitting against that she was close enough that a lady who worked at the hotel lovely lady was like get on out of here you can't be shitting against our wall get get you and the la- i think the lady called her an uncle tom or something of the like yeah like i do remember now <laughs> what there's no called her a house ninja amount of or homeless something. people in LA. I, I don't know what's I don't know why. Yeah, I don't I, I know. You know I've heard about LA it in San Francisco. San Francisco. LA is a place is... that I could just never visit <laughs> again and I'm be going. happy. Like, yeah. I I have no desire to go back there. Like it's such a shithole. You don't want to go yeah. poop yeah. on the historic wall? Nah. Like <laughs> 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 see, I, see I, I, I when I went there, I, I sort of maybe I'll just live in like this fucking like oyster of, of happy australian get everything socialism for free but when i went there because like we have we have homeless people in australia obviously mm-hmm. and um 
you see the homeless people in Australia and they sort of, well, they're dressed like me. Like they look, they look scummy and they've just got out of bed, which they don't have a bed. When you go to America, like I didn't expect like these, like the homeless people look like the fucking surfs at the start of Monty Python. Like they're just like covered in mud and shit. And they're like <laughs> fucked up on heroin. You, yeah. you don't really see a, a lot of homeless people like that in Australia. And it, I just wasn't ready for that level of like fucked up. Oh, yeah. And I'm, I'm walking through this place. I'm like, this is a fucking third world country. Like, yeah. I've never seen shit like this. In you're, LA, it's, it's, you're used to the homeless just... being like, oh man, that guy's down on his luck. And then you come to LA and there's just a guy gibbering at you under yeah. his breath, like yeah, I, crazy I just walking remember, like, around. Like walking along the Hollywood stars and seeing this, like this motherfucker just laying on the side of the road. And he was just wearing like shit stained underwear and that's it. And then he was like, <laughs> He was just sitting there and he was obviously begging for change, but like clearly this guy had done like just like mountains of heroin, like he was fucked. Yeah. And he was like laying on the side of the road, and the only thing he was doing was just that. That was his his begging. He was just like moving his hand. I'm like, that dude is so fucked. Like this, yeah. Like, a how much would you give him? Maybe. Do a dance. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not touching anything that he in the future is gonna touch. <laughs> oh, <not laughs> me. I, I might get like fucking retrospective aids, man. You're all right. <laughs> like, I got ten dollars. You want to wrestle? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. How much would you suck a dick for? You know, like, it was just like <laughs> yeah, I, I was I was not ready for that. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just sheltered, okay. but I, I, I was I, like, I, I have give this no guy desire money, to go there again. He'll have no dignity. I make him earn it. Yes. Oh, he blows I don't know about me. that though. Yeah, it's, cool. it's normal to walk around homeless people behaving that way and have a feeling of, well, this is off-putting and not normal. Like, yeah. like it's when it's a crazy person, it's like, I don't know what that person's going to do. Like, they're then they're clearly insane because they are gibbering to themselves, like at the corner yeah. of the street where the blues game is played. Like, it's like some, someone yeah. needs to take this guy and take him somewhere else. Like just yeah. put him, put him, open the asylums back up and put yeah. that guy in in their care, so he's not. I, I used to live next to like a, some Vincent de Paul's thing. I don't know if you guys have this in America, but it's like a like a homeless shelter thing. So I live live next door to it, and they like help homeless people out. But it's like a charity, and uh, we we live next to it, and we'd have like homeless people coming in and out all the time, and we never had anyone that was on like that level, and mm-hmm. so I'm like. Maybe I'm just like small town vibes. I'm I'm just completely missing out on that. But it was just so shocking. I was like, "Holy fuck, this place sucks!" <laughs> like, yeah. why the fuck are all these people moving here? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because they want to be a star. Yeah. They want to be a big star on YouTube yeah. on the on the little screen. So, yeah, I yeah. fucking miss me with that. Fuck that. No. Not to mention, though, like I rocked up and I got to. I was like first place. We stayed like near Venice Beach, and I drove from the airport to Venice Beach, got lunch there, and then, like, within 30 seconds of getting out of the car, I had, like, some homeless dude harassing me for money and uh, mm. and in not a very kind way, and he was ex- extremely large and extremely aggressive, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> out of here quickly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you might get Did, uh... stabbed with a hepatitis-stained needle. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we talked about last week. Did y'all see that uh that young gentleman who got caught leaking all that uh that yes. classified government information? No. He was Steam, um he was sharing Torino it on or... Discord and fucking Steam. Steam? <laughs> and, Steam? Yes, this guy this guy's like a 22-year-old like... fucking Air National Guardsman and he's he's a uh, he's a fucking gamer. Just wanted to let like... you know this is a wonderful mod by the way. Like, <laughs> you he was believe sharing he was sharing classified information about um the, the whole ukraine thing and, and, and some other stuff and what was uh, it? The um it was analysis about the ukrainian army about losses about um russia and and um how the war is going um, there's a lot um, having to do with them running out of air defense weaponry soon like now mm. it, it, assuming they haven't been read uh, supplied yeah. they were to run out in mid-april yeah lots of stuff that like you know you wouldn't want everyone to know um and uh anyway they hey, fuck in like j- I'm j- sorry, on, i'll be honest i didn't search it out because i didn't want to google 
classified document hmm. leaks. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know how much that was revealed about it. But um, but it was quite a bit of stuff because he he it's all out there now. Um, but, but I just thought documents. it was funny that he was clearly uh, cut from the same cloth as as some of our associates. Like yeah. he's on Discord, he's in Minecraft <laughs> servers, and fucking like. They, they were like, he's part of a Discord group full of racist memes and Minecraft. And I'm like, that's like all of them. Yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's, it, it, basically, the guy was in part of shitposting culture. And he yeah. was releasing classified documents about the Ukraine war in an effort to increase the clout he has amongst 15 and 17 year olds. So he's like, you know, like, oh, like he don't know goals. shit about shit. And he's just producing document he worked in it in the air national reserve so he's a reservist he's not actual uh, mm. air force he's a reserve mm. and uh but he worked in it and, and when you work in it a lot of times you have access to like fucking everything otherwise you can't do your job and they trusted the wrong dude yeah so no, now he's awesome. probably going to jail forever oh he's gone imagine, they busted right? marjorie taylor house. green supported him she was like, gathering well i guess we got- we can't support uh what's that other guy edward snowden we yeah. like kind of Marjorie yeah. Taylor Greene is crazy like a fox. She's playing her goddamn character. Look at me. Every time someone links me, they're like, look, can you believe what this person said? You look at the bottom at the analytics for that tweet, and it's like, I think they knew what they were doing when they said that ridiculous yeah. thing. They knew 1.3 million people were going to retweet it. Um, mm-hmm. It's just like the thing the that, um, did you, you see Keemstar's tweet? Popularity. Mm-hmm. Um, it's uh, a picture of Boogie being offered alcohol, and he goes, Boogie's been an AA for 20 years. I bullied him into having his having a drink. <laughs> and it's like, and it was like a million retweets or something yeah. crazy. Like, like the, the, the analytics at the bottom of the tweet were wild. I, I mm-hmm. saw it. Um, I found it on a su- little subreddit called I am a total piece of shit. <laughs> and, and on there, of course, because it's Reddit, they they blurred out a little strip of Boogie's face and all of the the, the text in the top that indicates who tweeted it and uh, and and the, and the word Boogie. But you know, you can't you can't blur this man's face and 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 I know who that is. Oh yeah, <laughs> you, Dude, you, I, you put I, that I, bar. That's what made me laugh the... about you sending the picture to me. Is that little bar? <laughs> it's like that's who's obviously... that Pokemon? <laughs> that's that a boogie. Like, boogie. <laughs> 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 like this. Yeah. And like, and of course, I got a bunch of attention. Like, obviously not true. Like, boogie is not an alcoholic. Like, I, I'm pretty sure his his vice is snacks and food. <laughs> like. Okay. I, like Look Kyle and I were talking about this, like uh, when it came up in our, when we were gaming, we were like, if he was an alcoholic, we would have known like, because look at his self-control regarding food. And if that were extended to alcohol, like you think he would have had a 20 year under wraps. Maybe uh, Keem's playing well, not, chess chess and he's helping Boogie, right? Cause only these we laid lost a lot of weight. Maybe Boogie could follow in his footsteps to help. My guess knowing nothing is that Boogie might've been an alcoholic and he might've been an AA for 20 years, but Keem is just, so. again, trying to um, hype the fight. So I doubt Boogie. I didn't see Boogie drinking alcohol out of a fucking bottle that he broke the seal on until I did. You know, Wings will crystal light some shit on you, right? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. Uh, he did the same thing, you know, and, and had a fun tweet with Wings. He went to Wings' house mm-hmm. and he took a 12 pack of Pepsi and put it in Wings' refrigerator. So <laughs> then he can have a little video where he goes, doop, 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 ka-tsh, opens the fridge, motherfucker. <laughs> and he's got it, you know, and it's yeah. it's funny. Um, and you know, the the idea is to try to hype the fight and make the fight happen, which mm-hmm. I still I hope happens, but I'm would be neat predicting it won't happen. That's my prediction. If I had to bet, is I had to bet. I still owe you five dollars. I haven't forgotten. I uh, I couldn't log into my PayPal. <laughs> 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 I know it's the same password as my YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> No, Kyle, it's, what are uh, our bets on the presidential election? We have a is a hundred. Do we have two hundred dollar bets? Do you remember? I I don't remember. Um, I usually lean on you know some uh, somebody in the audience who watches every yeah. episode or like or whatever to to keep us honest. Um, I don't remember exactly what we said because I know I've made a bunch of bets and I've changed. It's not that I've changed from you know altered things, but I've made different specific bet, bet about the, the election exactly sometimes i'm like i may have bet that he'll win the primary that he'll be the candidate rather um I, I may have bet that biden won't run i think i've made that bet with some people that it'll be someone else not biden i've made a bunch of little bets like so that so i don't know what two I, bets 
One is Trump wins the primary, which today it looks like you're going to win. Two is that Trump wins the election, which I still feel confident about, but we'll see. Yeah, so it could be so, a wash. So a win and, I, and a coin I have flip. Been keeping up in this, didn't they? Didn't they arrest that motherfucker or some shit? Oh, oh. they did. They, uh, it was they weeks arrested ago. him. Keep up. <laughs> <laughs> it only helped him in the polls amongst the kinds of people that like trump wow yeah all right yeah, yeah. I mean, they didn't, they didn't, when they arrested people. him don't imagine that they like threw him in a cell and kept no him. no 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 he's rich so yeah. you don't you don't do that yeah and people. also but, like no, the crime that he committed is, is a silly one that that's not a real crime it, he, no. he like he conducted some private business with with uh, a public business account, basically. It, it, it's not <laughs> <That's> fucking not... <laughs> Watergate. You know? The AI pictures yeah, yeah. were funny. The one, <laughs> did you see the one of like Trump, like in his orange jumpsuit with like the sleeves cut off, like yeah, after, like, like, like flexing and like like gang related right. tattoos. Very funny. Oh, right. I'm glad you brought that up. Um, Trump was at the UFC thing a while back with Tyson mm -hmm. and everybody. We talked about that, but um, I can't remember who it was. They had a Trump shirt on. And it was like Trump's head on a muscular body, all tatted up with like Trump sayings. Yeah. And Trump was like, told me liked his shirt. I love that. <laughs> I love that Trump knows about the memes, that that, that he's aware of them, because that just makes it so much better to me that he knows all about the like yeah. the yeah. the Rambo thing, the, the ones where he NFTs about it. Yeah. Yeah, but but I know he he'll do it his again. Involvement too. at a, at at the ground level of the NFTs, I would is is just. I can't imagine it's it's very involved. I would, that's I would what they guess, should have arrested him. I would guess someone comes to him and they say, sir, I've already sussed and vetted this business opportunity out for you because that's my job. Basically, you get 70% of the money. We're talking about $3 million. Sound good? What are you selling? Pokemon cards of you. Oh, those were big in the 90s. Yeah, do it. And they do it and they <laughs> send him his 70% of the money. And that's his total. And, oh, yeah, by the way, sir, three tweets. Got it. Well, mm -hmm. let's write them now and yeah. like put them on the yeah, timer probably. thing so they auto. -release. I don't think that, yeah, I don't think anyone thought Trump was like, I've got a great idea, team. Yeah. NFTs. Like, although no, I like, do think someone... the guy, if there's ever a guy who, who would, who as a president or a politician could just have his mind changed about something and just alter directions, it'd be him. You know, like, like you would never see a modern politician have their <laughs> mind changed at a debate. I'd be blown away if, if I saw Joe Biden and Trump debating and Trump was like, well, that's not true, Joe. That blah, blah, blah. That's not how he, anything he would ever say. But if Joe went, mm -hmm. you know what? You're right. I'm going to change my stance on that. I'm with you on that one. Oh, that would, that would win a lot of brownie points with me. It's like, really? You're with him? I, I like I would, I, yeah, I would like to see a politician say, I have been presented with different evidence and now I've changed my mind. But yeah. like the chance of that happening is just like so fucking yeah. remote. Like Zero. surely they just... Every single politician would just dig their heels and be like, "Now I'm gonna argue harder." <laughs> so, that's yeah. some, like, They'd be like, "You um, don't understand. West I'm not sincerely arguing from a point of of my true beliefs. I am yeah. arguing for a narrative of the team I'm on." It's like, yeah, yeah. Like you think they're like up there, like really beating their heart, like, "Oh, this yeah. is what I believe." Like, no, there's kind of a reason they're, they're not supposed to change detectives. their opinion, though, because it's a representative democracy, right? So if, if I vote for you knowing that you promised to do X. And then suddenly, after I voted for you and you promised to do X, you're like, you know what? I learned some more. I don't believe in X anymore. I'm like, the fuck? That's why I voted for you. I yeah. I'm never voting for I didn't you again, vote. you no, flip-flopper. But maybe that's not... I don't like that, though. I don't okay. like that we should vote for some puppet. I, I would love it. I, again, I've been watching the West Wing, so I've got this idealistic view of the presidency <laughs> this week. Uh, <laughs> but, it's, but, but there's many times where in that show, it's like, yeah, I was elected to do this, but that's not what's right. That's not what's right today. And and the, there's a real effort in that show to do the right thing. Uh, school prayer is like what's going on in the in the show right now. And uh, and you know I'm against organized school prayer. I would say, but as I'm watching the show, I start thinking in my head to myself, what, and and the other people in there, what what, what in what situation would I go the other way? And I I remembered growing up playing sports, how we'd always pray that nobody got hurt. At the begin before the game, we'd all take a knee in a huddle um, around the coach, and um, you know he it's you know Lord Jesus Christ watch over these children while they while they you know have that. fun taking taking part in the the joys of I think there's something in the Bible about being about going and doing sporting things and like enjoying your the the physicality of life or something. He you know he quotes a little verse there. He's like like as as we fulfill the promise we make to you every day to let you know and and we're all like yeah Amen. Let's not get hurt. 
You know, yeah. we're not like, Lord yeah. Jesus Christ, please strike down the Blue Jays <laughs> from Elkin. <laughs> <laughs> Them little sons of bitches and their coach Rodney, who's a fucking cheater at poker. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, may that bus careen into a valley on the way to the game, <laughs> and we can and, take uh, our children to state. And sure enough, in the show, they they come to that the an appointee for an education position high up in the government. Um, she had had students arrested who were trying to pray at a football game. Um, and there they are, handcuffed on their knees, trying to pray. One's in a band uniform, the other's black. And this is how the this is how the guy's laying it out. He's like, he's holding it up. He's like, one of them's in a band uniform, the other one's black. <laughs> Do you know what this looks like? He's like, the police officer is resting his hand on his nightstick, and the guy goes, well, maybe he was just tired. Yeah, I'm sure that that'll that'll play. He was just <laughs> no, he's ready to quack a kid if he needs to because well, they they're praying, praying and he's enforcing the law and, yeah it, and in that instance it's like damn but then the guy comes back right he's like i'm just trying to help that that 14 year old who's required by law to be there and he's he's the outsider if he doesn't take part and the guy who's speaking is jewish and it's like yeah damn that would suck if you were jewish or whatever you know those extra holidays though <laughs> 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 it's a big wow. deal because the, think about it. I don't get to take off for fucking uh, uh, what's the name of a, a big oh, wait, 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 Taylor, Taylor, you're not a make believe Jew. You're not doing corporate America correctly. That's that's what I need to do. <laughs> you, Everyone, you take smoke, every, right? every time Hanukkah season, shalom. Oh, yeah. I'm a make believe Jew. Take second microphone. and smokers breaks. I get jittery if I'm not oh, next yeah. to smokers every hour. Dude, that shit's not fair. It's like <laughs> Taylor. I've got. Okay, so I got a Everyone Bible gets question. off for Christmas, but I don't get fucking Rosh Hashanah. I don't. Yeah, do. I don't get to double dip a little bit. Not fair. Bigotry. Oh, oy, oy, vey. I've got some mm -hmm. uh, Bible <laughs> trivia for trivia for you. Um, do you know what it means to speak shibboleth? Shibboleth. Shibboleth. Why would I ask oh. you to speak shibboleth to me? Why would that that come into play? So a, a in the Bible, like a... in the Bible, the Israelites were at war with their enemies across the River Jordan, and uh, at night you would call out to a person moving. We don't have flashlights. Speak shib shibboleth and pass or whatever, and and. I guess the uh, the the people on the other side had a lisp. They couldn't say. They would say shibboleth, <laughs> and it's and uh, uh, that that was a key part of the one of the one of the episodes. I love that fucking show. It's from uh, it's from two thousand, so uh, it's it's pretty interesting to see. This is still West Wing. Yeah, nothing has changed. The only thing that's different is gay marriage. Like like they got that one. Everything mm -hmm. else is the same shit. They're still <laughs> arguing about which gun to later. ban. Yeah, they're still arguing about which gun to ban. Um, they, they, they were, um, arguing about, what was it? It was a lot of gay rights stuff. Like we, we got through that hurdle and uh, we might be going back though. We never know. Hmm. You never know. Time it's is economy a stuff in there. Well, we can only hope Trump 2024 <laughs> and 2028. Cause when he, if he doesn't win in 24, he'll try again at, at the, at, well, what will they be? 84. When you get to the third yeah. sequel, you do something kind of weird. You're like Trump forever. It's like Trump, the, the number four, and then ever on the fourth mm -hmm. one. But that's oh, yeah. the first one where like they have to recast Trump because he's like, I'm, I'm over this stupid sci-fi original Mech series. <laughs> Mech well, Suit Trump. Like, oh, yeah, the only way like I can win this election would like be drama. <laughs> what was like that? Nixon with it on a big <laughs> robot. It's the Biden AI voice. It's the Biden <laughs> AI voice. Uh, did you guys uh, have you guys seen at all this this thing Sam Hyde is doing? Yes, this a little fish bit. tank dot live. So, d Slush, are you familiar with this? So you know who uh, Sam Hyde is, obviously. And do you? Yeah, the no, no, he's a <laughs> uh, that's surprising. He's like a an internet kind of like a Wings of Redemption style character. We kind of know of him, even if you don't know him. Show him the picture of the school shooter picture. No, no, yeah, he's like, he's a comedian who made like a funny show with some other guys, Million Dollar Extreme. And now he's, he's doing like an online reality show thing called Fish Tank at fishtank.live is the site. And you have to go and like make a little account. And it is a like panel, like a heads up display where you can click like camp bedroom one, bedroom two, bedroom three, bedroom four, upstairs hallway, downstairs hallway, kitchen, living room, garage, bed, like everywhere except for the bathrooms in the house. And that's Sam Hyde. It is the it is so like it, it's hard to watch sometimes because it's so fucking uncomfortable because 
what you're used to with reality shows is a hundred percent scripted and because all of them are scripted and there's reasons that like they hot, like they'll be like, did you know that Steve from big brother used to do Doritos commercials before that? It's like, yeah, yeah. They hire actors who can like do that kind of thing. Sam very clearly got a bunch of unhinged people together and from what I can tell, there's like one guy named Vance who's like a very normal guy. And he's like in this house with a bunch of other str strange individuals. And <laughs> it is, I can't, and, and there's text to speech in every room from Sam Hyde's fans. And so you can just be sitting in bedroom one trying to sleep. You're on camera and th people can pay to have shit spoken out loud to you. And this is on his website fishtank.live this isn't on youtube or something there so like tens it, of thousands a lot, of a lot more watching. goes yeah there was apparently there were 50 70? yeah seven a, a shit ton of people watching this and Look, can i can i say one of the things yeah. that, that and you texted me this this was the one that that i thought was pretty wild i saw the one instance where he was burning their food like they had pizza yeah. and he was just burning it on the eye not only to ruin the food but to make a smelly mess of smoke yeah. but then he had two bags of rice i believe one was basmati rice and the other was uh, jasmine is, rice. Jasmine rice. Um, very similar long grain rices. One's a bit more brownish toasted <laughs> than the other, though. Slightly. Slightly. <laughs> One's tote. One is mauve. You know what I mean? <laughs> and he yeah. dumps them out on the floor and tells them to separate them. One girl <laughs> got to over 1,300 grains of rice before it was time to stop. And I don't think there was any reward at all. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. What, what the reward was, he was like, he, so what he did, he had these bags with half basmati rice and half jasmine rice in it. And fish tank live banned by Google. Well, let's see. Hopefully that's, what? hopefully that's not the case. <laughs> no, it shouldn't be banned. I don't know what's been going Google. for the past uh, few but hours on that stream, but I looked at I it. I noticed the this. site's down. Oh, damn. Like, well, like, that's ridiculous. Hopefully, it, it they get it back up. But it is it is the it is so fucking surreal because like there's one dude on there who has a really bad. Oh, I'm sorry. I was I was explaining to you the so the rice thing he did. He took half jasmine, half basmati in a bag, and then just dumped them around and told them first person to count all the jasmine grains, not the basmati grains, wins a thousand dollars, and second prize gets. <laughs> barbecue wings tomorrow and they spent a long time counting i guess and then at the end at four in the morning he's like you all have essays two in the morning to present <laughs> and uh i guess someone you know on the, the the lispy guy won the challenge or whatever or second place the wings but he apparently spread some information that was not privy to the other contestants and so the next morning sam comes in and is like john you won second place look at these wings Look at these wings, the delicious barbecue wings. But guess what? You're a fucking snitch. You don't get any wings. And then to <laughs> everyone else, he's like opening the other wing box. He's like, who wants wings? And there's like five seconds of baffled silence of people like not understanding what he's doing. He will randomly barge in and sneak upstairs and like fuck with their stuff and, and mess with them. The... The one guy with he's the just list, ruining the he, he's just blocks. messing with people. Like I, I get, I'm like getting agita, like, like stress watching it because I'm imagining myself in that house with those people with okay. Sam Hyde's audience text to speeching me for six weeks. I would rather be lost at sea. I would rather be in a saw, <laughs> like a realistic saw situation. I'd, I'd like to play a game with that little puppet before I would rather go into this house because as yeah, soon as I, last night, I guess the text to speech thing wasn't working. And I just so happened to pop in last night late, uh, at like midnight to see what was going on. And I guess that's when text to speech started working. The most ruthless, brutal, mean spirited text to speeches I have ever heard. Like they are just bullying the shit out of this dude with like a severe speech impediment, making <laughs> like just. <laughs> And knowing Sam, at least one of these people is a plant. Like the, someone has mm. to be in there to like make sure that it doesn't become boring. And maybe I'm like sleuthing where there's nothing to sleuth. But like, you know, when you like hear an adult who has a speech impediment, like if they were to say the word error, like 
it would be very different than a four-year-old with a speech impediment. It'd be like error, like, like it would be like a little off as an adult. Like they would have worked yeah. through it. This guy, when he says ewo, like it is literally four, like four-year-old level of that. And so yeah. it's like, it's almost. I, I feel like I'm being mean, but I'm also like, I think he's laying it on too thick. Am I? Yeah. Am I looking into yeah, something I, that's not yeah, there? I don't know. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's it like if I if I could like see that, that like uh, in 2005 or something, like around in the early 2000s, they had no, 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 not Big Brother. They had a um, they had a, a house where everyone in it was an actor, and then there was one dude. It was called the Joe Schmo Show, and one dude was a real guy, and so they put him into this house, and it was like a Big Brother style house, except everyone except for this one dude was an actor and so they were just like they i think they set out with the intention of just like making a fuckwit out of this guy and then like as the seasons went on it's sort of like the audience just like grew to love him he was just like the most genuine gun on the planet and he was just like super nice and then it was just like everyone just ended up loving this dude so they were like oh fuck we can't like fuck with this dude anymore so we're gonna start being nice to him but like they started out just doing like fuck shit to him, and then uh, and then they sort of like turned it, and they were like, yeah, no, he's a he's a hero. Like <laughs> it was it was weird <laughs> ass. Yeah. Well, is Daniel the one you think is the plant? No, I think it's. Uh, I don't know the plant. The John is the one with the speech impediment that Zach I feel like is. Daniel, I don't know. I, I I guess I haven't watched as much as a lot of people. I like I've been popping in and out, like or or seeing highlights on YouTube to see what's going on. It is. I did see like so many of these people in that house are just fucking bizarre. Like that, I did see that Daniel guy, the clip on YouTube where he just was walking upstairs and he's like, "I'm gonna pull a prank. I'm gonna shit and not flush." And it was like, "Oh, that is a pretty good prank, I guess. Pretty gross." Like, yeah, actually, no, that's not. A prank that's disgusting really like, what are you prank. what are you doing <laughs> like that's okay yeah. like, maybe that's just your sense of humor but it's it's one of those <laughs> things that like i popped in last night at like midnight and listened to probably 25 minutes of the most ruthless super chat like uh i've ever heard like coming through the speaker and just like watching some of these people like become dejected just getting insulted by it like i had to like i would i'd, I'd close it because i'd be like oh i, I would see like the because you see what's written that's going to be set over the speaker probably 10 seconds before it actually yeah. set over the speaker. And it would like, I'd see something like so ruthless about the speech impediment guy that I'd be like, I can't even, I gotta, I gotta leave this for a second and then come back a little later and see, see what's going on. Cause it is like, I literally saw it. Like really if I, was. if I saw that like speech impediment guy walking towards that house, if I was in the neighborhood and I knew what was to come, I'd be like, your yeah, buddy, like, like just so you like, like, just so you know, like were you were you were you told like what's gonna happen to you in there? Like text to speech can <laughs> be a you know, four hour stream. <laughs> Six yeah. weeks of it would be in yeah. like, How do oh, you deal with that at all? Like if if I had I've had some like pretty insane text to speech stuff on stream <laughs> before. Like I I actually got banned from Twitch because someone was just like spamming the most fuck shit. And I was like, fuck this guy. So I opened up my PayPal and I got his fucking shipping address from my PayPal, which is like is his home address. And I just fucking yeah. put it in my Twitch chat because I was like, <laughs> fuck this. Like, he's being like super racist and shit. And I'm just like, nah, fuck this dickhead. And so I, I put his uh I put his name and address on out in the ether. And uh then I got banned from Twitch for a week. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> for only a week for doxing like, him <laughs> yeah I'm like fuck you man no I, he fucking deserved it fuck him but I was like, yeah. like, don't fuck, fuck with my boy dude. slush he'll dox yeah. him yeah <laughs> he'll he'll celebrate fucking... he'll just relax for a week mission accomplished yeah, yeah. I, did, I, I yeah i didn't give a shit i came back i had more viewers than ever everyone was like yay that was cool and i'm like i didn't come back and <laughs> shit yeah. That was cool. I fucking dressed up as Jesus. I was like the resurrection of slush. <laughs> nice. I like that. Is that That's the longest? Me. I, I compared been... myself to Jesus. <laughs> well, you should. Yeah. You're yeah, a exactly carpenter. It. He's a carpenter. You're bearded. He's bearded. Was bearded. Yeah. R.I.P. Well, not R.I.P. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's a huge part of the story. Definitely no R.I.P. for Jesus. Yeah, it's integral. I, I couldn't deal with that. Like not in the house. Like just constantly. That'd be fucked. Kyle. How many people are in the house? Risen in peace. Eight eight people are in the house. Eight people. And it is, I can't like, it. it's so surreal. Like it, it is, 
a a total answer. Like, you know how you'll hear people be like, why don't they just use real people in reality shows? Like, this is why. Like, shows would not work unless you got like contractual like commercial actors and, and shit. Are people at least familiar oh, be back to Monday. Do it? Like, yeah. what's going to be back Monday? Uh, false alarm turns out the hosting cost is 30k every three days, not every month, and my bank account is drained. We'll restore ASAP, but the ASAP is money signs. Um, but this might take till Monday. At Elon Musk, can I hold a couple hundred thou for a sec? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Elon, so come on, get on it. So he organized this shit and he didn't check how much it cost to host the service. Uh, cool. <laughs> that, is, that seems like a bit of a major oversight. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's actually 10 times that. $10,000 yeah, yeah. a day to host it? That doesn't make sense. Yeah. How, you so know that, you know more about that shit, Woody. Why? Like, Why? Couldn't you have done a live stream on, on YouTube? No, because there no, is no, no way they would allow this shit on YouTube. No. Uh, is it that bad? Because YouTube allows a yes. lot. It's, it's, the, it's, I mean, it's, one, of the, it's, it's one of the meanest things I've seen like it is it is brutal like I mean, the, the, I mean, it, a lot of gamer say, words like, huh? it's not at all like it's not sam and his team that like makes that situation so like awful if you were in it it's six weeks of text to speech six <laughs> weeks of text to speech from sam hyde's fan base like do you think you're gonna get any sleep like you think someone's gonna yeah. pay to have your bed stolen Someone's going to pay <laughs> to have the thermostat turned up to 95. Like it's, and you're going to be in there the sweating with a bunch of people you don't know. Like it's, you can say that about like any audience. So, like, I, I, I love a lot of guys that watch true. me, but if I had like a, any one of them come to my house uninvited, I'd be like, fuck this. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't want this nah. cut in my personal space. <laughs> audience is a bunch of really sweet people who wish me well. Mm -hmm. Real sweet kids. <laughs> I've heard that. Mm -hmm. I, have heard. It's, it's, I haven't it's, checked, it's, but I've heard. Every, <laughs> now, every now and then, a major video game will ban the clan tag RSK, and it 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 it's just it hurts. It hurts. Every time I it happens, they would do that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's. I'm pretty sure because they're the best gamers. Yeah, it's because yeah. they win too much. Kyle, mm -hmm. I have a movie that you may not have seen. It's very good. Have you seen Phenomenon? Yeah, of course. With um. Uh, your boy, the dancing queen John Travolta. Yeah, See, it, it, it's it's a terrible movie. Um, so <laughs> the problem is this: so yeah. phenomenon is about this bartender uh, named John Travolta, and uh, <laughs> that, that, that's how creative they got. They didn't give him a character, and Wait, he suddenly, plays a character named John suddenly, Travolta. Yeah, he's John Travolta. No, no, but but he's suddenly stricken with these powers, these uh, telekinetic powers, and multiple things. He these this powers, like powers of the mind. He becomes I think a genius. He math. He becomes a genius as well, um, and 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 there's this wonderment factor. It's one of those things where it's like, is this is this of the medical realm or is this a miracle? And then we get to toward the end, and they let you know because he dies of a brain tumor. It was the brain tumor poking on like some other part of his brain mm -hmm. and uh, and making him do math real good. That's all, not God. And it's like, well, did, you ruined the movie with that ending. You're supposed oh, to. Oh, I disagree. So he's an every to, man. But he's really nice. Like like that guy, guy Slush, Slush described, the most genuine good guy. And he gets really, really smart. Some people get alienated by that because now he's just on a whole nother level. They're not getting it. He's he's the world's best doctor at this point. He's the world's best attorney. He's the world's best everything. He's smarter than the internet is and prior to the internet. And uh, he's smarter yeah. than Encyclopedia Britannica. Say that again. No, if you want to. Yeah, he's smarter. Uh, <laughs> he's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it is. I really I, I, like the movie. It's been a I while since I've that. seen it. I, I would watch that, but I just can't buy John Travolta as a smart guy. Like, Let me give I you a better movie him, then. Like, Could you buy John like Travolta him. as a fucking archangel it's who a, likes pussy? It's parallel to <laughs> Michael. It's parallel to Michael. It's just as good. I'm down for that. Yeah, Michael is a movie, uh, as Woody just said, with John Travolta, where he plays the archangel Michael. And he has come to Earth. An old woman, her, her, her farm is being taken uh, by the bank. And she prays enough that God sends the archangel Michael to handle her foreclosure. Really? <laughs> and he, he literally smites a bank. And, uh, and so... But now a he's money here. changer, doesn't he? Yeah, <laughs> money changer. <laughs> yeah, that's that's very in line. Jesus hated and money changing. Absolutely, he threw an and absolute so, fit over it. 
Mm-hmm. But now yeah. he's down on Earth, right? And and he's gonna hang around and enjoy a little uh, little Earth time. He loves pussy and he loves battle. He's always talking about battle. Mm-hmm. So what happens is these uh, these tabloid uh, reporters from New York, um, you know, those New York intellectual types, both of them, um, mm-hmm. um, at least three of them, um, come out there to do the story on the tabloid of Michael. Yeah. They show up and he takes his trench coat off and he has angel fucking wings growing out of his back. So like right away, there's no, oh, is he really an angel or is it a brain tumor? It's like he has wings. They he inspect can fly. closely and yeah. they yeah. They're touching him and shit. They this oh, man man, has wings. The, co- the cover for this movie is unhinged. <laughs> Who took that photo and thought it looked good? <laughs> so they go to a bar. Up. My favorite scene in the movie, they go to a bar and I Michael know. goes over there and hits the jukebox and starts dancing with his trench coat. And you kind of see the wings like like swaying mm-hmm. up under his coat a little bit. But John Travolta is an excellent dancer, of course. So anytime you can get him to dance in a movie, they, they do it. And he's like giving off some sort of alpha male sex stink. And every woman in the bar, as he's doing his dance moves, it's like he's hitting them with a little sexiness because they'll go, oh. And they'll like <laughs> get up from their table and leave their man and go into like a, now they can dance. <laughs> and, uh, and, and before long, an angel stupor. they're debating and, what he smells like or they're like hey, is it cookies is it cookies. is it roasted marshmallows what does he smell like yeah and so like how high were you seconds, when you watch this he's in the middle of the dance floor <laughs> and there's every woman in the bar is dancing up on him and with him and and he's just like he, he's he's they're all over him and and of course, this alienates every man in the bar. So then he has to fight them all in like a big brawl. He and he's Michael, so he just not very them angelic. All. And then he goes out in the field. He he leaves, and they're like, "Where'd he go?" He's, and they go outside, and he's in a field squaring off with a bull. <laughs> they're both they're both kicking the dirt <laughs> and looking at and the bull. The bull snorts. Michael snorts, <laughs> and they take off running at each other, and they get a wide shot of this, and they headbutt each other. And the bull is defeated. <laughs> it's this sounds great. awful. Dude, it's, it's a good, good. movie. Both phenomenon's good, good too. I mean, there's I no I'm surprised way. Kyle didn't like it. I thought he would, but uh, I, mean, I mean, he dies in a uh, fucking brain cancer. It's a bit of a dude, downer in my household. Die. Will, Will Smith <laughs> dies at the end of uh, seven, maybe. I am legend. Uh, okay, great. well, that's a whole different like. Seven is this dark thriller where we're always like oh how this is so the wor- every everything you look at is dirty repulsive seven it rains pounds. the whole movie except for the end is it yeah. called seven pounds why am i just seven uh, seven no you're talking about different I, movies I think. With the seven is the one with morgan freeman and brad pitt, brad pitt. and then at the What's end with the, fox? Like, in the fox? and then it's oh, like okay. it's your wife's head obviously <laughs> does that yeah, we are talking about different movies. Movies. i'm talking about the one where he kind of does kind things all movie long Oh, eight Smith. and a half pounds or something, uh, or seven and a half, and half pounds. That's, that's the Will Smith movie. With I did his... say Will Smith. Oh, I'm I just sorry. Named I, it wrong. I didn't catch yeah. that part. Yeah. I think I called seven and a half pounds seven and messed it up. But yeah, I jumped right on the seven train. No, those are all good films except for Phenomenon. And I just don't, I love the movie. I just don't like the ending that they didn't leave it ambiguous. Like like leave it ambiguous so we don't know brain tumor or God Almighty because he, he you could argue that God was supercharging him up giving him this six week lifespan so he could do all that good. It's like 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 in that way he's a saint. It's all a that good saintly... attacking people and harming he did a lot you're of you're conflating the two movies phenomenon oh, okay. and Michael. Yeah. yeah I'm talking about the, the brain tumor that kills the guy and, and and not God souping him up to do good, which is the the two I, I don't a like a lot of his friends you. alienated him because he became really smart, but not one. His true friend stuck by him. And he left mm. his friend a parting note on a better formula for fertilizer so he could become a successful farmer. And uh, uh, is a pretty good little parting note. Yeah. Talking about the brain injury stuff. Have, mm. have we ever talked about Phineas Gage? The uh, I don't know. He was this. a real. You can pull up a picture, Zach. Phineas Gage. He was a railway worker that had a tie embedded into his or a railroad spike rather embedded into his head, and like it <laughs> totally like remapped his entire person. Like he no like apparently he was like a funny joke around like I think I think this is the story like a lighthearted kind of guy had brain damage and suddenly it was like not even like the ability to comprehend humor like like not see that bar he's holding he understands <laughs> that went through his head yeah that went really? up into Ooh. his oh, head holy fuck. and punctured and destroyed part of his brain and then it totally changed 
him as a person. Then he became a lawman, and he dispensed justice with the rod of justice, as he called it. The thing about taking out the left parietal lobe is Wait, his, is this his true? strength and nerve system are completely uncapped. So despite being a man of 150 pounds that, of the time, that was about average, <laughs> he was <laughs> able to he was able to lift, they say, four 500 pounds with, with he would <laughs> it, it was it, he became a superhero uh, mm. yes this is true he just, he just ran around stabbing people with us around <laughs> stabbing people yeah. being justice yeah, to all who needed he it. beat them with that rod the is rod this of the justice plot to judge dread <laughs> no but it's but it's <laughs> so this is a movie that i would watch but it's this but it is half John the plot to a true That's story him. which became two different movies the movie's called walking tall and it's a it's a true story of sheriff pusser Worst name ever. They changed it in the movie. Um, who dispensed justice with a, a big lot? He was a, apparently an actual mountain of a man, and he would beat people senseless with a with a big four by four post in his county, and he like cleaned it out of organized crime. The Rock played him um, in two thousand and five. Damn. Uh, jo with Johnny Knoxville there for comedic relief because there was a part uh, where they yeah. torture the Rock with a box cutter. So you need Johnny Knoxville there to give you some laughs after watching that. Oh <laughs> man, I didn't know the Rock Is that the ever one where got he refuses to use a gun. A walking tall. Um, yeah, he goes to reach for the gun because he's ex-military and he's going to like take on a bunch of guys, but he's like, no, and he grabs this big four by four post and he beats the shit out of them and they have a big court trial about it and he defends himself and in front of the jury, he takes his shirt off and shows where they tortured him and cut him all up with a box cutter and they're like, I'll make, if you make, if you find me innocent, I will run for sheriff, I will become sheriff and I'll make sure that this never happens again. And the, the, the jury goes, <laughs> and so like the next oh, scene, oh, grumble, grumble, grumble. The next scene, they're like not guilty, and he's walking out, and he goes, "This is mine." And he takes the big four by four post that he'd beaten all those men out of. And the next time you see it, he's fashioned it like Homer Simpson into a wonder yeah. bat of sorts. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, and the rest bat. of the movie, he's just beating people with, <laughs> with this giant club that's the rock size. Now, no, it's it. That's not a when I say good movie, I mean different things. This is like a silly popcorn movie that I watched in 2005, but you know, it's a rock movie. The yeah. true story, though, old Sheriff Pusser, old apparently a sheriff. badass. I bet Real you wouldn't make tough guy, wouldn't laugh to his face. <laughs> of course not. He'd shoot you back in the, the old. Well, I guess not, that's not the old west. Kind of the no, new this west. was like I imagined it happening in the 60s. Could you show us a picture of the a real Sheriff Pusser, Zach? There's only one, right? Like, there's only one photo of him. I bet there's. No, I'm saying there's only one sheriff pusser out there uh -oh. in the world. Probably, I hope so. or maybe he comes from a long line. Maybe they're just a, a pussy a man has of... been in law enforcement since time mm -hmm. of memoriam, as Tony Soprano was. Since <laughs> time, and that was it. it's time in memoriam. No yeah. time in memorial. That's what he was saying. Yeah. Oh, fucking Paulie. Uh, Paulie. R.I.P. 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 to poor Polly. All those the town. Wow. Shit, that's Sheriff Pusser. God, he does. Damn. See, he this does is look what tough. I'm talking about. He's scary. This is the kind of ugly that you don't see anymore. Oh my god, no. that's true. Yeah, he, you know, he looks like that. a rock man. Ah. Insurance covers that. Yeah, he that's looks the like club. A, that's his real club that he. He looks like a fucking him. golem. He looks like a he sloth does. from the Goonies. <laughs> what happened to him? Why does he look that way? His teeth are so small. Somebody well, he's like him. scarred. It looks like his face has been broken on the on the right side. Yeah, I mean, he. I, I believe that he was tough. <laughs> That's he a lot of whatever hair. did that to his face. Yeah. Oh, there's he. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, I, I was like, that's Johnny him Knoxville. pre injury. No, nope. oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm oh. looking at the wrong guy. Oh, he's <laughs> that's a handsome man. <laughs> Oh, that's just another ugly fellow. <laughs> that's, just a, that's, that's just a, a different man. ugly man. <laughs> well, they look very similar. That guy, One looks that guy far the, uglier uh, and older. The sheriff's outfit has a. He's like he's like trim, but then his head is just like weirdly fat compared to his body. Well, sometimes yeah. that's a body type. That's fat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very common, a very common body and normal type. and athletic. You see it in, in alpha males mostly. You see it in <laughs> stigma badasses. Most <laughs> titans of industry. Yeah, they call build. it a titan's cheeks. Just <laughs> <laughs> big, fast, yeah, goofy We should make cheeks. that a thing. <laughs> Man. Wow. Wait, was that him at the end? Yeah. With, with the bat? See, he yeah. got his face fixed. That's what I'm saying. Mm. I think he was taking a picture from the other side. He's a guy that should have always been standing kind of whatever, whatever side was his good side. Yeah. Neither. Do you have a good side? 
uh, slush, one that you you show to the camera. I have, I have no idea. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I've never really looked at myself that much, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Do you have a good side, Taylor? My sides are the same. Yours perfectly symmetrical? No, but I no, don't nobody's have a preference. Perfectly symmetrical. Well, what's I don't really know. I, My, Kyle, do you think you have a better side? One side's sure. better than the other? Yeah. Behind. <laughs> ah, looking it. up is my best side. That fucking cake. <laughs> that's, that's, looking up. That's when I'm most confident in my jawline when I'm going. Yeah. No, no, no. I was right between <laughs> my angles. <laughs> looking up. <laughs> that's my yeah. I, uh, my I don't listen to like new hip hop. Um, I certainly don't listen to like lady hip hop or whatever you call it when 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 black ladies talk dirty. Um, mm. But. Uh, I heard that AI had made Drake sing like a, a dirty song that a lady sings. And again, uh, so I, I look it up. I'm like, Drake singing. This song is called Munch. And uh -huh. uh, it's this very it large ass rapper lady just wanting you to eat her ass for. And that's all she's singing about the whole song. And she's really shaking her gigantic ass at you the whole time. It's, it's a wonderful Pat. piece of art. But then making Drake <laughs> sing. <laughs> it's, and it's good. Drake is suing. <laughs> Drake's <laughs> mad. He's trying to shut the shit down because it's his voice. Um, I don't know. Uh, but but the thing is, like, the internet. Something about when when we hear the AI versions of us, I'm like, oh yeah, their cadence isn't exactly right. Like you're mm -hmm. real close, but but mm -hmm. but when you make it a song, all that gets filled in. It it, it like yeah. it, it it sort of bondos and putties and fiberglasses up all those middle weird areas. And that you know they do that to modern music and all music anyway with 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 effects, so it just sounds like Dre wants you to eat that big old booty, <laughs> and and, it, and I think I like his version better than hers. I I mm. play his version. I want to hear him sing it, but I want to look at her butt. <laughs> oh, is her butt good? It depends on what your version of a good butt is. You know, Derek made the point that he wants an ass so that when the young lady bends over, um, he's able to see her vagina and her asshole. Mm -hmm. Like it shouldn't be obscured by a lot of cheeks. However, mm. some people would like a big old thing that they can sort of get a bit of, um, you know how like an ass can get um, like, like, like its own motion to it where when you <laughs> let go, it just keeps going like a waterbed. This is her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so it's, I, I think it's a little her. more ass than you would like. It, 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 so here's the deal. That's not my bullseye, but I can mm. see how it would be somebody's. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm all about that. I, look, look, I, I, I wouldn't say that that's, oh, that's my thing, that exactly. But mm -hmm. yeah, I like that big gigantic ass. I mean, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm just happy to be involved, but yeah, <laughs> just enjoy. You don't need to write a song for me to eat your ass. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the fucking picky, man. <laughs> just like, ask. I'll, I'll take what yeah. I can get. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, but but I I love I love the AI stuff, and I love that for now it's. To some extent, being used for silly fun things. Yeah. Um, I talked to class last night. You know, class is a programmer. He's a Kiwi guy, um, smart young man, well to do. Mm -hmm. And he was like, AI is taking over so much of my work. I don't do anything anymore, or whatever he sounds like. It's not like that, though. <laughs> I, I really struggle with his accent, that Kiwi thing, because he's got sort of sort of a deep voice, but it's got a anywho. He said the AI thing's doing most of his work for him now. He's uh, uh, like That's like all, I, I don't know. I don't know anything about computer programming. I'm like, like I'm sure if he told you, you'd be like, oh yeah, that and this and the other. But I think he does like real computer programming for like a big firm. And so to hear that a big part of his job is now just, hey, let me easy button that for you, which is basically yeah. what the AI is. Yeah. I um it definitely works. Like you can you can use it to make shit really quickly. Like it it depends though, because like if you're trying to make something that's really unique, it's hard to get it to do that. If you like, mm -hmm. it definitely takes like the the mundane shit out of coding. It's good. It's really helped. Heard that, but I don't know enough about it. <laughs> other yeah. than what people, I mean, I trust the people who've told me. Like, yeah, obviously it's working. They still have jobs. Yeah. It's getting done. Like the work's getting done, of probably similar quality, right? Yeah. You wouldn't think like the first thing that AI would take away would be computer programming. It was like in your mind, you're like, well, that's coded by a computer. Like, is that the final frontier of the thing that it can conquer? Like, uh, I find it's coding, writing coding yeah. itself. And then it's just like immediately does it. It's like, oh, ah, yeah. fuck. <laughs> well, it, it is a computer. It loves it. It gets it. Yeah. yeah. Its yeah. ability to write a story or summarize a story and just instantly create cliff, cliff notes uh, is there has never been anything like that. 
like like yeah. that that instantaneous ability to on a on this whole other level have every mm -hmm. book and all mm -hmm. the knowledge about it. I asked it to I, I said it a couple times, but I asked it to summarize um, the old man in the sea. But I'm like, but I'm, I, I gave it hurdles. I was like four different styles, three different paragraphs, each paragraph. And it did it like it could jump through all my little hurdles. I didn't even know there were that many writing styles. It was it was uh, really impressive. I, I can if Wait, man, I have, to have had that in school would have been. Uh, I got a thing. To read. It's about I a paragraph even long. Last. So. I have a friend, he's a computer programmer, but not just that. He's a very good computer programmer, very rich man. Re I don't want to do Miles too much. Dyson. Yeah. You wanna, it's, it's just about you wanting to suck him off. Deep or? into the night. <laughs> that reference, Taylor. Again, yeah. <laughs> so uh, um, anyway, he has this thing. Um, I apologize if I've said this before, but I have an infamous question I ask all my prospective developers. How would you write the most efficient route for finding the median of a list of random numbers? I ask this because it's not a cookbook routine that's normally taught or even one that you can Google. I had to solve this problem myself, so I know the best answer, prayer, parenthetically, according to me. I ask this just to see how they would attack the problem they don't already know how to solve. The second best answer I ever got was from a technical writing candidate. She said she could code, so I tested her. The best answer I got was from chat GPT. It was off on the original solution, sort first, but I nudged it a bit to consider a binary search and it found the answer. So he was impressed with Chat GPT's code. As an assistant, it, it seems yeah, like, incredible. So that, that's like, like, it doesn't take over, although it might feel that way. I mean, if you're already proficient in a field, though, having being able to ask that question, yeah. that you, you're like, ah, I had to nudge it into the binary direction. I don't know how to nudge it in the binary direction because I don't know what <laughs> that fucking means. I mean, I know what binary means, but not in this application. Yeah. I, it's, I don't know mm -hmm. what any of that oh, means. Oh, is direction confusing you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so, no, that, I think that, that's, that's going to be cool. the case, though. Like, a lot of, like, programmers and stuff wouldn't even bother using it because, like, it, it can, if you're not a programmer, it's like, okay, so can you set up a, a C class for me that's that's done this? So that's fine. Like you can, you can get all like the base code to have a class and stuff like that and set it all up and grab all the right libraries and shit. But a, a programmer that is working in that environment is like, they, they can just copy paste that from somewhere else. Like they have that like at the go. So I don't really need it. Like it's it maybe for like some kind of uh, ridiculous, as, as, as you said, like sorting problem, you could like, you could get it to do that. But like most people don't really program in, languages that are down to like that nitty gritty like most people just use javascript and shit like that and like easier stuff that's on a high level and, and it's sort of it just does that automatically but if you're trying to like eke every bit of performance out of like c coding then maybe you could use it but at the same time it's like most of these problems have already been solved and if you're doing that you already know all the solutions so it's it kind of yeah. I, I don't code anymore so i'm curious as to how helpful it would have been for me i like okay. So yeah. much of the code relied on fucking knowing like the, the schema for a database that I was using. How do you give it yeah. all that data so that it can write code that that works appropriately? You know, so much of it yeah. was knowing the machines and how things worked at Cisco, for example. I, I, I don't know how it would help if I told it, hey, I need some code that validates an email address. Validating an email address is harder than you might guess on the mm -hmm. surface. And uh I imagine it can do that well, but I bet I could Google it just as quickly. I don't need AI for that. Well, that's like because I've I've done stuff where I've had like uh, inputs, like input sanitation, uh, uh, sanitization before, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so you want to take out all of it, like a whole slew of shit. Like yeah, you want to take out stuff no that's single like single quotes, uh, no uh, yeah, SQL injection and all that kind of crap. Mm -hmm. And uh, that that's fine. It's like yeah, that could probably write that for you. But also, like, I have that just sitting there. Like, I have found, I've Googled that solution before because I'm lazy, like every programmer is. I'm just going to stack overflow. And there is some motherfucker that's, like, a million times smarter than me that has gone through and written, like, this page of code that does a perfect email sanitization, and I just use that. Like, it's the easiest fucking mm -hmm. thing in the world. I like, don't really need it, but it's, like, it's cool to see that it can answer the questions, but I don't think it would be super helpful in, like, very specific applications. Maybe if you're a new know. programmer. The people who are, like, I don't know how much you code. I don't really code much at all anymore. <laughs> uh, not so much lately. I program yeah. my, uh, 
automatic fish feeder this month. It's interesting to me that you would even want an automatic feeder. I, I would assume that feeding them is part of the fun. I guess there's some times when you do both, eh? Like normally I'm training you the fish to eat off the feeder so that I can leave the house, right? Mm-hmm. You know, I, yeah. I need the tank to be okay so I can go away for weekends. Makes That's sense, fair. makes sense. And then no one has to look after your fish for you. Yeah. yeah. I love the the picture of Jackie lazing those sea anemones or whatever the fuck you're, you're lacing in there. <laughs> it's close enough. Yeah, yeah. You're um, just standing there, no glasses. Just <laughs> I got her glasses. It's, it's no, but there. you, you need some. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have any. Ooh. I sent the commercial to the WhatsApp earlier. Did did, did you watch it, Woody? The I one did watch. It, it was an ad for the Russian army. Yes, I did watch that. I wish we could show it. It's fucking wild. It's uh, it keep it shows men in day to day occupations and lifestyles. One guy's working out. It's like you know in Russian, of course, Russian text and language. And uh, it's it's um, it's like is this is this what you're getting strong for? Is this real strength? And then it shows the the weightlifter all of a sudden in uniform and he's got a gun. And then it's like, is this what drives you? And the guy's driving a cab, like he's a cabbie. Mm-hmm. And then it like all of a sudden he's in uniform driving like a, I don't know, a tank or some shit. Yeah. And they do that for like yeah. three different just regular dudes trying to live their lives. And at yeah. the end it says, you're a man. Be a man. A <laughs> real man. And it's yeah. like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's it's on like, me? this is what men do. And I feel like it's even better on a young Russian. Like if you're a 22 year old Russian, like full of machismo, yeah. like that ad will hit. Yeah. I mean, and that's Dude. like, like that's like the most common propaganda ever during a war. Is like you need more men, okay. and so you socially shame and you know try and oh you're lesser than oh oh look at this Russian guy trying to live his life and make money driving a cab for his family, pussy, <laughs> go fight and die. It's like. <laughs> okay, well, that's absurd. Like that. Get out there, you cab driver. Like, there's an oligarch uh, uh, that needs like, a cement factory yeah. in Ukraine. Like optically, <laughs> yeah, as, a, as an outsider, what will he do that, with that like, lime deposits? Like you, 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 <laughs> you make propaganda in the furtherance of something that's not currently happening to the like to what you want, and so clearly they're not getting fuck all as far as like voluntary Volunteers. recruitment, and so you need to do. This other ham-handed, like you, pussy, fight for someone's interests who don't align with your like, dude. It is a rough war to friends. participate in. I, I don't see a lot of Russians like eating three squares on a naval ship, just like you know, barely involved in the war, launching yeah. some artillery from afar. No, this is World War One shit, trench warfare. Yeah, it's yeah. brutal. Yeah, it's really- sort of. It doesn't look like it's sort of like degraded into that like stalemate, but it feels like it's starting to like get to that point. And like, like you look at like, uh, well, in some places you see like, but you know, like how like you see like pictures of World War One, and it's just like a a trench line that's just completely obliterated. There's just yeah. all there is mud. It's like, it's it's they, you can still see like grass and stuff like that, but I think it's starting to get there. Like, cause you look at like the pictures of Bakhmut and it's just like completely leveled. And then there's winter. just like a fucking like craters and <laughs> shit. You level like it that. every winter. <laughs> so then it's grass. Yeah. There's no grass out there. Mr. Okay. President, this is an insane way to run a country. Please, please don't make us rebuild all the cities for spring yeah, because yeah. it puts a smile on your face. You see no building. Like, no, <laughs> give jobs, jobs to build us. <laughs> no, I hear what Kyle's nice saying. It'll green up. But um, what, what I, I agree with Slush, though, saying, like, I the, see. Specifically like grass but it just like it looks like it's starting to get to that point where it's about to just grind to a halt in specific places and so then it's it's just, let me re- let me re- comment on it's this one like for long i've time. seen this i've seen fields where like a tank is driving through and there are i don't know what to call it, like a pockmark from like a, a previous a crater from artillery that's hit already yeah 150 of them have fired at this spot before <laughs> there's a bunch of burnt out hulks of I call everything a tank because they look like tanks to me, mm-hmm. you know, but, but uh, of tank and tank like things. Oh. Actually, Literally. it's a BTR. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> That's an armored yeah. personnel carrier with a long yeah. nose. You're yeah. all wrong. What do you don't know a tank? Yeah. I don't. But, uh, but yeah, there's, they're, they're scattered all over the place. Hulks. 
which are basically caskets because there's dead people in there. And now yeah. it's your turn to go through this artillery fire. And it's like, gosh, darn, we've been fighting in the same place all winter long. And it looks like hell. Having said that, I talked maybe three weeks ago about the Ukrainian counteroffensive. And I was like, everyone knows this is coming. I can tell you what they're going to do. They're going to go south of Bakhmut, try to get across to the Caspian Sea, perhaps, and the land bridge that Russia has on its way to Crimea. And like, the, dude, fucking Uber drivers, people who get your ice cream for Uber Eats are, know the like Ukrainian counteroffensive is coming and what the plan is. There's no secrets. And then the like Ukrainian minister of defense said the counteroffensive has begun. Are we engaging in war where secrets are gone? Where people like you just can't keep a secret anymore because there's so many drones and so many satellites and so much surveillance that the point of secrets are gone. I think this is like the first war that's just like completely live streamed. Like, yeah, oh, that, that's what's sort of fucking weird about it. Like, there's never, I don't think there's ever been anything like this. Like, cause that, like, blue, like, Vietnam was like the first, like, war where they had, like, fuckloads of reporters there and then it just lost, like, all public interest almost immediately. Um, but this one's like, this one's like a, a like, a widely Western supported and they completely live streamed. It's like, it's a very weird, like, it's unprecedented, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If they, they were actually they, live streaming it, I would watch. During the first oh, Gulf yeah. invasion, they did. You, they, there were reporters who had complete faith in the accuracy of American long-range missiles, and they would just watch them take out the targets that they were going for, filming it. And it was blowing our minds in like 1991 or whatever that was. Now, my goodness, every soldier has like a cell phone that gives away their position and a GoPro, and they're just like filming their trench warfare. And I see yeah. it on Reddit. And I see it on YouTube and it, it, yeah. And then of course there's the general troop movements and the maps that track everything. They'll tell you which divisions are where, especially on the Russian side, because people don't yeah. like them. So <laughs> yeah, they'll keep a Ukrainian secret a little bit, but the Russian yeah. ones, they're like, this is where the Wagner forces are. This is where the airborne sur- sur- replacing them. I'll just say it. It's crazy to watch. And the Ukrainian counteroffensive seems to have just begun. We'll see. Yeah, it's like the playoffs are coming. Like I'm, it's my third favorite <laughs> sport. It's my third favorite sport. Please uh, tell MMA. me baseball's not ahead of war. No, it is by no, a bit. No, I think uh, <laughs> no MMA and and uh, it's it's always been MMA and women's beach volleyball. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Solid choices. Yeah, yeah those I think the, MMA, the, MMA the only true sports because uh, it has better marketing. If if MMA didn't have the marketing, uh, if if you put all the MMA marketing onto the Ukraine war, I think it would overtake it. Energy Sunday ah, pay per view. Piece brought to you by Modelo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's honestly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sunday. All the soldiers the stripped down to just offensive. board shorts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, pay per view. Yep. Get on there. Like <laughs> this Reebok uniforms. Wait. Chef. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck balls. up. Jake Paul's gonna fight a starved Wagner fucking yeah. next <laughs> You listen to me, Vladimir Putin. Yeah, yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. Get that really hyped up. That would help. Box. Harley's gonna yeah. box a, a Russian. How about some monster next? trucks in the war? That'd get my attention. Oh, solid. Monster trucks? Dude, yeah. how effective would a. All right. Just hear me out for a second. <laughs> okay. Let's say tomorrow Russians wake up. They hear a roar over the hillside, right? They, we, mm. We've been fighting for days. We know where mm-hmm. they are. They know where we are. Drones are always overhead, exploding. Artillery fire is constant. The only reprieve is the short bits of sleep that we can manage between the explosions that, that kill our friends left and right. But we hear this roar, and we look. And w- what is that? That's not a tank. No. It's, 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 it's all that smoke around it and fire. It's is Grave that- Digger. It's Grave Digger. It's Grave Digger. Grave Digger was the it's one. Grave- I want to play a John Cena song. Yeah, yeah. It's Grave Digger coming over the front lines. One move. Pouching on the top of tanks. Dude, I swear to God, Grave Digger. The tanks digger, are completely unharmed. It's I swear to God, Grave Digger would make it through the trench easily. It would hit it and bounce and like oh, fly sure. that yeah. thing. 
I think the how far, how how far behind back wheels a little bit show off. How far into Russian <laughs> lines do you think Greg <laughs> figured it out? My great idea to do this. <laughs> like, so I, I want to Photoshop I, of it, of it like going over a, 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 a line of Russians and they're and they're like couching, like crouching yeah. there, jumping <laughs> like and, a, a fucking T thirty four or whatever. Yeah. Donald, Trump uh, in it, yeah. Donald Trump in the in the seat. This is revolutionizing like like the way Americans with shotguns in World War One. Monster yeah. trucks. They're too bouncy to hit. I, the Russians we, uh, I, I, <laughs> I don't I, think that's true. I listened to is. a podcast about monster trucks the other day, and I, the, there's one thing that would hold it back. Really? I think. Yeah, no, seriously, I listened to this. It was just this like random fucking podcast about like how monster trucks. So I listened to this like how stuff works thing because it just like fills mm. my head with the general knowledge that gives me dopamine so I can just like tell my friends random facts about shit and pretend I'm smart. Yeah. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So mm -hmm. at least, uh, so I listened to this monster truck one and they're talking about like how many miles per gallon this like fucking grave digger gets. And it was just like <laughs> abysmal. Like this thing could drive like fucking 200 meters and then it's yeah. fuck. <laughs> it's like out of gas. So yeah. like, it, I bet it gets less than five miles per gallon. Yeah. I, I think enormous. it's, I think it's in like measured in in yards. Yeah. Sure. What kind of what uh, kind of a drive train does Grave Digger have, Zach? Let's break it down. I'd yeah. like to know how many horsepower. What, no, wanna... so they, but this this is the thing. They have different Grave Diggers. So like, there's not. It's not, <gasps> it's not, not the same one. Me. No, it's not the same one. So they just like oh, plastic shells. So there's like fuckloads of these mm -hmm. monster trucks, and they tore them around, and they have them everywhere. But they just have this plastic shell of grave digger that's just like. So we could have a squadron oh. of, of grave you could, diggers. You could have your own fucking grave digger if you wanted. So you we put, we put a dozen grave diggers out there. We mount fifty caliber machine guns to the hoods. Yeah, that's pretty I'm just cool. Saying, um, they'd all what die. What's that called? A technical so cool, though. A technical? What? Yeah, that's called. Yeah, when you like. You could just yeah, get like when you carry rig um some uh, a vehicle <laughs> up <Christ>. to <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> No, because sometimes I, instead of saying Jerry rig, I I, I say jury rig because that's a that's a thing in Fallout. Uh, it's a uh, perk. I see. Ah, you're you rigging that. the jury. Makes sense. Do we, yeah, were okay. you guys excited? I don't know if if Slush experienced this, but I know Kyle's similar enough in age. He definitely did. Do you remember like being excited by the monster truck commercials on the weekend? Like I. I remember like Sunday, seeing those Sunday, and being, yeah, Sunday, 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 Sunday. <laughs> pay for the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Kind of shit. And it's like, I, I have seen them before. I was so it, excited yeah, that at the prospect, Australia. like, like as like a five year old watching. Cause you know, like, I guess it was oh, cause fuck. I was at the same time at like, like Tonka trucks and all that. Like seeing a truck that big, like jump in a pit was like, <gasps> Like yeah. like what? Like, I this is a machine. To see the mechanical dinosaur eat the junked cars. Yeah, that oh, thing's yeah. neat. I forgot about yeah, that. that. Thing Didn't ever actually eat it. Just crushed it. Disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you Power the, the car, unless you digest it and poop it. it. I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. Yeah. Like, Have like, you like ever a, seen a junkyard world. magnet? One of the like from the cartoons yeah. that you can the electromagnets yeah. in a junkyard. On junkyard wars, they used it. Breaking Bad. I mean, person though. Not in person. Oh, they're pretty cool. I went to a lot of junkyards over the years to procure cars and other things to shoot and blow up. And uh, what is that? That's the that's the dinosaur that's the that eats dinosaur. the cars. They God a Ferrari, damn, that's cool. Apparently. You can t look at uh, it's I'm, like photoshopped. Like the Ferrari is like photoshopped. In yeah, the yeah. Photoshop's not, yeah, the Ferrari's not really there. I don't Nor think. Or the flames. Or the well, check, I think the flames the are real. The, I'm disappointed the, that it's still on the tractor trailer. It seems. I think, I think that's, that's just the way it's I think it has wheels. I think that's its legs. Honestly, yeah. we can do a hell. This was cool a long time ago. We can do a lot better than this now. This isn't that good of a robot. It looks like the fucking Power Rangers like came together and yeah. made a Zord. This is like that, draft that one robot. It does look <laughs> so very, wrong. Yeah. This is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, you have like youtube videos make like, robots better than this taylor like are you hack, accustomed to that, that, better uh, eating robots i don't mean to be spoiled but <laughs> i would prefer a little effort a little digestion it's 40 feet tall Look man. At that. you think those teeth can actually sever that and that is real fire it needs a conveyor belt that eats the car and like just puts out car bits from the back i would like that if it yeah. had that threshing thing where like with like uh -huh. the gears that turn oh, together okay. Yeah, I think, yeah. Oh, or you know so what? Like it, it destroys it, and then it like poops out like a one of those heavy cubes. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that. love watching that those uh, those thresher things. Just like, oh, what's it? Is that oh. going to stop it? Oh, it's never going to stop it. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah. oh my god! And it eaten the entire. Oh, the bowling oh, ball's god. bouncing. It'll never. Oh, it's yeah, a, now yeah, it has yeah. a chip out of it. There's a vulnerability in the sphere. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. a, a, a thresher shit. like. Because my grandparents are farmers, like in their circle, like having fingers ripped off by like a thresher because they're like in their late 70s and like farming in the like, 60s or 50s or whatever. Like everyone just knows multiple people that had their like just fingers ripped off. Just a rite of passage off. in your teenage years. You just a rite of passage. Uh, my, uh, my great grandpa, when uh, he had, uh, which fingers were, yeah, it was half of this finger and half the half of the ring and the middle no no it was half of the pointer and half of the middle he was uh he got his hand caught in a thresher and it tore off half of both of his fingers there and i remember as obviously it happened way before i was around because i was a mm -hmm. child and i remember like always seeing his like fucked up hand and just being like what the hell like why doesn't he have fingernails or anything <laughs> else like I'll, it's just I a know, like what is inside the thresher that makes these like fifties farmers just act like a magpie and try and get it? No, right? It, is there just, like farmer catnip in there? It must be. It, it must be. Resist. Or it's just that like farming equipment made in the early thirties. So they were like, <laughs> of course, yeah. this is the the iron spinner. You you hold it here and it spins yeah. rapidly. Like, well, if no, we keep the threshing device close to your face, you can keep yeah. an eye on it to make sure it doesn't get jammed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wear glasses; it impedes your view. Like, <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess just back then, like, yeah, I still remember. I haven't. I had, he died so long ago. I hadn't thought about his missing fucking fingers. Yeah, that mm. was that was a long time ago. Oh, that would suck. Those are two important ones. No grandfather. Yeah, they're the two. Yeah, no grandfathers for me. Mm -hmm. My uh, my mother's father died of cancer early. He couldn't kick cancer's ass like me. And uh, my father's father ran away. He was a bad guy. Ah, uh, ran away. Did the did you ever catch him? Like, did your your father uh, ever find out where he went? They looked him up. Like, uh, I guess they felt like he. he ne they never got divorced. He just left. Huh. And and the. That's the like where his story kind of ends. And they're like, you know, we might have like social security as his surviving family that we're entitled to because they were you know, married on paper and such. Uh, but he was still alive. That's like where my knowledge of the whole thing ends. I'm sure he's dead now. Huh. That's that always so to, strange. Uh, I have a, a family member who <clears> was uh, <throat> driving home from work one day and she uh, so she looked at the at the car yard as she was driving past it she was like that's my fucking car and like when she went in there and she's like that that is my car like same rego same everything and, and uh talks to the guy and she and the guy's like yeah some guy came in he had the papers for it and everything sold it to me today and she's like uh okay gets back home and her husband just uh fucking sold the car and just disappeared oh no it was fucking what? gone. Yeah, you can do yeah, that. Like, you didn't you even take the car to disappear anymore. Like back in my yeah. grandfather's day, if you didn't want to be married and with kids and anymore, you could just not. He just he left. just left. Yeah. I don't know how far. Oh, he yeah. oh he's just out of here. Yeah. I think he went like seventeen miles. <laughs> you you could, yeah, you, could, you could you could be like ah damn this life I have in Naperville. It would be better if I moved to Ogdenville and I. Yeah. Never see these people again. <laughs> what are they gonna do? Look me up in the phone book? I don't live yeah. there anymore. I ran away. Phone book. This could take forever. You can't yeah. find me. Yeah. No, yeah, a lot of shitty dads then, where they're just like, I guess yep. that's why you did it. I'm going out for cigarettes, mm -hmm. and then you're just like, no, I'm cash. I'm out. I'm yeah. going to California. Yeah. I'm yeah, going. I'm did. going yeah. thirty miles away. <laughs> 30 yeah. miles that yeah. takes minutes well, that's that's the thing like, they, apparently he moved and it's like a it's like an hour flight away like mm. someone live on an island obviously can't i mean you could drive it if you catch the boat but like this is it's like an hour flight away and this guy just bailed there like that's that's where they think he moved to and then i like, my family members like yeah we think he had another family uh, he's like he, he always used to like disappear and be like yeah i'm gone to work for like a week and it was like blatantly obvious that he was just going somewhere else and yeah it's like you're that, a mailman like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah where you going yeah he just Crazy. bounced and then he just ended up bouncing for good it was it was fucking weird scumbag 
Uh, okay. Liar and deceit. Oh, you're how can you still can you still do that in modern times? You no, just bounce like internet. No, I think they quickly find you and like what is it called? They don't sequester your wages. What is what is garnish. the term? Garnish. Garnish. That's what I'm looking for. Thank you. Yeah, they'd look you up and garnish your wages and mm. they'd be like, We recognized yeah. your face near a pizza hut in Albany. Oh, it's no. like, oh, fuck, they got me. I, I jaywalked and the Chinese technologies flagged me down. <laughs> Some red light yeah. cameras and making you pay child support now. Yeah, yeah. now TikTok you have to like, listen to your Wi Fi and they have found you. So, yep. Maybe you can become like a migrant worker and work for cash only just to spite her. You know what you do? Yeah. You just you just pay it forward. You illegally immigrate to Canada. <laughs> just moving on. But how out. aggressive Canada? are they about throwing us out? I don't think they can, dude. They like don't have guns or <laughs> <laughs> the whole country no guns. guns. Their cops don't even have guns. They that use would stern be, words. That would be fucking awesome. Like imagine if <laughs> imagine if they even talk them out of it. Yeah, yeah, imagine yeah. just you know, like like continues his anti-gun policy to the point where he literally disarms all of Canada. Like zero fucking guns. They never have a school shooting again. But then the next year we just straight up invade them. <laughs> wait we're Tom bringing back Canada. to the democracy and school what, shootings. it's, it's just the mounties <laughs> and the canadian military standing between us and quebec yeah guess what canada's huge another 50 states even 100 how about that yeah uh you're being fooled uh, by that mercator projection it's not that big i want to sell puerto rico everyone knows that you want to sell <laughs> puerto rico mm, yeah how much what do we get for it I greenland mean, just take it Oh, Wait. Greenland, obviously, that's a trade. We, that's a way bigger <laughs> island, and I've, I've never been to either one. But I don't, yeah. I don't even know how big Greenland is. The mer- that fucking mer- crater projection messes me up so bad. I think it's the size of South what? fucking America. Dude, I've almost, I've like, I've like overcorrected myself with the mer- Mercator projection thing. So, like, on that little map, sometimes I'll be like, yeah, Russia, <laughs> and then like drag it down and be like, Oh no, it's enormous. Like, yeah, yeah like yeah. <laughs> Russia, Russia the biggest yeah. country. Yeah, yeah Russia is the Luke's biggest, Luke's then Canada, then us. Uh, Do you know who the most Luke? populous is? India now, it's right? It's not China. I think India. Either yeah. they just passed them or they're passing them this year. It's something like yeah. that. Congrats. We're talking about this the other day, like how big Australia is, and uh, someone's like, "Oh yeah, no, it's it's tiny." And I'm like, "No, it's like as it's like as big as America," and they they like, "Oh, you know, oh no, Texas is bigger than Australia," and there's like. There's a cattle ranch in Australia that's like it's it's a comparable size to Texas, and it's like run by twelve dudes. <laughs> like, yeah, it's Australia like, it's, it's, it's like huge, fucking gigantic. But when you look yeah, at it on the map, it just looks fucking isn't, tiny. Isn't There's just not much kind of like wasteland. usable space. Yeah. Oh no! You, I mean, you could use it to store nuclear waste, like the. Yeah, American I was gonna <laughs> that. <laughs> that would call Australia the the yeah. um, the, the <laughs> motivation for fallout. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm really fascinated by abandoned town cities and like like mm. uh, places like that where you go somewhere and say, oh my god like there's paved Pripyat. streets and, yeah. and and road signs and stuff but this place is deserted 100 um, percent one of them is this asbestos mine out in the Australian outback where obviously there came a time when we realized asbestos wasn't so great for you so we stopped yeah. mining for it um but the whole town's there that was built around the industry of the asbestos mine the same way that at the turn of the last couple two centuries ago you know the gold rush you would have um those encampments that would sprout up and then later on they'd become the cities that we know out west you know but Mm -hmm. but originally it was just a bunch of miners and whores stopped there for for a week because it was convenient yeah it's neat Is uh, is that like uh the blue sky mine i think it is I don't remember yeah, the name of it, but if there's yeah. if it's an asbestos mine that's abandoned, I don't know what this is. Yeah. But, oh yeah, there you go. That, I, that, that's what I found yeah. interesting. All the homes. Did you go there, Kyle? In Australia? Oh, I'm sorry, I got a little messed up. <laughs> you know, dude, you know what? Awesome. Zach wrote Pennsylvania in the hmm. chat, and I, I conflated the story. Yeah, it's in, yeah, yeah, it's, in uh, it's in the Pilbara <laughs> region, which is like in the middle of fucking nowhere. But like that's in that's in Western Australia. Like Western Australia is so fucking massive. Like it's uh, it, it could. There'd be heaps of towns like that up there. They just, uh, they just mine. They go there. They just mine everything out, and then they're just like, no, oh, the next one. Just There's leave some it. cool American towns that like just totally failed. Like they used to be mines, and now they're just empty. Or, mm-hmm. or towns that are so small or decrepit. I, I think they're neat. I think it's cool to visit. When I when I go to a town and it's too small to support a gas station, mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah. what? How do people live here? There's no grocery okay. store. There's mm-hmm. no gas station. Like. How do yeah. you survive without the basics? 
There's places where it's like there's just a quick stop and a dollar general, you know, 28 miles down the road, the closest one like that. There's mm. tons of like driving through it's like the funnier, south, uh, like even southern Missouri. Like you go through a bunch of towns like that where it's like <clears throat> you blink and you're through it. And it's like it's, sometimes it's sad. It's often sad because it's like you can tell there used to be like community there there you like people grew up there and like have fond memories of it and now it's like dilapidated and sad and and well they couldn't get any jobs so they obviously have to leave but yeah it's because there's, the interstate system yeah, yeah. there's um there's mm-hmm. one near us that has like a uh there's like a whole bunch of houses and then it just has like a um it's like a gas station sort of like stop uh has like food and stuff like that but it has they sell they have more ammunition on the on the shelves than they have food there because like heaps of people drive through there to their properties that are past there to go mm. hunting so they sell more mm. ammunition than they do food so it's like it's it's pretty funny to walk in there and it's like oh yeah just like three loaves of bread and then like 300 boxes of 223 it's like it's, <laughs> <very> funny. <laughs> it's funny like you forget as an american that in other countries they're like and you can go into this store that sells bread and they've got guns right there and you're like yeah what else like, <laughs> yeah, I know it's called the gun section, dude. Like, yeah, like, that's where you go. It says guns. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. This, this I, remember, I, just, I remember I going to the gas like, station as a kid. It's the funniest bit that there's just, like, there's less food than there is ammo there. Like, yeah. it's, and that's meant to be, like, their supermarket. It's they just, don't like, want to sell food. Those guys are going hunting. They want to eat. Yeah, exactly. They'll get their own food. Like, I remember going to the gas either, station as a so. kid and, and getting, like, little Debbie snacks and a Coke and 22 bullets. Because we're, we're, you know, we're driving down the road to where we've got some cattle property leased, and there's going to be something to yeah. shoot. That's know? what we. I, I remember stopping at those gas stations, and I'd get uh, some kind of soda, or usually sometimes a YooHoo if they had YooHoo. I'd get one of those dip things that had beef jerky in it, and we'd get orange sporting clays and shells, and then we'd go shoot clays. That's yeah. that a fun memory. That's you can still times. do that in some parts in uh, like where I live. There's uh, like that that specific shop. Like we drive we drive past that to go to my mate's uh sort of like lake housing where we do like a lot of shooting and we'll just stop in there and just buy like fucking crates and crates of fucking uh 12 gauge and and play targets and they it's just all just sitting in there in the uh service station like mm-hmm. people think it's like that's the thing i don't think many people would go there so they're like oh that doesn't happen in australia I'm like it does it's yeah definitely driving does. <laughs> yeah, it's like, driving out west through through texas and new mexico there would just be on the side of these lonely highways a sort of makeshift shooting range. Like, and, it, and it was clear that there was enough use of this, of people driving by like us that were like, fuck it, let's get out and shoot, that it just got <laughs> used all the time. But, uh, I saw a map the other day, and it was the percentage of gu- gun ownership per state. Like, even in New York, like it, it, it bottoms out at 10%. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there's, no, there's no states below 10%. Um, and when you no. get down here, and especially... Um, Georgia's not the, one of the mo- most intense, but the most intense places, it's like 70% or above. Damn, of, where are those households places? Households own a gun. Like most of the country. Oh, yeah, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like the majority of states in like the middle of the country, especially when you went out west where it's farms and police are so spread out. I think Mon- the Dakotas maybe and Montana, they were yeah. like dark red where everybody's got a gun Everybody. now that i'm thinking yeah. like it is kind of weird we have, uh, if someone just doesn't have a shotgun yeah yeah we have 25 percent uh owners in australia that's much higher than i would have thought that is good yeah. for you and guys the- you need to get those numbers up yeah. like, well that's the thing a lot of people like but and also like the amount like people that own guns usually own like a lot so yeah. it's like but it's yeah, it's, it's kind of weird because I always like I always get that like people are like oh you don't have any and then I like actually look at the stats and I'm like actually no we we kind of do we got yeah we we got more than the UK like yeah you've you've only not got a lot compared to America and nobody has a lot yeah. compared to us like well exactly yeah like you can't you can't beat the, people the, here love guns love them and, uh, because oh, of, that's see, not so is, Minnesota's dragging our average down. Yeah, at California's <laughs> ruining the whole West as well. Like, like Illinois and Minnesota, uh, you bastards, and Michigan. No, yeah, and Michigan. Well, hmm. what's the Missouri stat? The best state in the Midwest. Uh, I there there is a town here uh, in uh, North Atlanta called Kennesaw, yeah, Idaho makes and uh, gun ownership there is mandatory. Really? Yeah. 
do they have to like learn how to use it or is it just like here you go you're 18 you just have to have <laughs> guns in the house and they can't be locked up and if you don't abide they will shoot you and there's nothing you can do about it because you know you because really your gun's locked gun. up yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have a gun oh they only shoot the non-gun owners yeah but ah. it, it is mandatory i, I always wondered about it, like what are they gonna like come around and check see if i got one show me yeah. your gun i don't have one well come out with your hands up that doesn't really make sense if you think it through, sir. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I'm power tripping. <laughs> you're, you're arresting me for not owning a weapon, but you yeah. want me to move real slow in case I've got a weapon. Yeah. I, I'm now do the hokey pokey and turn around, bitch. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. That cop that did that, I'm, I'm referencing the cop that ha- yeah. this, this guy was drunk in a hotel hallway, and the cops got him AR-15 point. And he's giving him these weird directions and the drunk guy doesn't do it just right and falls over because his shorts are falling down and dude kills him. And yeah, uh, it's the, the, his gun said like, I don't know, lights out with a skull on it or something like that. Yeah, it was and, like uh, that officer fucked. ended up. Yeah, that, get fucked or something on his gun. Mm-hmm. That officer ended up getting, I think, counseling for the trauma that Key he to the city that he um, suffered after killing that man. And then I think he the got fuck? retirement. I think he got like full retirement and everything. Yeah. Because, you He's know, like, he doesn't cop anymore because killing that man in that hallway oh shook him up so much. Uh, Boy, murdering that man. If you can imagine just hallway. a drunk dude who's crawling on the ground and their like basketball shorts are falling off a little bit, and the guy's like, crawl no get down no crawl now on your knees and like he's like going from from prone to on his knees to sort of standing up a little like over and over because yeah. the cop's giving such sort of so these cops trying to get him using, to yeah. crawl <laughs> towards me hey, hands behind your head and crawl towards me it's like what are you asking me to do like yeah that yeah. was awful <laughs> which one do you want sir yeah that's that's crazy yeah. I, I, I can't like think like if a guy was on his uh like pants around his ankles like laying on the fucking ground, even if I didn't have a firearm, I can't really think of any perceived threat there. Like this guy's so fucking drunk, like I could yeah. I could kill this man with my fists. Like, he, like, yeah. like you could just like say on the radio, like, hey, that call we got, it's some drunk dummy laying in the middle of the hallway. Just cancel yeah. everything. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Like so yeah, tell yeah. him to send he vomited in the hallway tell him to send up a fucking maid yeah yeah I, that, that one never him. made sense to me I, I didn't understand like how yeah. why why he had a rifle and why is he pointing the rifle and why is he screaming yeah. it's like this guy's drunk and goofy in the hallway it, yeah like, i would have been yeah. like sir was like that, we uh, had a few beverages tonight yeah, yeah man that's that's it was that environment it was so crazy to see him kill that fucking guy it's like that uh yes. that one where the dude was in the wheelchair with the knife it's like, uh, and they they shot him. Have you, have you seen that one? That one's like, no. man, just walk up and switch off his phone. It's like an electric wheelchair. Like this guy is like, yeah, just wait. Disabled. And they like, he's, well, hang he's on. trying if to. He's in a, oh, I did see that one. I was yeah, okay with that. Yeah, I, I look, I, I, yeah, fuck him. He's a crip. I'll co-sign. Nah, he's, he's like, yeah, he he's was like, like fleeing the scene in his crip vehicle. Yeah, and but he's going like three kilometers an hour. Like it's like yeah, like, American police careening. officers are not built for speed uh, or long Karate. distances. Yeah, but mm-hmm. it's like you could have just shot like the battery oh, on the on the thing. But that's the same. It's like saying I uh, wonder just shoot the fucking uh, shoot the fucking uh, what's his face? Just like shoot him in the leg. It's like it's really hard, but it's like yeah, that's it's, the, that was kind of weird. Taylor, Nobody... did you know that Lord of the Rings has been re released in theaters? Really? Not only yeah. that. They've added new feature, new scenes to the movie. Mm. I swear to God, like not yeah, trolling at all. No, no. Apparently, about... apparently it's like Wait, originally shot. It's scenes? an extended, extended version. They've got some new scenes and shit they've thrown in. Apparently, it's like really, really well done yeah. from office. that <laughs> that Peter Jackson shot with the original crew. Yes. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, um, um, a girl I used to date who's like very as into Lord of the Rings as you are. Um, message me. She's like, saw Lord of the Rings. It's fucking. They added the new extended, extended scenes. How much can, more? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I have no idea how long it is. I, I think. I think Zach threw an article in there. But I, I think I'm gonna go the watch. Rest of this. <clears throat> like. My my phone was supposed to send me an alert. <laughs> I, mean, I have Google alert for Lord and Rings. Like, <laughs> I get oh. my phone's always dying from spam. It's a 260. Did I did I see that right? 260, yeah, 260 minutes. Minute. 
Okay, well, yeah. what was the what's the original? Uh, I think it's two hundred and twenty-one or two hundred and twenty-two minutes is the original extended, right? No, I don't no, think so. no, it's not I, that I long. It, I think it's, it's just long. the extended edition in cinemas. Oh, she can't... said they added new scenes. She said yeah, there were I... new extended extended scenes because she's seen the extended versions. I'm sure two hundred one base. I will I will be doing research on this, and if they. That seems too good to be true. There's additional mm. scenes that they didn't put in the in the DVD well, I know commentary. For a fact, I've sent you links to the additional scenes before and the art and the like photographs from the scenes. Um, I mean, there's scenes like like after the battle, it's like it, there's a lot of scenes of the the side characters sort of having that moment where they're like, "Wow, we just fought for the kingdom, huh? Yeah, mm-hmm. what are you gonna do now?" And I think you get to see where Le- Legless going home to the woods and like on his knees in the woods praying or some shit. You get to see Gimli going back think to the um and they're calling to mind yeah. that place maybe or at least he's with family or something like everybody gets their they mm-hmm. keep going with that ending that goes on forever it's just i too know long. that for sure yeah the, i don't care i don't mind too long because i know no, that was one ends, story anyway. where i would have been fine with it meandering forever because i wanted to <laughs> keep living in the lord of the rings world. it was <laughs> dude it was kind of taking the fucking shit after a while though right because like, like there's that part where yeah it fades out and he wakes up in the bed again and it's like oh. yeah <laughs> I, think, I, I might be wrong but i think it fades to black kind of. and it comes back <laughs> and then it fades <laughs> to white and it comes back again yeah. if they fade to chartreuse or something and, and try to do, <laughs> It, you just kept getting, it. but I didn't mind because it was all so well shot and yeah. you felt like it was earned. It's like, yeah, we need a moment for Frodo to talk to Bilbo because mm-hmm. they haven't had a had a oh, talk yeah. in like eight years or something, uh, and and now the they're going to edition the had, afterlife. Extended edition had fifty one minutes of extra footage, uh, so it brought it to four hours and eleven minutes. So if it's whatever Boom. that is in, I need to rewatch the extended again. I haven't in like a year. What's that in what's that in minutes? What, what's a Fucking metric? 300, hour? 251. So there's nine minutes of extra footage. Yeah. You know their oh, hours man. are shorter than ours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They, but, but that's because of the that's because of the speed of the earth. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. they've got a hundred minutes in their hours. Zach, thank you for that reminder just now. Hundred seconds Ads. in their minutes. We've been chit chatting two and a half oh, hours. Oh, we forgot to do the oh. damn ads. Oh <laughs> this episode of PKA. Is brought to you by Blue Chew. <laughs> Let's talk about sex. Guys, shouldn't you always be at your best? 2023 is the year to maximize your performance in the bedroom. Listen up, BlueChew.com. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online. So no visit to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. BlueChew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. BlueChew wants to help you have better sex. (laughs) Discover your options at BlueChew.com, chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew for free when you use our promo code PKA at checkout. Just pay the $5 in shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code PKA to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. BlueChew.com, PKA at checkout. Just pay the 5 bucks in shipping. Check it out. Very cool. This episode is also brought to you. Yeah, it's going <laughs> to it's gonna work great for you. Uh, Kyle... Uh, recommended us the Tadalafil, and we have never looked back. That so, so his suggestion worked for us. So investigate that one for yourself as well if you want. This episode also brought to you by RealDBG.com. RealDBG.com. We're gonna need some. Oh, hold on to your dick, folks. We're gonna need some parental advisory warnings for this one. RealDBG.com has got the goods, and I'm not talking about candy. We're talking about 100 milligrams of Delta-8 infused gummies, 50 milligrams of HHC infused gummies, 1 gram HHC and Delta-8 carts, and a 650 milligram bottle of syrup that will knock your socks off. I'm not, I always forget. I don't want to read that part. <laughs> and forget <laughs> about spring has finally come. RealDBG.com <laughs> has all seasons covered. From the dead of winter to the heat of late August and everything in between, these gummies will have you melting like the polar ice caps. The cartridges are like a supercar, the way they outclass the competition. 
<laughs> so come on down to realdbg.com and get as stoned as the statue in your local park. Just remember to start slow, and before you know it, you'll be soaring higher than Woody in his paramotor. Get ready to have the night you won't forget, to, to have a night you won't forget, or maybe you will, depending on how hard you hit the syrup. Use code PKA23 for 23% off your whole order. That's right, people, 23% off your whole order so you can indulge in premium THC products without burning a hole in your pocket. Just remember, always consume responsibly. Uh, as we say every week, these gummies, very, very strong. Don't be a silly Hilariously, billy. If irresponsibly you have, effective. Yeah, if, you, if you have a low tolerance, start off very slow. You'll get more enjoyment out of it that way. RealDBG.com, PK23, 23% off your whole order. That's a big discount, Holy folks. Shit. So carts, gummies, syrup, whatever you want, uh, check it out there. RealDBG.com. If Taylor, you, you sent me the wacky weeds. PK23. So. I need to check with, with, with why that yeah. hasn't been sent. Maybe they don't have it. Are, are I don't know. I'll, I'll check and see why. But I would anyway. So yeah, I know out. you need your... <laughs> yeah, he might be so bad. I know those are popular. What he needs is fix. <laughs> and also, this episode of PKA brought to you by Lock and Load. Lock and Load, the mm-hmm. premium, premium ejaculation increasing serum that is going to help the way you know, through science. Trust the science. Derek is a science man. Kyle and I, men of science. <laughs> Do you know this? This show is a show of science. I have a lab coat. I have a lab coat too. This I also have one of those gynecological as far as exam listeners tables. Know. <laughs> yeah, we pretend to be gynecologists. We have lab. We are men of science. <laughs> you know, I got more speculating than you've ever even seen. Yes. Mm. Code PKA or code Jizz, and also brand new energy drinks. Brand new energy drinks from Gorilla Mind. Kyle forgot to update his address with Derek <laughs> again. And so Not dude, true. You, I told him I, you're, I told you're missing him. out on these because I have, I bet I have 60 cans of, of gorilla mind energy. Oh, dude, I, you're I, supposed I, to be forwarding them on to us. No, they're mine. No, they're delicious. True. They're no, I, I have it too. I, I, oh. like, so, uh, so I'm setting up this new oh. tank and every time like a giant box that weighs a lot, I'm like, is it the protein skimmer? Yeah. <laughs> Could it be the UV light? Is it, it like, what did I get? Is the sump in? Yeah. And it's more energy drinks. I don't know. God. Taylor said he has 60 of them. Uh, I might be Are they sugar free? Uh, they, there's something sugar? free. They're, the calories are either five or 10. Yeah, no, they're either five yeah. or ten calories. They're, I mean, obvi- they're made by I Derek. Love that. The highest of quality, mm-hmm. delicious flavor. The orange one oh. is great. The Arctic white one is great. Arctic white, Arctic white, <laughs> orange. There's black cherry vanilla. There is. Don't there's be this like green Kyle. one that's kind of sour. Delivered to your house. I want people. the Arctic white. Yeah, dude, black it looks like I'm, I'm delicious. It, it looks like I'm a cool gamer, bro. When I open my fridge, look at all the energy I have at my fingertips. <laughs> <laughs> must be nice I'm gonna oh it's nice fridge. you know what oh, i do great. i wake it. up in the morning i come in here i sit at my computer i start to work i guzzle a gorilla mind before i know it i'm pacing around my house talking to myself oh, you're not really <laughs> selling it to me you wake up in the morning and start working yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's bullshit in my imagination they taste right, good nice. oh that must be great <laughs> it must be great oh wow <laughs> so check it out uh the new energy drinks they're very good i'm enjoying them and lock and load of course check it out code pka code jizz if you haven't tried it yet check it out see what all the fuss is about and if you are not never buy it again if you if you take it for the month and you go i don't i don't i didn't notice I don't anything like then just never loads. buy it again never I don't buy it like again but i'm still being confident. better than my cum used to be that's terrible mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah so and, so uh, so enhance your confidence with and of course, our our Patreon's linked down there for ten bucks. You get the the show uh, early uh, as soon as we uh, throw it up on the internet. Right after we record it, you get to ask us some questions. But I reserve the right to decide your questions are fucking stupid sometimes because of your low IQs. Where'd you get ten dollars, son? <laughs> How'd you get all that money? Hate me. Uh, um, but that's I'm just teasing. Um, or or for fifty dollars a month, not only we get to hang out with us for a couple of hours, it gets weird and awkward because you know the tism. Um, but but and those are fun. Those are genuinely fun. But uh, you those get to fun. jump over in our uh, oh, exactly. our Discord over there, where we where Taylor and I will berate you about your skills at Total Warhammer, or what I might call you yeah. poor based on your 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 bad <laughs> hardware. I think I said that last night. I was like Taylor. Some of these people are stupid. <laughs> some of these people are too stupid to play the game. Okay, and some of these oh, people are too fucking poor to play it. Taylor. All right. 
That's what I'm going to say now. It's the Kyle of Redemption. Talking- I think you should hope their parents died in a car crash. <laughs> Kyle was so upset. He really just wanted to play 1v1. <laughs> and you know what's funny? Is after Kyle and I started doing 1v1s, I bet we banged out you know, eight games in, in, in an hour or so. Hour and 20. The whole yeah. evening. Like, like I had a wonderful evening last night. When we got off, I went downstairs and I was like, man, that was so fun. I really enjoyed it. Even when I lose, I've had a good... Good, I got a good time. Yeah, it's a bunch of fun. Um, yeah, I just um, no, I, I got real mean and mad. So if I if I did hurt any of y'all's feelings in there, um, and, and I wouldn't be surprised if I did. Uh, I am sorry. Um, I, I genuinely was cranky. Um, most of what I said was was true, <laughs> but but I, there's this great scene. Well, I normally in, say uh, nicer. There's this great scene <laughs> in um in, in that uh oh what's the movie where um. The Christopher Nolan movie where he has to go to space. Batman. Inter, um, Interstellar. Interstellar. There's a great scene in Interstellar where the AI robot, he's like, what's your honesty setting at? Uh, 80%. Uh, let's bump it on up to 90 and like says something way too like mean. He's like, <laughs> back it on down to 80. <laughs> like, there's, there's levels of honesty. How do I look in these pants? I mean? Terrible, you fat moron. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I need a little back line back. in my life. <laughs> like, like, what's your humor setting on? uh a 90 let's back it on down to 80 uh, three <laughs> explosion it goes explosion in three two one you want to try for 50 sorry <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, the ai good. in that That's game and that movie was really cool and those robots were really cool they're they're like these cubes with like that sections like come it, yeah. out of them a good a good design like something when it ran through the water carrying a, carrying the it's lady a, like galloping yeah, yeah it was it. cool it, it it no it made a, a um like a, a water wheel um, out of itself and was like, like propelling itself forward in this really unnatural kind oh, of yeah, way. Oh, yeah. When it, when it's going to get it, but when it's coming back, it's like galloping. It looks fucking dark. Maybe so, yeah. yeah. No, that, that's a fun movie. I cry when, when he's reading his voicemails or whatever, when he yeah. gets that voicemail from hell. You have oh, yeah. 4,000 unread messages that are yeah. your life falling apart back home and Would your family be, giving uh, up on you. It was shorter. Is it too long? Nah, that's a great movie. I think um, there's a part in the third act toward the very, very end that can be very confusing on your first watch. And you've already gone through over two hours of movie, so it can feel overly long. However, I watched it for the third time recently, and and I knew that part was coming. And it's like when you watch it the second and third time, you you know what's happening early in the movie is connected to what happens at the end of the movie because of the way time works. And, uh, and it's a... It doesn't feel as overly long, but mm. the first time through, I, I agreed with you. That and Christopher Nolan's sound mix is so bad that I'm like, what, what the fuck bad. are they saying? What the fuck are they saying? I put closed okay. captions on everything now. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I thought it was because I was getting old, but I don't. I think that's only nah. a contributing factor. That, that's the, like when I watch uh, that fucking Interstellar in bed. Like you've got to, I'll put it on and I'll be like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to. I'll just watch this again and I'll fall asleep halfway through. But you have to have it up so loud. Uh, to hear the voices that like the fucking Christopher Nolan fucking brrr, is just like <laughs> fucking up your hearing. So and Michael Caine have it down in low. It's like, Michael Caine oh, in particular, he's got uh, yes, uh, I'm, I'm coming up with a bit of science. It's going to be blah, 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 and gravity is that way. Blah, blah, blah. And it's, what the yeah. fuck is he talking about? He's talking about some science gobbledygook, and he's already got the accent. And he's grumbling and mumbling. Yeah, the oh. sound mix in his films is terrible. Now that I'm 50, I fake a hearing disorder all the fucking time. Like I, fake? I was, I was at the pool place the other day, like buying chemicals, and she's trying to tell me how much fucking calcium and salt to buy, but she's not looking at me. Mm. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm I'm hard of hearing now. You know, can can, can you make eye contact with me while we talk? And <laughs> uh, you know, the little like 21 year old, yeah, sure enough, old man, I'll tell you. <laughs> it's like, but this is what I need. Talk to me. Don't don't look in the other direction while you talk to me. I'm not getting it. Did you give a good reason for how your hearing went? Like, did you just vaguely mention the war? That's what I need to do. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so many yeah. tank blasts. <laughs> like, tell, tell her, and, and if it, when it's someone that's 21 year, years old, they have this weird concept of time and how, tell her it was Vietnam and she'll believe you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to give myself me. away. Isn't that, like, hey. You know the long nosy thing on a tank? Oh, it's super loud. <laughs> <laughs> that was nah, a long noser. If you're sure over 50 you're and you tell a 16-year-old that you remember fighting with Napoleon, they'd be like, yep, that's, that's <laughs> fucking it. 
when like, I was, was young, that. young, like eight or something, I figured out there were only like 40 presidents so far. Yeah. And my parents were 40. And I was like, oh, so oh. she was around for all of them. And I was like, <laughs> what was it like when Lincoln was president? Because <laughs> I figured she was a teenager. And, and, and that's insulting. So your mom immediately backhanded you. <laughs> <laughs> Not for that. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a full beating that one the simple as shit was backhand well my mouth was so swollen she didn't understand what i'd said but yes if she heard my insult i'd have received quite a thrashing my yeah, mother yeah. just beat cancer she rang the bell and everything oh congratulations uh, I, 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 yeah. congrats. i'm sorry that she ever had it but it's wonderful uh she's a two-time champion she's got oh, this on lockdown oh. you know i'm starting to think new jersey might she's not be that champ. healthy yeah, my we brother got the one or twice. I've once not Man. sure about my dad. It's hard being twice. on the outside looking in. I hope I get cancer again. Yeah, yeah, you'll, you, you'll get your chance. I've been injecting myself with a lot of stuff, man. I don't know. I think it's going to help like, again. I think it's going to help. I think if I got any like little bit of cancer, it's going to be like the macho man Randy Savage of oh. cancer. You know what I mean? Like, like, just pump it up. I bet if you, that's one of the reasons I, I would, would not have not do not do hgh human growth hormone mm -hmm. is the potential for there being some tumor in your goddamn brain that otherwise would have said stayed tiny until the year 2037 when we've got a pill for that but instead you injected yourself with hgh and now instead of dealing it you're dealing with it next year because it's grown to it's been souped up just like you aha uh -huh, but you're not thinking it through your skull will be bigger making room for the tumor that's what Joe Rogan's. That's what happened to Joe Rogan. That is tumor growth, <laughs> swelling his head. Yeah. That's that's what that is. I, um, that makes sense. I, I was uh, I was sitting there the other day in bed and I was like feeling my nuts as you do, and uh, I felt something on my uh, on my on my balls, and I was mm. like, I'm gonna go to the doctor about that. Yeah. And uh, so my my doctor, he's he's the weirdest motherfucker you'll ever meet. Like this dude, you go in there and he'll be like, "Do you want to hear a dirty joke?" And then he'll just oh. tell you something that's just like, "Wow, that was extremely racist." You're a medical <laughs> doctor. <laughs> like, but it, I go in there and I'm like, oh, "I got bad news. It's uh, you, you're uh, you're gonna see some shit today." And he's like, "Oh, just tell me it's not asshole stuff. I hate looking at asshole stuff." <laughs> and I'm like. Nah, it's, nah, it's my balls. He's like, oh, that's fine. Nah, nah. As long as it's not your <laughs> asshole, I don't care, man. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I like He's your like, doctor. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like man. the honesty. Although, what but, if it had been your asshole? You're really he's really uh, setting you up for failure. Like, like what? here's here's my concern. What if it was your asshole, but you were so embarrassed by that you're like, ah no, it's just uh I got a lot of wax build up in my ear. Just take a look. <laughs> yeah. No, I would have been like sucked in. You got to look at my asshole. Too bad. <laughs> so wait, I'm invested in this story. How are your balls? Yeah, how's your balls? Oh, it was fine. It was uh, so when you get a vasectomy, they have a uh, like. There's a, a oh. pretty high chance that you uh, like sperm gets sort of like released into the exterior area of like when they're mm. sewing it up, and because it's like it never comes in contact with your bloodstream, it's treated as like a foreign body. So they basically like your immune system just like sort of isolates it and calcifies it. And yeah. so you just end up, you can end up with like a lump on your, on like around your nuts from it. And it's going to pop that out. Uh, so do you need to granuloma. ejaculate oh, more or less? Like what's the prescription? Uh, no, no, neither. It's because uh, like the way it like uh, when they cut it, it's like a little bit just sort of, you can't sort of catch it all. So it just sits in there and then it just yeah. calcifies. But it's problem just, solved uh, now. He's not, yeah. this isn't going to recur. It's just yeah. now yeah, he's got a now. little. He, instead of a kidney stone, he's got a little mm. scrotum stone yeah. down in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I've got a third lesser testicle. You I, can, uh, I worked I, I with a do guy it. who had some sort of issue. It might have been a prostate issue or something, but he wasn't jacking off enough. And he needed, like, his, basically the doctor prescribed that he ejaculates more often, That's which true. is weird because he was an accountant, and we all know they slay. But <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if you, if, if you kept introducing foreign bodies into the the the... The, the ball sack and then sealing it up if you could do like a thing like a like an oyster where you like, make grow pearls and yeah, uh, so do it you, on the dick though right so no pleases her that you can put like ball bearings and shit in well the yeah but yeah you can get that you can get implants on your penis but doing it naturally. apparently if you put if you put a foreign body in your in your scrotum and you're t down there it'll calcify it and turn it into a I little just pearl other people's uh other people's sperm in there i was just like well i suppose it still makes it yeah, so i'm just like sperm 
Well, I mean, it worked with that. I don't want to be like, hey, you know what? I'm going to start putting Tic Tacs in there because I don't know what the fuck's going to happen with that. Perfect. But but sperm is a proven one. It's like that's going to do exactly what you want. But Tic Tacs are minty. They can't be dirty. Your body will attack the Tic Tac, I promise you. What if it dissolves the Tic Tac and then I end up with fresh breath forever? (laughs) Oh, no. Oh, oh, I might have, like, minty jizz. Oh, oh. okay. Now, that is a fucking upgrade. Yeah, that's now it's huge. If only there were a product yeah. to make your jism have a fruity, delicious taste. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was, was yeah. The, so this doctor, the, he, I'm sure you guys probably have heard about the trout video of the Australian, or you may not. I have. watched it. Uh, you watched it. I yeah. thought of you. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was it, it's funnily enough that woman actually works like down the road from where I live. Like Fuck, seriously, yeah. She's, <laughs> yeah. she's I know the like I like her. I, I know the lake where she was getting a trout put up. Hell anyway, fucking yeah. I walk into this doctor and he's like, the first thing he says to me, he's like, have you seen the video? And I'm like, what video? And he's like, the trout video. And he's pulling out his phone. Like he's looking for it. Like he's going to show me this video in the know. doctor's office. I'm like, I'm paying like 90 bucks for this appointment, man. I don't want to see that fucking video. I'm like, yes, I've seen it. And he's like, oh, okay. And he puts his phone away. I'm like, I'm, a, I'm about to sit in the doctor's office and watch fucking animal porn with my doctor. This is fucking weird, man. <laughs> Yeah, what, what for, for the story? uninitiated, um, yeah. a gentleman um, who who sounds very much, well, frankly, suspiciously like Slush Puppy, is um, hmm. inserting a trout into a woman um, on on a on a boat on the lake, and uh, and and you know they they both sound just like Slush, and, and to me well, anyway, from where I am, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and so like their dirty talk is kind of funny to me because of the accent. And yeah. uh, and of course, oh, yeah, give it to me, Barry. It's alive. <laughs> it's alive as well. Um, so yeah, it's a uh, it's it's pretty funny. I saw it on Reddit. Um, it's, it's an been adventure. a couple months. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. But yeah, I just uh, remembered it because of the uh, the cancer thing, and then my doctor trying to show it to me. I was. <laughs> That's great. Weird Your to... doctor pulls out a fucking girl with a trout in her pussy, shows it to you. I don't. <laughs> yeah. I don't have that kind of relationship with my doctor, unfortunately. Someday. Do you have a man doctor? Um, yeah, um, I guess technically, um, the the guy that I video call with um, um, for all my uh, like TRT shit, I would say he's. Um, and then like back home, there's a guy um, that I sort of saw my whole life, and if I really needed something, uh, and I couldn't get an appointment to, to just something random here, although that's a lot easier to do after COVID. Uh, I would travel all the way back home to to, to him because I know I could get an appointment that day. But um, but now you can just get an app on your phone and find a doctor within hours. It used to be such a struggle. Mm-hmm. I remember yeah. before I – this is a thing high school should teach you, how to get a g- goddamn doctor, right, along with, like, paying your taxes and everything else. Because <laughs> I started Googling. I was like, doctor's in my area. Oh, you're a <laughs> dermatologist or, like, whatever, and, and call him up. And mm-hmm. nobody has appointments for months. And it's frustrating. It's almost like – what. What do y'all have some kind of a fucking password or something? Yeah. What do you mean months? Yes. What do you mean now, hire you another gonna... goddamn doctor? But there aren't yeah. there aren't but doctors you don't who make want money. Yeah. Like, like I don't understand. It just seems like a problem that's so easily. When I want to get my dog groom, they're like nothing's open. Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. Like what's squeeze them in? What's the yeah. fucking password? I swear that's uh, the thing with COVID though. Like everyone was at home. They're like, let's get a puppy, and then that's just like. Now I can't get a fucking vet appointment. <laughs> uh, maybe part of it. There is, there is probably Dude. a big... Uh, a like, big I, I uh, went in there to, to the vet with the new dog. So I got I got a new dog and uh, the, the vet's like in there and he's like, he's telling me all this, uh, telling me all this shit. He's like, so what you need to do to train it? And I've got my other dog who's two years old sitting there next to me. Motherfuckers like perfectly behaved, like sitting there just watching everything going on. I'm mm-hmm. like... I don't need the mother- I don't need pointers. Just check his balls. Give him his shots and get me the fuck out of here. Like yeah. I don't need. I don't have to train a fucking dog. I got to. I got to train dog sitting right next to me. Yeah. Like, oh my God. <laughs> I my, yeah. uh, I've got the Scottish Terrier, and then I got a uh, Shippakey. They called it's a uh, Shippakey. Yeah, they look like a little, like fruit bat. It's it's a very oh, sounds, fruit, yeah. is it a fluffy little dog or yeah, a little no. fluffy dog. Yeah. Oh, good. Those are yeah. the best kind of dogs. Little fluffy yeah. dogs. They're adorable. Very cute. I took uh, I took my Malamute to the vet for a, for an ear infection a couple months ago, and they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna take some samples and run some labs." And I'm like, "No, no, I don't want to do that." <laughs> She's like, "No, we need to find out what kind of antibiotics to use." I'm like, "Use the good ones." I was like, "Well, we need to make sure that it's this." I'm like, "Just use the good ones. What's most expensive?" 
well, there's this and that, and these two, this one's this, and this one's that. Like, but that's not really relevant. I'm like, yeah, it is. Give me the good ones. Like, I, I'm like, you're not sticking them. that Q-tip in his ear because it's gonna hurt. He don't want you to. You're not doing it, and you're not gonna charge me $180 again, like last time, to go look at his ear goo under a microscope and tell me it's bacteria. Yeah, <laughs> I know it's bacteria. So give me the good antibiotics. Let's get the fuck out of here. So, okay, I'm gonna go get the Stop giving me the fake ones. <laughs> the doctor what are you the fucking like, like salesperson <laughs> yeah Anywho, doctor I, I, come on let's get real no we're not real doctors <sighs> yeah i wonder if it's easier or harder than being a doctor being a vet well the the counter argument to what what everybody knows would be that oh they've got to be able to work on everything from an anaconda to a horse Mm -hmm. Walk into your vet and have them operate on an anaconda. See how that goes. Right. <laughs> you need an anaconda guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring him oh, a sick dog. fish. I'm and he'll be guy. like, "Sir, yeah. you really should have brought this in water." Yeah. I mostly, uh, <laughs> I mostly just sell uh, dog vitamins and shots at an 800 percent markup and and castrate yeah. animals. <laughs> that's, that's mostly my job. I mostly spell that's, the most ex yeah. expensive treats on earth. <laughs> That's the, the thing that happened with our first dog. They were like, oh, we need to get like a, a dental expert to look at it because it looks like his, uh, one of his bottom teeth is like touching the top of his, his thing. Um, and then we'll need to, so we need to send it off to this dental expert. And then we'll, uh, then we'll, <laughs> when we put him out to do his, uh, his fucking balls, we'll just like take a little bit of the top of his tooth off. And I was like, well, you don't need to send it to the fucking dental expert. His fucking tooth is touching it. It's pretty yeah. plainly obvious. Just fucking yeah. shorten it a little bit. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, okay, well, we'll just do that. And I'm like, how did it, like, you guys are meant to have motherfucking degrees. Like, how did it take you, yeah. like, well, no, they you want their buddy the dental I'm trying expert to, to make money off of you. They're trying yeah. to build you over it. The doggy dental expert, by the way, I call bullshit on the fact on that even existing. Mm. I, there's no yeah. way there's a guy. Really? Who, I'm a dog right, dental right, hang expert. On. It's funny you say that. <laughs> all right, there are dogs. I guess now that I talk about it, like, maybe uh, yeah. there are, I suppose. But, but, but he would be the guy you take him to. You wouldn't get a reference or an opinion. We're going to have yeah. to get an opinion from the tooth guy. The well, dog maybe if had like, guy. I mean, if you had like really fucked up teeth, but like I looked at he's it cool. and I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I, his he's teeth cool. grew in. And then I'm like, I, I look at his teeth and I'm like, I'm like, wow, he, hey, he really fucking hates it when I touch his mouth. That must be painful. Oh, and, I'm like, mm -hmm. and I look at it and I'm like, oh, that's all red. I'm like, man. Motherfucker with one eye could work that out. Like, yeah. you've got a career in dog dentistry. Like, yeah, apparently. Now I'm a dog dental expert. All right. uh -huh. you can, my goodness, are you a dog mechanic as well? <laughs> yeah. right. Show Didn't me anything, any I'll tell you if it's a dog's tooth. I've I've never had a good experience at a vet. Like 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 felt that. like they were smart enough to. I never felt like they they were good at their job. I felt like they were okay at their job and if i didn't if i wasn't an astute customer i don't i don't think i was going to get the proper medical assistance for my animal i've always felt that that i need to i'm here as an advocate for the dog mm -hmm. because They're if i just turning. send him in there am I, it's like yeah it's like send him into the legal system he needs me or they'll yeah. fuck him over they'll be like ah oh, just cut it off whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa hang on <laughs> hang on let's sew it back on and see if it takes yeah those people i remember like um like like a couple vets doing shitty jobs with our dogs uh over the years and and then those ladies those people trying to fleece me the other day to look on look at some ear goo under a microscope again i paid him the first time I'm, I'm like we're not gonna look at his ear bacteria for a second time for another 200 dollars or whatever yeah that's ridiculous just give him yeah, the pills so the oh you know what she told me by the end i was like why does he keep getting these ear infections i was like i don't understand she's like oh it could be his food we've got this food here it's a hundred dollars a bag you want some yep. <laughs> and I'm like, do you love your dog or not? I'm asking. I, I, I yeah. said, I said, it's not his food. Foods don't, there's no way like, like his diet is causing a goddamn ear infection unless you take pellets of it and put it down in his fucking ear. Mm -hmm. And then I, and <laughs> then I call her a slur for Asian people, which really took her back because she was black. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the she ultimate. She was clearly a Jamaican woman. And, and, you, and, and, use, <laughs> you use in, inappropriate racial yeah. epithets and so they're yeah, so yeah. taken aback is, that, is it is it racist to call uh a black person a slur of a different variety i call it's, it flavorful flavorful creative yeah it's it's creative yeah. you have to encourage uh, creativity wherever you see it this, in this world you know yeah we're also beaten I, down i don't even I don't know any that. slurs for oh 
Oh, put right? your people? put your nose I, to the grindstone. Does it and you rhyme can with think rink? <laughs> no, well, I mean, there's chink and gook and zipperhead. Um, <laughs> there, there, there's lists and lists. I, I mean, our man here lives in Oceana or Pacific or whatever that shit's called. So he's, Dude, I bet he's got a slew of them. Uh, my, 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 grand, my grandfather and grandmother knew them all, mate. <laughs> knew them all. <laughs> Fighting against the Japanese in World War II, they fucking they had all of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I bet they come up with quite a few. Nothing, nothing yeah. uh, stimulates the slur economy like a war. Yeah, yeah my my trick. grand my grand hated Asian people with the fiery passion of a thousand burning suns. Really, uh, the whole uh, any Asian she didn't she didn't uh, like select she she couldn't even tell the fucking difference, <laughs> she, <laughs> and she didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> You're part of that group we fought with. I don't care uh, for it. The yeah. one I hear yeah, yeah. now is for Russians, and it's orc. The, the, if you heard this, that yeah, all heard that. Russian soldiers yeah. are orcs. Kyle's told me that. Calling them that all the time. It, it, Why is it an orc? I, I guess because you know, like it's intentional dehumanization, I'm sure, and yeah. it works. Of course. Well, you know, they're they're and in, they're barbaric invaders in, in the same yeah. um, cut from the same cloth as orcs. I, I, one would say that they're in. You know, you see, uh, there's that video. I, I've seen videos of Russians um, killing P- P- prisoners of war with sledgehammers and axes and stuff. Yeah. So you know, orc but, isn't no, that no, far I, off. Well, the history of the orcs, and you know, not really. Not really that good. You but know? when I when yeah. I think of orcs, though, I all Maybe I think of is like would be a better one. Fucking, Are they misunderstood, uh, Taylor? No, no. All I think about is like Warcraft, where it's like <laughs> jumps done. Like it's fucking. Yeah. <laughs> it's I watched, a, I watched <laughs> like, a fifty minute video called "Are Orcs Evil? Are There Any Good Orcs?" No, it no, out. there aren't. It's yeah, kind of just... integral to what an orc is that it is bad. Yeah. Right. They yeah, can't they be all start. bad. You can't have a They're society all bad. that functions with all bad. It's it's, it's not, not so a much a society, society as they are minions of an evil deity. Like they, well, they I mean, are. they have menus and they have well, uh, but like orcs society. aren't like they don't go to an orc village in Lord of the Rings at least and be like. Oh, we're stealing the orc children to make them into orc soldiers. It's like no, their their whole thing is that they are like created by evil. Like they are like a an avatar of e- of the evil of. But of somebody the, must be life. a farmer, or like they can't all be so- senseless soldiers. Just no, if they don't they kill and they steal, make. they starve. Yeah, yeah, they don't really grow stuff. Yeah. Mount Doom, they're like, not yeah. they're Actually, more like a rabble as well. They like they more just like move forward under the guise of being getting their ass whipped by someone. Yeah, they got trolls yeah. behind them, mm. and other meaner orcs and all sorts. Of <laughs> I, I, I yeah. really hope well, that's the thing. I, I know you you're not have right to about beat that. Up. You only have to beat up the meanest orc, and then the meanest orc can beat up the other orcs. It's a, it's a simple system. Mm-hmm. I'm totally right about this. Uh, this thing she said she saw new scenes. I bet there there's new scenes. She if know. there are new scenes in Lord of the Rings, I will be flabbergasted. There is no way. Yeah, what do they, they, they re-released Lord of the Rings and they added they made an extended extended version. They added brand new scenes that they that have never before been seen that were shot, you know, but the movie was overly long already. <laughs> right. They're not finished or anything. They're still in their pajamas with the dots all over them. <laughs> uh, they they put the scene in circus the... crawling around that creek all dotted <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, they included the part about the, the eagles. Yeah, that explanation. Yeah, 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 right. In the extended, extended version, they just climb on the but, eagles yeah. and go across yeah. to Mount Doom. It's like, there's like an extra like nine minutes. It, it says because it's 260 minutes, and the first was 411, a uh, four hours and 11 minutes, which nine is minutes, uh, like extended extra, credits. Extra, Meanwhile, they just minutes. they just slowed it down by one yeah. percent. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's trying to figure out what's new. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd be very funny. Gandalf. <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh, I, I'm down to watch that. I, uh, it's been a while since I've done a rewatch. Uh, I don't quite remember the last time, but uh, but yeah, if they added nine more minutes, what I'm truly waiting on is the the 4K uh, Blu-rays to finally come out, so I can buy a definitive collection. Do you think 8K is going to happen? Is that going to be our next? I don't think 8K is around the corner real. for for every consumer, right? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think it's how, how, how much more realistic can it get? How much I more think to, like it goes on okay, like like two two K is like it starts to make more sense, right? Yeah. What was that slash yeah, with two K? Like two two K is like the standard for computers now. Like you don't see many people on like ten eighty p anymore. Like everyone's using fourteen forty p. So sure. it's like it's only natural that it will get there eventually. 
I think like 4K is not even that fully adopted yet. I'm talking about televisions. Maybe. Really? I, I... Yeah. Oh, I mean, it is for it is for televisions, but at the same time, like yeah, that's what I'm also, talking about. So, like, like a 4K telly is also like fucking prohibitively expensive for some people. Like a good one, you can go and get like an, a high sense fucking 4K mm-hmm. television as a piece Y'all of shit. Y'all have taxes that but... we don't have. TVs are uh, cheap like, as fuck uh, here. Y'all have electronics. Yeah. What's the taxes? difference between so, a good one and yeah. a bad one? Uh, like the when you're using the smart TV shit, it's like real fucking slow and like doesn't have all the apps and stuff on it. Look, I, I have a good TV. My TV is 4K. I have a, like a Samsung 4K one that's like as thin as mm-hmm. a fucking piece of paper. And how many like dollar dues did chip. it run you? Uh, I think it was about uh three thousand maybe. Wait, yeah. how big of a TV um, is it? Uh, seventy inches. That's it. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. like. I don't know where the number is now. It's probably sixty-five. That's affordable, and then for some reason, seventies triple the price. Yeah, yeah, 60, yeah. Sixty-five they give away. You could you could cover your walls in sixty-five inch screens for less than it would cost if you go to Disney World. But <laughs> yeah, but on the other hand, those eighty plus inch screens are are. I don't remember what we paid when, when we bought those TVs. It's almost time to get a new one. Uh, it's almost time for a new TV. I thought I thought my TV had quit working the other day. It stopped recognizing. Um, um hdmi mm-hmm. inputs turned out it it needed the old college try of unplugging it from the wall and plugging it back mm-hmm. in but how often do you do that to a television set yeah, anyway fair. um uh i was okay, like yeah so oh is the tv bro uh, well 75 <laughs> inch 75 inch 4k and it was three thousand four hundred dollars yeah that's definitely that's almost twice because i think kyle and i got the same 75 inch samsung a few years ago didn't Maybe it was on something? sale, but it oh, was like but your dollars uh, was like twice as much. Now, so. Yeah, I was gonna say so, he doesn't use real dollars. They're probably I thought it was like, twenty three hundred bucks. Oh yeah, or, yeah, he's on dollary dues. So. Yeah, yeah, but twenty but twenty three hundred would be like equal price about. Yeah, like oh, yeah, with a little bit of okay. with like a ten percent tax on top of ours. I remember it being like eighteen hundred yeah. bucks. I, but but my thought, TV. but I'm talking about consumer televisions. I'm wondering if eight K is is going to be the the way that four K took over. The way that that you know I. We lived through the whole thing. We, we, I remember mm. when, holy shit, 720p. Oh my <laughs> God. Yeah. Now we can see the movie. Mm-hmm. You know, you were, you were, yeah. I, we grew up on VHS tapes. Someone said they showed their mm-hmm. classroom VHS tape then. They couldn't identify it the other day of like middle schoolers or some shit. Yeah. It's like, oh, I guess that makes it. sense. That's right. They've never seen a fucking VCR. I don't even own but, one anymore. Yeah. But someone was talking the other day about the save button on, um, on hmm. like, uh, Excel oh, yeah. and like people don't, people like, but so what is the save button? It's like it's a floppy disk. They like yeah. Like, <laughs> what does the save button mean? That's funny. I yeah. didn't think about that. What does it mean? Well, the yeah. symbol. They don't understand why it's yeah, that yeah. symbol. Yeah, they don't understand the symbol. Yeah, I, I think I'm just wrong about the TV stuff because I just don't really follow TV stuff. Like I went into the shop and my wife's like, "I want one that looks nice on the wall that doesn't look like a TV." So I just like scoured the internet for one that just looks like a photo frame, and I'm like, "Cool, I'll get that one." I don't what do you do for now sound? It's classy. Though. Uh, it's um. I, I use my ears. I, yeah. I, 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 I'm, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not I, I'm I not ask because the really it. thin ones sometimes have terrible audio. Do you have a speakers? Uh, no, it has it? like a a box that comes off it. Like so, oh, okay. Because it has like it has like this fiber optic cable that goes up. Like it's a, you mm-hmm. can't see it, or you can put it through the wall, which I did. And then the like it doesn't have like any of the actual like shit that powers it inside the TV. It's basically just like the fucking OLED screen. That's why it's so thin. And then mm. the box sits there and the box has the sound coming out of it. So it's like, oh. it's like a, it's like a shittier yeah. version of a sound bar, but it's not too bad. Like I'm not a real, like okay. I'm not a real like sound kind of guy when it comes to that kind of stuff. So I just, what do you, how do you have your TV mounted? Um, do you, I mean, I know how you, you have a TV mount, but do you tilt it down toward your, you know yourself or, or 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 do you do you utilize the mount yeah. much to angle it toward you there are three no, places just flat I watch. oh i thought okay. you did you uh, ask no, me i did yeah, ask no. woody oh, <laughs> yeah there's three places i watch tv one's a oh, projector God, so it's, just, it's a screen on the wall uh the other is at the foot of the master bedroom and it we have like a piece of furniture where the tv emerges from it and it like comes up hmm, and uh dope. yeah and then in the guest room which we use a lot too uh, it's mounted and it's tilted a little down, I think. Yeah, I've got, I ask because um, currently I've got mine very high on the wall up above the mantle and tilted down toward me because I can like lie back on the, the chase of my couch and just, it's like perfect squared up to mm-hmm. me. But um, I saw this uh, video on, on YouTube where this guy 
was installing them into the wall so they're perfectly flush with mm. the wall. And then, you know, you've got a box in there that handle all the, the wiring, which you end up with an incredibly clean mm. uh, look because you've got, it's just a screen flush with your, your drywall or whatever. There's That's nothing nice. protruding from the wall. But I did wonder, like, I, you, would need the, you would need it down low instead of up high. Which is, I kind of like that. I kind of like lying back on the couch with a pillow or something behind me and just relaxing and looking up at it. That feels kind of natural. I did mount my TV three times before uh, I, I, because at first I was like, I want it high. I mean, (laughs) real high. (laughs) The roof on. Because my living room has this, like, there's a mantle and then the wall has this wide woodwork that goes all the way to the ceiling and the ceiling's at least 15 feet up. So I was oh. like, oh, this is a perfect place. I can throw it. I can put it up there. And it's a, it's a big TV, so it's it's kind of hard to imagine where the screen is going to be and the edges of it based on just the mount. Mm-hmm. And I don't have the mm-hmm. mount. I'm drilling holes. And, and you know, I'm trying to hit studs. I got that bitch up there, and it was, I'm sweating by the time it's done. I, I, I mounted it by myself, um, and it's awkward. And there's parts. There's times where I'm holding the whole <clears> TV <throat> with one hand while, like, doing something with my other hand mm-hmm. and balancing. So I get done. I sit down. I've got I got my ice water. I look up. I'm like, hell yeah. I turn it on. I'm like, it's too fucking high. <laughs> <laughs> how how long did you thing. watch it before it was too high? <laughs> I, I I mean, I turned the apps on. Were I didn't like. Make, I, I didn't. I didn't an app. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was so high that it's like my neck is gonna start hurting in 30 seconds. <laughs> why did so you, I, were you so excited? Why to did sit you down think it was good to put a TV in the sky? Well. Again, because it's so if a little it, bit high is good, TV and I, and I'm and you know the sin, the nature of the the bracket drilling the holes and everything. I didn't mm-hmm. realize I was the viewing screen was going to be that high. The bracket seemed a decent height. But oh, of course, so you, the, the, the bracket was kind of where you bracket. imagined the TV would go, and then yeah. and then oh, there's the top of the screen. I another you are surprised the TV was yeah. so much taller. Than so the you the bracket. imagine the bracket attached to the top of the television. Yeah. You can't imagine the fury that I felt the second time I did everything, looked up, and it was still too goddamn high. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. curious. If, you, like, if I were to sit down and watch your TV, would there be like a trail of tears of like bad installations above it as it led down? To the you know TV? what you'd see is like you'd be I watching TV it. and you could see oh, okay. the, the holes from the higher up mountain. Did you, yeah, did, yeah. You, did you paint it after puttying it though? I haven't painted yet because I have I'm I'm moving out in like three months or something like yeah. that. So I'll get that'll be the time to pay. I, I there's a couple spots that need touching up. I fucked up a few things. Yeah. There was one point when I was trying to mount my Ethernet cable so that it was like and it is to be fair. The Ethernet cable runs out of this uh, office, like down a hallway, down a staircase, and it's attached to the wall in this little strip that keeps it nice mm-hmm. and clean. But I got filled with a rage while I was mounting it at one point. Let's just leave it at that. And I decided, fuck all this shit. I started ripping it all off the wall. <laughs> but but the the conduit has a sticky side, the conduit that holds the Ethernet. And and that sticky side grabbed the paint on the wall and ripped it off the, <laughs> the wall in a, in a strip about a foot and a half long. And so that's still there with like the paint ripped off. Now you got to um, get so swatches gotta... and figure out. <laughs> oh, no. You know, when you rent a place, there's a bucket of paint under the, uh, you know, they're, they're, I'll go grab the paint they they left here. But I'll say this, as shitty as this, this fucking people I rent from are, then they are, they are scum. I won't say who they are, but they're scum. Uh, hmm. Awful, awful to deal with. There's no way to actually get a guy who can do a thing. They're all just, just, just fucking bots, NPCs. When you mm-hmm. call that fucking phone hmm. number, you could be like, you listen to me, ma'am. You don't even understand. We're going on NBC tonight to talk about what you people have done to me. She'd be like, fucking go for it, bro. You think I care? I don't even know who you are. You don't know my real name. I'm the fucking Lizard King. Like, they don't care. <laughs> you, could, you, could, you can't threaten them. You can't be like, hey, can we come to a, 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 a mutual agreement here? Can we negotiate? Can no, you no, understand no. that I'm, I don't have air conditioning and it's 80 degrees? Well, it has to be 88 before we consider an emergency. You'll get that kind of shit out of them. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> so, so, uh, but, but my last place, man, it was, I was moving my stuff out by myself. And, and I've talked about this before. I don't know why I took it upon myself to do all the moving by myself. When I looked at it and I looked at all my belongings and the U Haul truck, I was like, 12 hours, 12 hours of me hustling. I knocked that the fuck out. I hustle because when I work, I work. Like I don't stop. Um, 
dude, it was three days of hustling and just, just, just dripping sweat. And <laughs> I got done and, and it's like, man, I, I got to get down the road. It's midnight, one in the morning. And I, I still got to unpack this shit at my new place. And there was so much left to do. I didn't leave trash. I didn't leave garbage, but I did not patch the holes in the wall mm -hmm. uh, from Matt, from all the electronics I'd mounted throughout the home and little things were broken. Like <clears throat> the toilet paper holder and like the guest bathrooms knocked off the fucking thing. Cause it was a piece of shit to begin with. And like this little things here and there <laughs> standard. Do that. that I thought be... also we're missing a kitchen drawer. Um, we're also missing um, well, several. It's not there. But that's not normal. There's Usually, just a hole. <laughs> you can see the tracks. Gone. I've and been on this gone. planet for 50 years oh. and I've never lost a kitchen drawer. Well, I know where it is. Did you shatter it? I know. Uh, Asunder. It, I, I, the, I, I, I broke. The, I pulled the drawer out and it broke or something. It just fell apart. Were you uh, <laughs> grouchy? Were you blue, Kyle? No, 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 no. I really wasn't. I really wasn't. Um, it, it, I don't remember exactly how it broke, but it wasn't my fault. It just fell apart. And so what I did was I took it out with the intention of repairing it and never did. And so I just left it on the floor broken drawer hole in the you know the where the drawer used to go um and in the refrigerator i had taken a lot of that the, the dividers this and keeps getting better <laughs> yeah i mean i'm being, trying to be honest here i I, I had taken a lot of the dividers out because it's easier to get say a case of protein soda things in there or like mm -hmm. a whole bunch of meat or whatever yeah. there's more it's easier to get big shit in your fridge if you take all those dividers out and i some of them had were in were they worse for wear they were all <laughs> fucked up I had left one of them outside for like three months. Did and you it had remove gotten, like, them with a crowbar? <laughs> no. Well, one of them was broken. One you know when you forget something outside for shattered. three months? <laughs> so, so one of them, one of the things that go, to, it attaches to the freezer door when you open the door and you like, I don't know, throw some hot pockets in there or something. Well, that thing had, had it slides out for cleaning, but then I had dropped it and it just broke in half. So I super glued it back together, but it was still so brittle that it could never store anything again. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 there's no way. You like, ruined it. it. <laughs> the idea of food would break it, especially as cold as a you know, it's brittle and cold in there. Taylor, so, it's not uh, that I'm a terrible renter from hell. Fifteen hundred dollar deposit. You know how it goes. You rip out the interior of your refrigerator and leave it outside for a couple of months. Yeah, you know when you, you put, put something outside. In there, in, you know when you put something outside in September and then you stand up abruptly in December. <gasps> Like, <laughs> my God! <laughs> the I dog. Left, I, also on the back patio, it was just it would it needed a good pressure washing because I had had fires back there and they had scorched the stone and plastic that I had burned back there had melted to the the stone. What are you and, doing? Mm -hmm. Fifteen hundred dollar <laughs> deposit, what? right? At night, I'd go full white trash mode. Like, I, I like what am I gonna do with these Amazon boxes? I'll tell you what, I'm going to do the same thing I do with all that plastic. I'm going <laughs> to melt it in the backyard. I'm going to melt it in the neighbor's yard. Wait, wait, that's white trash? I, I didn't know. It, well, well, <laughs> it's, a, it's frowned it, upon. It depends where you live. Like for you, it's in, you're an industrious countryman. For me, yeah. it's like that white trash neighbor of mine. We're in a fucking nice place. There's a there's a housing, um, what do you call those fucking house knots? H, Come check your mailbox. Homeowners association. Yeah, this is a homeowners association. You can't be burning trash in your backyard. But three in the morning? fucking inferno you, in my backyard every night you talking hey, about like doing i got my but the whole those, point of the story though fifteen hundred dollar deposit and i got it all back got it all back what? i was shocked when oh, i got why? the check kitty was oh. like you got a check here for fifteen hundred dollars and i'm like from fucking who you're the renters I was like there's no fucking way it's a mistake there's no way to give me all that money back Shit. like <laughs> oh it's been it's, gone that's it's yeah deposited. the npcs just didn't know any better they did it yeah. out of habit <laughs> And that you can, just you can bank on that sometimes. But then yeah. I give you're, a fuck. Like, uh, talk, I, oh, sorry. I rented a house. So, so I own a house and I rented it out to people. And uh, I, I had it through a real estate agent. And they just don't give a fuck. As long as the rent is like coming through. They won't even check the fucking house, man. They don't give a shit. They just want 20% of the, well, whatever the fucking percentage is. Like 8% of the money that you're getting to just hassle the people to pay rent. That's all they fucking do. They mm. suck. Like yeah. I, we had one person move out. Mm. This is it was a, a couple that were living there, and this dude was a, a builder. Like this guy's meant to be like a qualified builder that knows like how to build houses. And I went down to the house, and like the to as you said, the toilet roll holder was hanging off, uh, was was detached from the wall, and it was just sitting on the ground. Okay, the actual mount for it was still squarely attached to the wall, 
and I built this mm-hmm. house. I know that thing was fucking in there. All right. <laughs> the only thing you needed to reattach this toilet roll holder was a fucking Allen key. And this dude hadn't put it on. I'm like, so this guy's been living here for like two years without a toilet <laughs> roll holder for sans fucking Allen key. Like what kind of builder is this? Cunt? <laughs> they can't even put a fucking toilet roll holder on. Like I he fear just, for people that live in houses. He, he, care, though. he doesn't want to bring his work yeah. home with them. Was he married? Was he married? No, he's married. Like this okay, dude no should have been too. harassed by his missus to put this shit yeah. back. <laughs> like, yeah. It doesn't make sense. But if you're single, yeah. it's like, dude, I don't fucking care. Yeah. I don't fucking care. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't fucking I care. care. I mean, I don't give a shit. Like, my stuff falls off all the time, but I expect better from my renters. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, I think like, I've gotten my deposit back every single time I've rented, but the the place mm, I lived in, St. Me. Louis, like the city, before this, before I bought a house, it was like the last evening. Like, I'd packed everything up, and, like, they had a big to-do because it had, like, very... It was like a, a studio kind of place with, like... 18 20 foot like absurdly tall ceilings like and i didn't i was in an apartment i didn't own a ladder and they were like D- big fees if you don't replace the light bulbs at the like in the ceiling that's like 20 what? feet up there and i was like all right well i'm not buying a ladder and so i went to home depot and i bought one of those big old sticks that's got a suction cup on the end of it <laughs> and what yeah. you do is you take it and the the suction cup part you plug it in and snap to attach it to the stick, and then you extend the stick as needed, suction it to the light bulb, and then you er, 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 unscrew it, and then you gently bring it back down. And I I had a full day. I just wanted to like go to my new house that I just bought, and I was just like, I just have to get these fucking light bulbs changed, and then I can go. And so I went after work. I went way out of the way to go to Home Depot, bought this stupid fucking you know, $35 device, and I go back to my apartment. I set the suction cup thing into the top. I extend it and go towards the first light bulb. I stick it. I pull it down. And the suction cup is stuck to the light bulb and <laughs> has not come back down with oh, the it's thing. It's stuck up there. <laughs> it's stuck up there. And so I just have a stick and I'm trying to stick the stick back onto this thing and, <laughs> oh. and, and twist it. And I probably gave it two minutes and I just did like that George from Seinfeld like that. Ha <laughs> And I just, I, I, I dropped it and I just, I left, I left the stick there. The suction cup's probably still on the light, the, the, the empty light bulb <laughs> in that apartment. And I just, I was like, fuck it. If you charge me $50 for this, like, it's really 85 and you have a free light bulb changing stick. If you can rectify this. Like, <laughs> when I was, oh, was like 23, obnoxious. Jackie and I rented a townhouse and it was just from two people. Like there's a husband and wife that owned the townhouse. And that was when we got puppies, two puppies, two yellow labs and you know, puppies pee. That's just a thing. Mm. So they peed on everything every carpet in that house and we bought a steam cleaner but it it just didn't get it done you know like i'm trying and and that we're training dogs and and i have we both work at this point you know so the dogs are like great training and then we come home and there's always a mess and we eventually um bought like baby gates for the kitchen which had an anoleum floor and we just washed it like crazy uh, all the time anyway the whole place smelled like urine. It smelled like <laughs> urine bad. Every carpet and the pad under the carpet needed to be replaced. So we're moving out and I like I have a steam cleaner and I'm manually just vacuuming, steaming everything. Every window in this townhouse is open and they do the walkthrough. So for like four minutes, we make the place not smell like <laughs> urine. We get our full deposit back. And I know when they went to the place the next time, they were like... Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> we made a grave error. We like, have to ma'am, what's your so husband much. doing? Oh, they call him the Lysol man. He just walk. <laughs> <laughs> it was just the pl- yeah. the place smelled like soap and cleaner yeah. and freshly vacuumed. <laughs> and, and, 
Oh, I don't know, like four candles in Wait. the entryway. <laughs> <laughs> you have to hold a candle. I love sandal and well. <laughs> uh, warm vanilla sugar and yeah. lemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, urine! That's yeah. we burning yeah. a urine. Ah, yeah. mm. Sorry, house, I, yeah. I don't usually burn plastic at this hour. <laughs> <laughs> when, when I moved into this house, I uh, it had carpet all through, and the carpet was like pretty old and shagged. And I was like, oh, I know I'm going to replace that. So we got our first puppy and we were like, oh, just let him destroy the carpet. Who gives a fuck? Um, so he would he would pee. And I started off like uh, I would clean it up and I'd be like, oh, we're going to do that. Like I'm going to clean up his, his pee on the carpet. And then it got to the point where he was just like fucking the carpet so bad. I'm like, no, nah, that's it. I'm, I'm going to put floorboards in. But instead of cleaning it, I get up in the morning and he would have like peed on the carpet. I just went around with a fucking box cutter and just cut squares out of the carpet and then just threw the carpet away. <laughs> so, like, this was like, we are going to pull it up when I have time. But for a while there, we just had carpet in our house that just had like <laughs> massive squares cut out. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'm going to get rid of that eventually. And then it got to the point where I was like, okay, it's more. It's more just chipboard than yeah. carpet. So I'm gonna have to pull this up and put down new floors. Man. Yeah, the modern uh, uh, square modern. Solution. Yeah, exactly. I was mm. like, oh, fuck it, I'm gonna get rid of it anyway. It's all fucked. So yeah. And then, <laughs> I've and then got my enormous dog and... house trained. He uh, he comes and uh, I've got bells on the door that that he like slaps with his hand, and uh, he uh, he'll come nibble me when he wants to get up, and he'll bring me my shoes. I, I'll literally get my shoes, get my fucking shoes, and he'll go get them. Like drop, and like. Rrr, rrr. <laughs> He'll put my hand in his mouth and sort of like, like nibble, like real fast, like nibble, 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 nibble. Like he's like pull yeah. me toward the door. Um, he's a smart little fucker. He gets your he, shoes. He, I've never had a dog that does that. My flip flops, like my uh, my prison slides. Um, <laughs> That's pretty cool. He like, knows are they that, literally prison slides. Like yeah, are they from yeah. Like so, so like I, uh, I think yeah. Uh, it's one of the few you things you can't buy can. them. You got to earn them. You, you can. They're them. Nike slides. You know, you know those <laughs> Nike. Um, um flip flops that have like the little rubbery finger nubs mm-hmm. yeah, as yeah. the base. Mm. It's those with like the night it's a, in the in Nike word and stuff. And or I don't even have motherfucking crocs and they're giving out those in prison. This is yeah, cro- we have crocs too. That, that's what we used to they made like shower shoes that were essentially crocs. Yeah. Um but but uh yeah the 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 dog knows that every time we go outside I, I grab my flip flops and like drop them on the floor and then slide my foot in. So I think he just learned that that's what I want to happen. And then I go out. So he'll walk up with them and drop them on the floor at my feet because <laughs> he knows then I go out. It's, it's, I kind of like accidentally trained him to do it, I guess. But yeah, it's super cute. That's when cute. he shows up with my flip flop, I know it's time to go out too. Um, but he, he usually wakes me up 5 a.m., 4 a.m., chewing on my hand or something. Or sometimes he'll just jump on my chest and scare the fuck out of me because he must weigh <laughs> 60 pounds. Just because he loves you. Well, I he sleep just wants to hang so out. Bad. Why, don't you get a, why don't you get a dog door? Dog door. Uh, I'm renting the place I'm in right now, so I can't ah, do that. But I think I'm gonna do that. Um, I, I've been yeah. talking about that a lot. Like I really I, want a dog door. How well you can get it? Do you have like uh, a? I bet a modern I, one I have, is good. They've got some solution, yeah. right? I, have, I, I bet you can put a thing like on the dog. Slide door. So it looks like uh, where the, where the slide door opens, it's just like an insert. So you like you grab this like big metallic frame thing and it has a dog door in the bottom, and then you just uh attach it to like the sliding rail of the door and they just close the door like to, yeah. to the rail mm-hmm. thing and i'm gonna give my like, dog oh. keyless entry on his on his oh he yeah. should have a little thing <laughs> on his because you don't want people to intrude and you want animals to get in either but if you had a thing that the door if he put his foot on it the door would slide but only when his uh when his collar was within a meter right. like, that would be perfect right then he's that got his own fucking idea. key yeah you should do that do it for yeah. all of them you they can all have their own key I had to do that for my cat because he was getting so fat. He kept eating the other cat's food. And so they've got the microchip in their neck, but you get this feeder and it's got this like round thing on top. And when they put their head into like this fucking hole to get to the food, this little thing goes like, and like slides back and it'll let him at the food. But if he tries to go at it, it'll detect his chip, the fat one, and it'll just be like, nope. And just like close up on him. (laughs) I I was like, I was like, that's, that's going to, fucking it's gonna work real well and then uh yeah then he just fucking like destroyed it like he he literally ate it in half like it's like fuck this he (laughs) He ripped the lid off it and shit oh he ripped the fucking little plastic mechanism Mm. that fucking uh opens and closes the fucking lid off he he ripped the whole lid off it it's just hungry as fuck (laughs) this is little dogs 
can't I want to watch Kyle open this benefit. drink. What are you using, Kyle? Is he struggling? He's open. Yeah, he got you got it. I got it. Got it. You got it. What'd you use? Were they tweezers? <laughs> I my, use my vape. Um, vape. No, I like no. I like flip. I flipped the little top on the tab. The tab on the can. It didn't do anything. It just broke off. <laughs> no, you didn't even enjoy your starry for a couple seconds. Oh, I'm in now. Oh, I'm in. You You're in now. Kyle away from a starry. <laughs> mm-hmm. You gonna be able to finish that? That's pretty good. Am I gonna finish it? That, that seven ounce can. Did you all? I almost <laughs> bought the seven ounce cans too because they were uh they were out of but, the other ones and I was like I don't want to spend more money for less shit. No. Yeah, it is more. It was they were buy one get one free and I wanted to buy the Pepsi Peep flavor. Not it's I I I, I have a twelve pack downstairs. I took a sip of one and was like, oh, and now we know. <laughs> now we know <laughs> mm, it's so, too uh, sweet yeah <laughs> now so we know. i've got 11 pepsi peep flavored sodas downstairs the minis and uh, i do not plan to try it for those who don't know peeps are these um easter marshmallows that are shaped like little little chickens and they have a very oh, distinctive uh, marshmallow fake uh, sugary that. flavor yeah it's really that's it's really right. pretty gross Oh my Fuck god, that looks amazing! That. You have those, Kyle? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got a dozen of them. Are they full sugar, good? just sin drinks? Um, they're awful. See, yes. So what I did was they were buy one get one free. That's that. I was saying that's how I came upon the mini cans. Also, they made me feel like a giant. I like to feel like I'm Andre the Giant <laughs> when I'm having them. Like, oh, I need four. <laughs> but, I'm a big man. Yeah, I can I drink four fun. stories. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I use these for my dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad idea, actually. <laughs> Everybody's just like, "Fuck, I'm sorry, I can't accommodate you." Why are the dimensions oh, yeah. of the can so odd? You're like, "Delete contact, you little block." Like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I uh, it, it was. It, they didn't have the uh, the zero sugar, so I was like, "Fuck it!" Like, I don't I don't think I'm gonna get addicted to these. So, but no, no one sip of that, and it was it was foul. Um, it was just foul. I, I don't even like Peeps. I don't know what I was thinking. Dude, I got a full, <laughs> dude, no, no adults like Peeps. I've got three full sugar IBC Here's what I want. in my fridge. Still, I'm gonna have one tonight. I want a Werther's original flavored Dr Pepper. Oh, that'd be love. So That's basically, caramel Dr Pepper. Yeah. Oh, okay. Look it, it looks like this is it. Maple Pepsi. Oh, they partnered up with IHOP? What I, the I would fuck try is this. wrong with you? Well, if IHOP <laughs> knows one thing, they know maple flavored sodas. Mm-hmm. Well, one of that those and 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 combat <laughs> at three a.m. Yeah, <laughs> combat at three a.m. Oh, uh, no, looks, IHOP oh, would get their ass oh, kicked if that. they tried to go to. Uh, what am I going for? What's the the other pancake place that's like? Oh, Denny's or, or Waffle, House. Know, um, Waffle House. IHOP doesn't want to go to the Waffle House neighborhood, man. It's too no. too upscale. <laughs> I love Waffle House. Trash. You know, IHOP doesn't have the street smarts that Waffle House has. I haven't had you Waffle can't House go eat breakfast at a restaurant without feeling like you're being bent over a barrel anywhere. Really? Well, I mean, like what? if I go if I go order a steak, I expect to pay money for it. But like getting want, eggs want to... and breakfast meats for like twenty dollars, twenty five dollars. It's like do. this here's is just like go to Waffle oh, House. Good guy. Oh, or or if you really want to live like a fucking king, Taylor, mm-hmm. if you want to be the admiral of breakfast, I want to okay? be the admiral of breakfast. <laughs> Do you want to be the CEO of sausage? Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. The Baron right, of breakfast. <laughs> you want to go to a little place called Shoney's. Shoney's. Now hang on a minute. I know what here. you're thinking. I've had Shoney's lunch. It's awful. I think they're microwaving. <laughs> I know there. what you're thinking. It's disgusting. Despicable. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong, bar. but hear me you're out. Co- you get commission from Shinies here. <laughs> Eating, I am, I am. They, they paid a lot for this. Eating yeah. Shoney's lunch is the equivalent of of eating like Wendy's breakfast. It's not what they do. Okay, they make chili for obese men. That's what they do. Okay, but if you go, hmm. if you if you go to Shoney's, I could think of a potential customer. <laughs> you get that breakfast bar. Okay, you want the you want the bar up there, Taylor. It's incredible. I have some some of my fondest memories of childhood are getting up extra early, or maybe my cousin and I have stayed up all night gaming, playing Halo, and it's like, dude, you know what? Thirty more minutes, Shoney's opens. We would be in the parking lot waiting <laughs> because they have it's all you, it's an all you can eat like breakfast buffet, and it's it was like six dollars, and 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 I just remember the piles of steaming pancakes and like eight different syrups and all the like breakfast sausages and the piles of eggs. And I, I would eat a half a pound. We would make an effort to eat 
an enormous amount of food. I, I, you I, lost I, like, me at, at that opening. Age, True breakfast like, restaurants don't close. Ah, at, at that age, like you're right because I remember point. we would when we were up like super late <laughs> in high school, college. There was this place called Uncle Bill's that mm-hmm. was a breakfast place, and I think it's probably closed now. But it was like a one-off place, and they were the absolute lat. They had to be dragged kicking and screaming into like <laughs> the new law that like you can't let people smoke in your restaurant (laughs) and they had like really genuinely very good breakfast food and it was like an old timey like elk lodge feeling place but like obviously most of the patronage has been dying out and like you'd go in there and like it was thick with cigar smoke like thick like it was so like people were smoking cigs everywhere too but it was so much so so powerful with cigars like you smelled more of that so it actually wasn't too bad but we just went there all the time and we were fucking 16 but seeing everybody else smoking around was like, we're almost transitively mature for being somewhere <laughs> where they allow smoking. I remember being like, being like, oh, uh, how adults that Uncle Bill's, all these geriatrics can, can kill so, themselves on reasonably priced uh, bacon. So this is <laughs> slightly outdated. Fire. But as of a couple of years ago, um, there were 12 states that had not enacted any ban on smoking uh, in workplaces, bars or restaurants. Um, I, I, I thought about that because I was trying to think the last time I'd smoked in a restaurant and it was, we were in Tennessee in Paris, Tennessee at a steak restaurant or what they call one there. And like, like a decade ago, like 10 years, 10 fucking years ago, probably. And, uh, and, and we were, and I was like, what? This is an ashtray. <laughs> hmm. Are we, a, you are have we to allowed? smoke if there's an ashtray. I, like, like, and when we but. saw they were, they were like, yeah, we can fucking smoke in here. And we and they had they did the thing where like, yeah, this is the smoking section. But all there was was like a wall. The that idea came up about, of separation. <laughs> yeah, there's people over there that, yeah. that don't want to do. It's a this. principle we, thing. After after we ate, we lit up and fucking smoked because like it just I, I wanted to express my freedom. You know, it's like yeah. Yeah. they'll let That's me do it right fucking here. Uh, That's the best. Nobody will say shit. Like, in Japan, well, they might, like, but they can't you know, do anything. And, and I went to a Starbucks to it on the other Japan. side. And there were these old people. Yeah. Hold on, what <laughs> was that? Go, in Japan, you go like, uh, go to a Starbucks, and it'll have like down the bottom like floor because everything's like multi-story there because everything's like fucking tiny. So you go into like the bottom floor, you order your coffee, and there's like two seats there. And then upstairs, there's like a smoking area. So you go upstairs, and it's like separated into two. There's like this fucking glass divider wall. And you walk into this smoking room and it just has like a million air conditioners running yeah. just sucking the smoke out and it's fucking great they have it everywhere like you go on the bullet trains and you're just standing in this fucking random like it's like the size of like a big toilet cubicle cool. you're standing in there with your wife just punch a darts on a bullet train which is way yeah. faster than a flight Fuck japan right. has Only, cooler stuff than us i've seen that at, so cool. i think i've seen that at two airports i know yeah. they got it in vegas Sing- they've got a cube Singapore. you get in full of slot machines and oh, it's yeah. sucking it straight up. So so everybody's yeah. and the and the cube is just right there in the middle of the airport. People are walking around it and past it to get to their terminals and stuff. And yeah. and it's just a little cube full of people gambling and just smoking and it's sucking it straight is up. That like a, is that a McCarran? I I I remember like vividly going to Shot Show and then standing in there smoking. Oh, then darts. yeah, 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 yeah. It would have <laughs> yeah. been yeah, yeah. So the one that's got yeah. the little train that you get to like yeah. get a little view as you go in. Um yeah. and then the other one is Atlanta. At Atlanta, um, I don't know which terminal it is. It's, I, I've only I, I don't often go through it, but they've got a big room. I mean, big. You could yeah. probably seat 50, 60 people in there around because uh, it's 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 multiple rows of seats, and it's the same thing. And they've got the old school airport seats in there that have the ashtrays built in. That's cool. It, like uh, like the the handrest flips over, and now it's an ashtray. Uh, and yeah. uh, and of course, just big fans up top will you always smoke a cig if you're i'll go in there and bomb one every time that's the thing about smokers it's a fucking brotherhood you go in there and be like hey i don't i don't really smoke it's been a while i think i could have one of those i always ask a black guy uh, because they got (laughs) menthols and uh (laughs) that's what i want i know where to get them right here and uh and yeah yeah if i but i haven't been I, it must be on the uh, not on the Delta side. It must be on the blue side because it's it's mm. I've only been through there twice and actually seen or it's, it's a terminal that I don't normally use when I when I fly out for whatever reason, because I've only seen it twice. There's like a, a few areas around here in St. Louis, that like municipalities where you can still do it. And like this is it was probably 
two years ago now, but I was at this like bar, probably watching a blues game with some buddies. And it was like smoky as shit when we walked in. Same situation, like ashtrays everywhere. I smoked a cigarette. It feel, it's fun. Yeah, it. It's fun to smoke inside. You feel cool. You, you yeah. never give up smoking cigarettes, though. You just give up buying cigarettes. Yeah. And then you just yeah, yeah. bum them off your mind. Like, yeah, I, I, I'm not, when like, I was like, when I was like 21, I'd have heaps of people. I'd go to the bar and it'd be like, oh, I can't bum a dart, mate. And every single time I'm like, Mate, you've just given up buying cigarettes, all right? You're not going to sit here all <laughs> oh, night well, smoke half different. of my fucking pack, yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> like, hey, that's a little different. I, I, you never the do give up smoking. Like, um, if, uh, if I'm hanging around, if I'm on vacation or something, I will absolutely smoke. When we went to Colorado last year, like everybody there was smoking, and they're all smoking the cigarettes that I smoke. Uh, so, oh, yeah. so absolutely. Whole Does that mean you bought all the cigs smoke. and you were the cig uh, man? I eventually like felt bad about bumming cigarettes, so I was just like, "Hey, oh. this, hey, when next time you go buy two packs, one will be mine and one will be yours. We'll smoke." The, we'll, and and we did that. I smoked a whole pack and a half of cigarettes in Col- in, uh, in Colorado. And then um, when when <laughs> we went to that Super Bowl um, um, little get together that time, yeah. you and Chiz, Chiz has got those Camel Crushes. Woody, this is a cigarette that tastes normal, but inside the butt, you know, the part in your mouth, yeah, the filter, sick. there's a little capsule. And you can nibble it with your front teeth, or you can pinch it with your fingers hard mm-hmm. enough, and you'll hear it crush. It'll go, and it releases that menthol minty flavor, very in a very potent way that you wouldn't be able to get if you just stored it in a pack. It's like instantly, oh, that feels cool. It's almost like uh, like um, like mentholated vapors or, or mm-hmm. whatever that like that that shit you put on your chest. It's got this sort of clean, refreshing sort of thing instead of that. It's. I know when you secondhand smoke, when you get exposed to that, it's this dirty, nasty thing. So is marijuana. It's it's much. It's a dirtier smell. But mm. I don't know that, that those things tasted fucking good. Every time I hang out with Chiz, I have to smoke those fucking things. I've oh, yeah. um, I've gone. He's a he's a cigarette yeah. king. Yeah, he smoked. I was in my like weed smoking days because like in, in Australia, when you smoke weed, like what a lot of people do is they'll take the weed and then they'll put like um tobacco in it as well. We call yeah. it spin, and so we. Which is a little spliff. Uh, now, now I've smoked for a long time. I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. But like when I was younger, it's like you make the weed last longer because we're fucking poor. You yeah, know? our cigarettes mm. are so expensive here; they cost more than fucking weed. But anyway, um, my <laughs> one of my friends, he he pulls out this uh, he, he pulls out these fucking crusher things that you're just talking about. Yeah, and he's in his mind, he's like, okay, we're gonna fucking we're gonna put the tobacco in. I'm going to spin that up and then I'm going to make this fucking weed menthol flavored. So he sits there and he oh. pulls out of the cigarette butts, these little fucking plastic things. And then just throws them into the coffee grinder with the weed and just oh. buzz it up. And he's just sitting there just smoking plastic. I'm like, Man, <laughs> he was so, weird. dude, he was so, <laughs> he was so close. He, he was, was so, so close. close. All you got to do, uh, you take the, yeah. so you can take a cigarette and uh, gently the, the white paper between your fingers and you do this, you back and forth like you're making a fake. Oh little, yeah, no, uh, I've done that a million times. Yeah. And, 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 and very quickly, all the tobacco will get loose, will be, get unpacked, and just fall out until you've got this hollow cylinder of paper that you could have never made yourself. And then you can very carefully fill that with marijuana. And yeah. now you got your Camel Crush flavored little joint. Uh, That's yeah, smoking nice. cigarettes in my house. Yeah. Well, you always call if I was gonna like go out like, and and yeah, I wanted a joint like so that I could. If I was going to go out and I wanted to joint, like if I was going to the, the carnival or something, and I wanted to, this is years ago, and I wanted to be able to get high and then go into the carnival, that's what I'd do. I'd roll up yeah. a cigarette like that, and I'd be holding it like as I'm driving there because I've got drugs in my hand. But, you know, I, I'll eat this thing. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, and, and the only like an inch of it is weed. It's, it's just like mm-hmm. three or four big hits of weed. And I just burn that thing down on uh, like as I'm pulling into where I'm going and flick it out the window like a cigarette butt. It just seems like a real crime. safe. It, it's okay. It's, it seemed like perfect crime, you know. We that's not how we got busted. We'd always pack those up and put them in the cigarette pack before we went out to the bar, so we can like stand out the back in the smokers area and smoke them, and they just look like normal cigarettes. We found like using a chopstick is that like that a chopstick is like the perfect fucking size. You can yeah. pack that shit in there. Like you can get a you can get a surprising amount of fucking weed in there. But the number one thing you have to do is, uh, so you've got the cigarette sitting in there. Just before you smoke it, you bite like the filter and you pull the filter out with your teeth and the whole yeah. filter will come out in one piece. Well, and then you just tear like a little bit of the filter off and then fold it and put it back in. It's like a roach. You fucking no. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry, I, every a lot step of, weight, of what you're doing, I've done. I, like, like, yeah. like, I, I, I came up with I, 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 I didn't know anybody <laughs> else ever did. 
I came yeah. upon that by myself at home trying to get high. Like, like the idea that that's what, that you did that yeah. too, oh, or that, that maybe that everybody massive. does that. That shit's massive in Australia because they like people will hide them in the cigarette pack and they like we call them stealthies, but I don't know what anyone else calls them. But you just <laughs> like because you open up the pack of cigarettes, it just looks like another fucking cigarette. So mm, you're yeah. like, you're good. You, you can't get caught. Yeah, the oh, full I mean, filter was good. too much. <laughs> yeah, like, no, like you, you almost could get high. Yeah. Do you, oh, yeah, you don't want like, to smoke weed through a filter like that, right? It doesn't a little pull through fast enough. You want a yeah. little, yeah. You don't. You're like, you're like, it's like yeah. smoke. You ever have somebody roll one up and it looks like a fucking, I don't know, like some lint or something, like a hair, like like like. If I yeah. see a toothpick joint, I'm I'm so embarrassed for you. I can't roll yeah. one though. I had a rolling machine. That's how no. I would roll them. If I wasn't stuffing cigarettes yeah. like we just described, but um, yeah, the filter and all, I've like, done that exact thing. It's so funny. Put, like way too much in there. So like, if you're if you're just chilling and you're like yeah i'm gonna get high before i go to work or whatever if you put one into the rolling machine and you roll like something like enough weed in there to like make it roll properly you're like oh i'm gonna be way too fucking high yeah. at work <laughs> so, so you end up making these like little greyhounds we, we, we go we call them whippets like the little mini greyhounds so they're like real like thin little joints and mm-hmm. you just like smoke those you know but it's uh Depends on the strength of the weed, though, I guess. But, like, it's very hard to find specific weed in Australia. You can't just, like, walk out oh, and go, hey, is it not legal there? Just, like, chill. No, it's very illegal. It's not, uh, no, it's not. Oh, it's, 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 decrim- it's, it's decriminalized. It's, it's Where- so you, okay. if, unless you have, like, pounds and pounds, you won't get in trouble. What like, about if, medical? I, is that a thing? Yeah, that's a thing. Medical's a thing now. Yeah. yeah. Well, then the weed there's probably, like, good then, it's right? Getting, like, it's medical. getting better. Well, it's it's more like if you go and buy it from like a dealer, it's like the only shit they will sell is like the highest possible THC content because it's like they want everyone that's smoking it to be like, whoa, that's the dankest shit ever. So you're like, unless you've got like a weed guy that can like be like, yeah, I've got all these different types of weeds. Mostly you just walk in and you get what you're given. And uh, oh, most of you- the time it is like insanely fucking strong. So it's like, Unless you've smoked a lot of it, or you're just like chilling. If you want to have like one joint before work, then it's sort of not feasible. <laughs> so you're like, <laughs> unless you're I like, have, I've never had up. a drug dealer with like options really? throughout all yeah. of college. Like they were pretty much all like, "This is what I have now," and it's like, "Okay," yeah. and like you didn't know the difference. So it's like, "Hey, I bought weed." Does it get me high? Yeah, I smoked it and it got me high. And it's like, oh, okay, yeah. like th- that works. Yeah, we and had, now, we like, I feel like a pampered little bitch. Like, I have plenty of weed to smoke in my house, but like, part of me is like, I want to go try a new kind of weed and like <laughs> go to the store and, like, like something else, like out. scotch. Like you would sit there and you'd be like, yeah, like oh yes, I had this absolutely great uh, Macallan fifteen year the other day. <laughs> I think I'll break it out on a special occasion, but it's just like, like I got these little weed. like uh, these <laughs> little you know containers that, that were Taylor, like, a little how's bit the weed up. different. It, like weed's not just weed. Like no, no, no like it's, it's like different. it's, it's, it's higher a quality and like yeah. So like well, when you go to the dispensary, not only that they have like a little scale ratios of cannabinoids. Yeah, it's yeah. much stronger. It has different ratios of cannabinoids, and the options are much clearer. So, like, they'll they'll tell you they'll be like, this one has more of this, so it's going to be an indica. It's going to be relaxing body high. This one's super strong sativa. This one's somewhere in the middle. Whereas when I was buying in college, it was like, hey, uh, DD Jerry, drug dealer Jerry, uh, <laughs> what kind of what do you have? And he's like, I got weed, and I'm like, that's what I'm here for. And, yeah. and, and that was and that was it. Like, and then you went back sure and smoked it. And sometimes you'd smoke yeah. it, and it would. And I didn't know at the time really, but I'd hit it, and I'd be like, this isn't like. I guess it was more sativa, and I didn't like that as much. Or I was like, yeah. I'm still high, but this I don't like it. This is kind of oregano. Yeah, this yeah. is kind of a. This is kind of. This is like a pizza place. I'm there. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I think we had a guy that, that would uh, come to our house to to sell us weed. So we'd just like call him up, and we'd be like. Cause he didn't want to deal out of his house because he didn't want to get caught so he would just deliver to people and so we call him up and he'd just like rock up he lived like up the road so he was like on foot yeah. he'd come down he'd just have heaps of buds we used to call him deals on wheels and i can't even remember his fucking name <laughs> deals on like, wheels. He, i had a similar situation it was the cush cab and we would yeah 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 uh, it's uh, so nice buying drugs legally just, just yeah i i'm I magnifique bet. Like, like Jesus Christ! Yeah, I, 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 uh, I, don't, I don't smoke like when I'm in Australia because it's all that fucking sativa shit, and it's like I just end up fucking getting in the paranoid. But if I go to America, I'm like, I am in the first dispensary I can find. I'm like, give me the fucking like all the indicas, and I'm just like, 
just like kind oh, yeah. of the vibe. So like, I'll I'm, I'm always like, give me the strongest indica you have. And then yeah. like, I'll go home <laughs> with it and be like, I'm going to take like five big rips. No, 10 big rips. And then like, <laughs> yeah. I take one and it's like, Oh, like, okay, <laughs> maybe, where's maybe the closest little dispensary little to me, Raleigh? I don't. What states Kentucky. are legal around you? Uh, it's Kentucky, either Kentucky or West Virginia. I looked this up because um, I, didn't I was it. to me the closest one is fucking. Um, where did I go? All the way Illinois. to Illinois. But the <laughs> second closest one was like peeling off and heading your way, and and I, I think it's I think it's Zach. What I can said. you find a map with which states have legal weed? I'm yeah, curious. recreational. I, I always find it weird that you guys have like the different states are just like. One's oh, like, yeah. you will go to jail for 12 years. The other one's mm -hmm. like, you can smoke it in the street. <laughs> it's like, fuck yeah. Weird. Big Our law should be states. more consistent. Yeah, no, I fun. disagree. I, I really like the way it is. I, I think what works for the, the people of Billings, Montana, um, that doesn't necessarily need to work or should work for the people in Crenshaw. Yeah, yeah hmm. definitely. All right, let me make this full size. Oh, you're good. Virginia, right there. Oh, Virginia. That's not well, too far. Get on a up north to motorcycle Virginia. ride. Yeah, yeah get to in, a, in a slower ride home. <laughs> Georgia, and you guys are lagging behind Alabama. Dude, you don't even know. You don't even know. It's 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 so sad. It's so sad. I, uh, Land, I mean, at least Missouri. Oh, oh wait, is Missouri close? Oh, Missouri's closer. I bet. I wonder if there's a dispensary like down there in that bottom bitch part of southern Missouri. That I could, that I could. Some of us have family in that area. <laughs> <laughs> now, where are you, roughly on the G? Roughly <laughs> <laughs> on the G. Uh, and me? Yeah. yeah. Um, I no, much more north than that, right? Atlanta. Um, I'm I'm in the city now. Um, hmm. I would That's say not like, where Atlanta is, roughly. <laughs> no, no, it's it's it. I mean, close. I mean, you're the GA is in the middle of the state, right? So how far could it be? No matter right, where, but maybe if is. the G were right on top of the G, it'd be there. Mm -hmm. A little higher, probably two G's. Really, and a little to the left. Huh? I mean, we could superimpose a map of the fucking. Uh, I mean, show us. <laughs> I don't, Zach, we don't have that. Show kind of us check. Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never know where Atlanta <laughs> is. Can you pull up my address, please. I just to, <laughs> if, if that's a modern, if that's like a current map, I'm in. Uh, I'm in little five points. Fully illegal. It, uh, well, I did it have it. Missouri? Because Missouri is really current. Like it's a recent yeah. change. Yeah. So it, it must be. Yeah. yeah. So that's only six fully illegal states. Not what's too the bad. What's pricing oh, like? Did you is say it, illegal? It... Yeah. It, that's what it looked like. There were six orange ones on there. And I think that's what it said. Like but the legal. light green is like only the lowest THC. That's what North Carolina is. And it means you can't buy anything. Yeah. See, see how light high green up there is, it is? is medical. Yeah. To the left a little. Mm, no. I it think, was. Right? There were two shades of. There might have been three shades of green, oh, but yeah, the lightest yeah. one was like not legal. So there's Atlanta. Wow, top left. There's Atlanta. To my expectations. Now we know. Uh, and the top the, right is Hartwell. Look at that. My, my home town of Livonia on the map for some reason. There's Lake Hartwell where Woody does his uh, his uh, gymnastics and and and, mm -hmm. and stuff. Uh, it's you were asking gymnastics. about uh, the so price in Alabama Kyle. to buy weed. Uh, Alabama does not have weed for sale, as far as I know. No. I bet the, I think they got medical. No, I was saying they were lagging behind, meaning that uh -huh. Georgia has stricter laws surrounding it than even Alabama, Mississippi, those other states uh, okay. down there. Yeah, so yeah, the, the pricing of it here is like Republicans. They have like premium stuff and then like less premium stuff, I guess. Like I got a quarter of some indica for like I think it was like $70. Around there, seventy seventy five dollars for a quarter, and that That's was fine. for like normal. And then like the some of it, they only sell in eighths, obviously to get you to buy more. And so like some of the super strong stuff, they they will only offer in an eighth, and Aren't it's there, like thirty eight dollars for an eighth. So the dispensary is it a situation like where? I know I mean, when I went to Illinois, the situation with the dispensaries was that it seemed like there were a couple of big sort of corporate type stores. It's like oh yeah, this is mm -hmm. there are. This is red leaf dispensaries, and you could no matter where you went, you were still like buying from the same people. Technically, is it like that, or is it mom more uh, mom and pop? There's like pretty much. Ev I think it's like a law that like a lot of the weeds sold in the dispensaries because of state stuff has to be grown in that state, and so 
like so many of the things the same way you go to Colorado and it's like from Colorado, from Colorado mm. or Illinois, from Illinois, from Illinois. Yeah, It'll yeah. be like, this is grown in Missouri. This is this but strain. The, the and, name of the dispensary. Like, are there multiple dispensaries in your town? There are, there are multiple different like chains, but wow. there's a couple that are huge. Like uh, there's one called like N bliss and mm-hmm. it's, there's a bunch of locations of that. There's probably more than I saw last time. Cause every time yeah. I go out of the house, there's another fucking dispensary. I have questions. Taylor, if you wanted to buy a legal pot right now, could you walk there? No, no, I'd have no. to drive. How long uh, is the drive in minutes? Not too bad. Like, there's there's a couple near me, like probably fifteen. Like, okay, even that's a bit of a too bad. drive though. Like, it's not nothing. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's not like you can probably get gas closer than that. Oh yeah, yeah, I can get gas closer than that. It's like, a- there's also like, I bet there's one closer than me now because I'm still going to the same one I googled <laughs> initially and was like <laughs> closest <laughs> dispensary. Like, I, there's probably one like on the other side. Of now I know where that know is. About. I never need to learn again. Yeah, and like. It's funny. I thought that once it was legal, I'd be going in there like, give me this concentrate. Give me this fucking uh, edible. Well, I guess edibles don't count because we have a way stronger fucking sponsor for it. But like all the other stuff, it's like, do you want to try this like disposable pen? Do you want to try this dab rig? Because like they also sell like rigs and glass there as well. And uh, we have a sponsor for those too. And yeah, they're hard to beat. <laughs> they're they're yeah, tremendous. To, I'm going to get high. You need the, the attachment, the nail or whatever. Mm-hmm. But like I'm just doing flour like and it's. No. I think it's probably the cheapest way to do it. On, and you also, remember. you remember? Oh, I remember taking. I've taken. I've taken lots of dab uh, oh, dab right. rips, but th- it is just so unnecessary most of the time. Like Dude, you can get it. fucking high as shit with regular weed. You don't need to be like, "Hey, yeah. Taylor, you know how you're gonna get high on that like leaf right there?" It's like, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's like, how about this? How about this, Jack? Science into the leaf. Now it's concentrated. <laughs> And it's like, it's like, so it's going to be like smoking the leaf. No, it's going to be uncomfortable. <laughs> you know, everything you like about that, that bud, not the same. <laughs> like, a, Dude, a, I, a love so, yeah. I love it. I always find it's, that it's, like, I have, uh, you have people that just keep smoking and smoking and smoking. It's like, you can only get so high. Yeah. Like, you hit a wall. It's not like drinking. You're just, you're just wasting <laughs> but weed. Dabs will bust through the wall. Dabs are, I remember uh, being, I remember Wall explaining breakers. to my lawyer what dabs were, and, and I, you know, like been a like, very cool lawyer. Well, you <laughs> know, like like I was like I explained to him, I was like, it's sort of like weeds, like beer, and dabs are like liquor. He's like, oh, okay, I understand now. Don't ever say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I get it? Don't repeat that. <laughs> He's like, do not say that in court <laughs> because we're trying to tell him it's the opposite right now. They're like, yeah. sir, it's this therapeutic oil they make from weed. Kyle was rubbing it on his ears. <laughs> 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 you know, we're doing the best we can with what we got. Um, okay. But uh, but I I remember doing dabs with you um, in Colorado yeah. and and just. I was in the zone. I, I that's when I was a true marijuana athlete. Okay, <laughs> me, my girlfriend Taylor, and uh, and Chiz, and I, I, I went and got the big, big ass like two hundred dollar bong, <laughs> and we're mm. ripping those torch powered dabs in the living room yeah. of that rental house. I, trying and to I explain thinking, magic like, rules. So yeah, I can think. Yes, yes. That sounds that way better the- than where I used to buy it. Like I haven't brought it in years, but. We, we used to buy from this guy in this shitty neighborhood. And then we went there one day and his house had been raided. So we're like fucking, it's the doors just like kicked off the fucking hinges. Shit. And we're like, Jesus. I guess we can't go there anymore. And my, I, I'm in the car with one of my friends and I'm like, man, where the fuck are we going to get weed? Like we want to get high. This is, this has got to happen. Like we got to get weed. So we, we called everyone we knew and we're like, fuck, there's no one, no one we know. And my mate has the idea. He's like, this place is a shitty neighborhood. You could just knock on any fucking door and someone's got <laughs> weed. And I'm like, man, you can do that, like, but I'm gonna wait in the car. And this motherfucker just walks up to this random house. It's like this fucking cinder block shithole, and it has a massive 22 painted on the side of it in spray paint, which I assume is their street number. Knocks on the door, and this old lady answers, and she's like, Yeah, hi, darling. Can I help you? And she and he's like, Yeah, I was just, just looking to buy some weed. And she's like, Yeah, no worries, come in and just sells him <laughs> weed. Like, we never even learned this this old bitch's name. We call it 22. <laughs> We just gave her. Like, we, cool we, legit, we just gave her. We gave like tons of our friends her address, and they just like rock up this fucking house for this grandma that no one fucking knew. They just buy weed off her. It was fucking weird, man. That's the perfect, the perfect drug deal. Yeah. Low profile. Yeah. 
old yeah, lady. Yeah, she'd always she'd always been there like uh she was retired and she'd always be like babysitting like fuckloads of kids. Like she you'd go in there and there'd be like 20 kids sitting around the fucking telly just watching watching shit. She's just selling weed out of the kitchen. It's fucking hilarious. Is it one of cool. those things where like at the door you're like, this is a cool situation, and you walk in, you're like Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, the, 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 kids the granny meets lead. you at the foyer. She's like, "Grass or ass?" <laughs> Look, I, I'm, I, I will, I will admit, first. compared compared to the other shit I have seen in that neighborhood before, that was the motherfucking nirvana for those kids because, like, like I I saw some pretty fuck shit in that neighborhood, and it was uh, it was definitely definitely not nice. But like, we like one night we we went to this, this the old dealer's house, the one that got raided. We we roll up there at like ten o'clock at night, so we're like it's it's Saturday. We don't expect him to be there, but we're like mm-hmm. we're gonna try because we're out, okay? So five of us packed into this car, so we're we're all like cars full. Roll up to the house. I go and knock on the door, and he's not home. And so I'm walking back down the uh down the down to the footpaths of the car. I'm like, ah, I guess no weed. And this is random cunt is walking along the road. He's like, Hey man, are you looking for knife? And I'm like. Uh, yeah, because it's the name of the drug dealer, <laughs> and he's like, mm-hmm. Hey, he's up at bloody Bill's house, mate. He's uh, he's fucking having a party up there, and I'm like, Oh, yeah, sweet, we, uh, where is it? And he's like, Oh, I don't remember the address, but I can take you up there and we can get some weed. I'm like, Yeah, right. And he goes, I just got to get me son first from my mum's house, and I'm like, Okay, well, I don't know what's <laughs> happening here. He get, this, mm-hmm. this cunt walks up the road, he gets his son, and he walks back down the road. He's got, like, this seven-year-old son walking with him, okay? He comes back, and he lives next door to this Nath bloke. And uh, he's like, oh, oh, we won't all fit in the car. I'll just uh, I'll just go up with you fellas, and we'll just grab it. This cunt leaves his son on the side of the road with me and my brother, <laughs> two cunts that he has never met in his entire life. His seven-year-old son just leaves him there on the side of the road. And he said... Oh, I don't know if I want to let you in because I don't know you. So I don't want you to go into my house. So he was worried about us like stealing his fucking <laughs> PlayStation games or something. But he just left his fucking son there with us <laughs> and just <laughs> went and got weed and then what came a terrible back. Terrible father. You weren't going to steal his kid. Yeah, yeah you oh, can't man. get high this, on him. This, yeah, this yeah. kid was fucking busted though. Like we're we're like standing there and I'm like, so what do you talk to about? What do you talk to a seven year old kid about? Like I don't fucking know. I'm like, so how's school, mate? He's like. I don't like school. They call me inbred there. I'm like, oh, well, shit. I can fucking, I can see that. <laughs> like, and then I'm like, I'm like what no, do you do when they call you in? What do they call when they it's call you inbred? because you are. Yeah. <laughs> I said, what do you do when they call you inbred? And he goes, this. And then he just winds back and this fucking seven-year-old kid just punches me in the fucking nutsack as hard as he fucking <laughs> can. And I just get folded by this random drug dealer's <laughs> fucking seven-year-old in the middle wow. of the fucking street, man. But did it you was... get your weed? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He came back with the weed. Like, that guy was he real paid happy. The iron he, he, got a, he got a little nug. He got he got commission on his nug enterprise, but like, he didn't fuck. <laughs> but it was oh, like, man, poor little that was, kid. <laughs> yeah, that, that kid has no fucking future. Of course, like, oh. Yeah. And no present, he's, seemingly, yeah. that uh, <laughs> horrible he's, father. His life is fucked from the get-go. Yeah, he'll be fine. It's prize fighter. Some people are. You just get a shitty roll of the dice. Yeah, Sometimes you're dealing drugs born now. Australian. He's probably leaving his kid with other fucking strangers so he can get drugs. I mean... Yeah, he's trying to get rid of that kid. <laughs> That's what's going on. <laughs> He'd be one of those petrol huffers. There's always a bigger fish, and there's always a shittier hoe to row, as they say. As they right. say, indeed. Mm. Hoe to row. I haven't yeah. heard that. You don't know that? It's row to hoe. Oh, row to hoe. Yeah, yeah. See, that makes sense now. It's so much more sense. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I hate that on the show when I'm like, in my head, there's like a really good one-liner, and then you say it, and it's like, and then... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> fuck! Like, <laughs> yeah, ruined it. Oh, I'm going to think about that later, and I hate myself. Yeah. You <laughs> can't win an insult or a one-liner if you, uh, if you stutter. Or no, like a grammatical oh, error. Oh, oh yeah. how about f- 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 uh, well, I lose. Fuck, like, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you can't do it. Yeah. Or a well, speech that's impediment. A, that's a show. Yeah, is it, not? it is. And then we want a pimp slush. Oh, no, really? No, no, fucking. All right, check know. out Slush Puppy. Google him, mother. you'll find him. Check out Barrow yeah. Trauma, a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> and Sam Hyde's yeah. thing. Yeah, all right. Oh, my god, yeah, 644.